Wait, what's happening? So anyways, then she shook this flower. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I got stabbed in the back. So anyways, she Bruh. catfished a, a so human anyways, trafficker. I started blasting. <laughs> okay. We're back. For more Last Minds of Fandelver action. Woo! Uh, well, hello! Like... You hello. I guess we can just go ahead and jump into it. Get started. Some uh, some music playing. Uh. Maybe. There we go. All right. The one with the banana, right? So, uh, last session, the um, party had decided to. Um, take care of the red brands um, in Fandalid. You, uh, uh, Fire Eyes and Seth um, briefly entertained the date with Toby the red brand um, and didn't get much more out of him, um, but they had an interesting encounter, social encounter with him. Um, Fire Eyes did uh, her best to persuade Toby to leave the red brands, though it is unclear if really any progress was made there um when you guys finally decided to head into the red brand uh hideout you went through the secret passage that carp alderleaf had shown you and um you had started to begin sort of your adventures in the basement of tresender manor um walking across bridges falling into pits getting stared at by a creepy thing with green eyes uh or a green eye singular green eye um, and secret doors. Uh, you guys had found one that led to an armory of some kind, as well as what seemed to be a crypt, in which case you guys bought three skeletons. Um, Malarakis went down and then popped back up. And uh, after that, uh, you guys managed to locate another secret door, which actually led directly to Glassstaff's chambers, Glassstaff being the leader of the Red Brands. After having a conversation with him, um, Nothing exactly came of it. He spoke of some some lore to Seth, who seemed to also be interested in ancient arcane power. Um, and after the party had decided to leave and rest, the glass staff bolted. And he alerted the the, uh, the hideout to the uh, the party's presence. After a pretty close fight in a corner in the the hideout, the party narrowly defeated some more red brands and the Nothic, and were able to escape the hideout and camp out in the woods. As you guys were camping, Fire Eyes and Stubbs followed uh, some tracks, which you are assuming are belonged to the Glass Staff himself, because you found um, a letter from the Black Spider to the Glass Staff, um, now known as Iarno, um, stating that uh, the Glass Staff was to stop you and any progress you made and deliver any dwarven maps that you had to to him. You guys don't have any dwarven maps, but you now do have this pretty convincing lit letter of the glass staff's real identity and that he is linked elsewhere. And you all camped in the woods, or are currently camping in the woods. You were jumped by some hobgoblins. And uh, that is where we pick back up. So what is it you guys wish to do? Just to be clear, I, if I remember correctly, you had said that it was a short rest, but you were waving that we could level up and take the benefits Correct. of that during a short rest. Okay. Well, you don't get the benefits of it, but you are, in fact, level three. So, like, features and stuff you can get, but, like, spell slots and hit points don't restore. I thought you had said you had waived that. Okay, let me change that then. No. Like, I was four hit points down. I leveled up. I'm still four hit points down. I still have more health, though. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, okay. what are you guys doing? So, we have this letter. Holly, I wanted a letter, correct? That is correct. Alright, now say we take it to her. Alright. I wasn't Sildar looking for an Iano by chance, 
Or am I just making that up? No, that's correct. Then we can go let him know we found Diarno as well. Let's go. Very well. The others are just staring. No, no. I've Glazed over looks on their faces. You guys know. You guys know what to do. I'm just sort of here. I mean, you can give a little input. Doesn't have to be good input. Thanks. Just a, you know, yeah, huzzah good. every now and then. Huzzah, magic powers. <laughs> Alright. Let's All right. walk. Do, do, yeah. do, do, do. We can do it. So you guys we are can... heading back, back into town. At this point, it's maybe three or four in the afternoon. Um, so... The uh, miners' exchange is still open, um, and uh, as you guys uh, are wa are walking up, just the general sort of mingling of of um, uh oh. Eh? Keep no, going. He's good. Okay, he's good. Okay. He's at okay. he's at my house um, now. Sorry, I thought my Wi-Fi dropped for a second. Um, you guys, you there's it. just the general mingling of of, of miners, um, sort of. Discussing with the others about their finds for the day and, and walking away with their 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 coin in hand. Um, and as you guys walk in, Halia is currently dealing with um, some other uh, some other uh, miners. This time we'll we'll wait till she's done and alone. Okay. <laughs> That's that sounds... creepy. Stand there I'll with our I hands. Wait she's alone. <laughs> I mean, last time we were like, "Here's the secret information. We're gonna blurt right in front of everyone else in your store, or not Why store." Why don't we ask for some public, like alone time? How about that? Please. That's what I meant. But she's currently talking to someone. We're not just gonna like shove him out of the way. We need some alone time. I mean, I like alone time. I mean, you like knocking on people's doors. So I would assume so. Not just knocking on them, beating on them. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? What are we... I'm so confused. Okay. So you guys sort of um Sorry, I'm just looking at stuff to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So you guys sort of stand there for a minute and eventually the uh the other miners are sort of wa walking out, they nod at you and Talia is at her desk and sees you and uh, motions for you to go on ahead and come over. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I'll go over the letter. And she'll sort of take the letter and she'll be like, okay, and and, st and stands up and, and opens the, the back room door again and gestures for you all to, to enter. Because she's like, all right, well, this is, again, the thing that probably shouldn't be discussed out in the open. No, probably not. All right, so as you guys enter, she sort of reads the uh, the correspondence and reads the letter. Um, well, did you all deal with this glass staff, or? About I mean, that. I deal with? We were... Is, is he dead? We I'd say we had a nice no. conversation. So, the issue was that we were all really badly injured, and we didn't want to take the chance of any of us dying in the attempt of killing him. And he just seems so dang, like, personable. And I like... Oh, DM question. It's like I know I wanted to kill um, him. It was just so nice to talk after, to you. After the charm thing had ended, would I have realized that I had yes. been charmed? I can't... Okay. And also, he he tried to... He tried to influence me in a bad way. Well, like, he's a wizard. He certainly has that capability. Like, uh, Skender turns to everyone else and he's got, like, this guilty look on his face and he's like... He he wanted me to like surprise you guys with an attack. That certainly would have been surprising. Not really. I would have been surprised. 
We were already uh, surprised with an attack. By, like, literally everyone else. Wait. Uh... Malarek, are you saying that because of the time I accidentally hit you with the Oh, dad? no. Not at all. No, I'm <laughs> talking about the time that you gave him a hug. A hug. <laughs> a pointed hug with a javelin in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> From behind. Uh, the <laughs> does Malarakis or does a do I can I properly interpret his sarcasm? Yes, your yeah. uh, your your wisdom okay. is high enough that you can definitely tell that okay. Malarakis is being sarcastic. Okay. Ah. Uh, I've given you only lips since you've stabbed me. <laughs> Ma Mal is not what you would call a subtle being. <laughs> <laughs> he he just he word. just gets a little bit more guilt and he's like, yeah, it just would have been like What's the phrase? Um adding insult to injury, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that's the right one to describe the situation. Either way. Really, don't hurt yourself thinking that. Trust me. I, just, I, I wasn't going to. Anyways, you all have done this task for me. <laughs> we brought your correspondence as you asked. And I and I appreciate it. And uh, in return, she sort of go, goes to the back and opens a chest. And you can hear the, the clanking of coin. And she'll come back with a with a with a medium sized pouch and put it on the on the desk. And say, "This is the hundred gold piece pay I promised you, um, and I do appreciate your assistance." Very well. Okay, so I'll grab it. And then hundred, and there's five of us, so that twenty. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's see if we can do it. You get ten. Um, I think you can just. 10 so it's like so it's like 10 so you're saying it's like 10 but then yeah, there's you five get 10 us. make a yeah, deception check yeah you get 10 i'm not it's deceiving not technically her deceiving. technically she gets or he gets 10 oh right cuz but i am trying to mislead him so i'll do a deception Let's, check yeah, that's right. definitely Skender, go ahead and make an insight check uh it's <laughs> Maybe it does it when I do my thing. Uh, that's plus four. Oh, so just so eleven. Yeah. Sorry that I had that on advantage. So that's, that's okay. Still tell I'm lying. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you can you can hey. still do the fire as pulling your leg. Wait a minute, it's not it's not ten. No, you get ten. You ten, ten for you, oh. ten for the other pouch. No, I don't know if that's right. Give me a second. Because, like you said, it's like ten, and there's five of us. Anyway, While he's yeah. figuring out the, and counting on his fingers, we could start walking yeah. towards Sildar. Halia has started, like, wrapping her fingers on the desk. She's like, Thank you for your time. Can you do this elsewhere? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have stuff I need to be doing, so please, if you don't mind, go. Oh, so. Are you it's done with that letter? Are you going like... to keep it? Or can I hold on to that? What? It's like, are you going to use that letter, or can I hold on to that? Might be good to have. I mean, I, w I would prefer to keep it. That way I have proof. But no, feel free to keep it, then. If, if you need it for something, then... Can I'll come I, back for it if I need can it. Can I offer a transcription? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Can I copy it? Um, are you trying to, like, master the handwriting as well, or just copy and paste, basically? I think we just need the information, what right? What does she want for it? Like, what kind of level of detail? Well, she wants it for proof. No, yeah, so but she'll need the letter itself. She'll need the yeah, handwriting need and everything. The, yeah, but uh, we if, just need it for the information. If you if you wish to make your if you wish to make your own copy, by all means, um, I would just prefer to keep the original, just in case there's something that can be done with. I don't know who wrote it or something. I mean, I figured it'd be good to have for if somebody else needs it, but 
We got to Hollywood first, so first come, first serve are my thoughts. Alright then, never mind. I'll write down what the letter says. Okay. Uh, can I... Oh wait, never mind. What's up? Nothing. We're not doing handwriting sure. or anything, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I was gonna say, since I actually like speak Elvish, I was gonna help him like make sure it's right and stuff. That's it. Okay. You assume the bard can't speak Elvish? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. in a few different languages. Two! Two! We, we, we each get two gold pieces. There you go. Two gold pieces. Malarakis, yeah. hand him two. Two. Okay, so I've got 98 to divvy out between all of us. <laughs> <laughs> also, like he sees it, and he, he goes, "Oh wait, did I? <laughs> I did that math wrong, didn't I?" All right, you figure it out while we go to uh, oh. Silda. Oh man! So we gave that copy to, or we gave, we the, gave original the original to Halia. I have the, I have the transcription in my journal. Okay. okay. Let me. Uh, I, I will make a handout on break with the transcription. Okay. As we walk out of the room. As we walk out to the building, wait, what? No. Did I miss something? No. Uh, so, I'd like to ask everyone if we can uh, go back to the, uh, it's the cloister, right? The Lion Shield Cloister to take a look at uh, uh, their their weapons. Coster, to take a look at their weapons collection. I'm noticing I keep a little in close quarters, and I'd like to uh, see if there's any chances to... Uh, Find a war hammer. Well, oh, uh, you wanna? I mean, you could borrow Fate Speaker. Isn't that so special? Or your war hammer special to you? That—that's why I said borrow. No, I'd like I mean, it's to, on our way. I'm going to have to do some modifications. You see my focus here. I need to put the to it. Why? Oh, okay. What if yeah. you swing it and damage it? What? You swing a war hammer, damage your focus in the swing. Just, we can tie it to the handle, and it'll be like a little charm on the end of it. I mean, I think it has to be more ingrained. I thought you, Malarakis, would think of some cool, some way to put it in there and keep it protected. Okay, now you're playing up to my ego. Yes, of course. Well, and now I have to do it. I just make awkward eye contact with Halia as we're still standing there. No, no, he, he we were walking. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you, guys, you, guys, you guys left at this point. I thought we were outside in the, the... Okay, yeah, it's on our way. Let's just go to the light. Ha Shift Halia guys. also would have kicked you out by this point. Halia would have been like, okay, go! Someone <laughs> <laughs> tells me Halia doesn't like us hanging out. Please, please, get out. I'm sorry, that was so rude. I don't <laughs> I mean. You're right, I'm sorry. Please remove yourself from the premises. Please. Thank you. Get out. Alright, to the Lion Shield Coster! <laughs> All right. So so you're just you're just looking for a Warhammer, Brando? You, you can you can you can easily find a Warhammer at the Lion Shield Coster. Um I'm looking it up. Fifteen gold pieces. Oh, I was close! <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's even within... Okay, I just didn't know if it was going to be more than... Okay. It's really expensive. It's a martial weapon. They tend to be more expensive. Alright, so... Yeah, I'd like to buy that. Okay. Then go ahead and mark off 15 gold pieces. Do they have any more arrows? Yeah, she's got a few quiver of arrows. Can I buy one quiver? Sure. Like, yeah. nobody becomes an adventurer, becoming an adventurer is too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's, that's like a year's pay right there. Let me split the share. Uh, it's a gold gold piece for a 20 count of arrows. Cool. Oh. Thank you. Also, Fire Eyes, I would like to help you out as well. Did you get two? Help you hit more often. Uh, okay. But that has to be done tonight. I need um, a lot of time to work. Alright. Should I, um... Your bow, not you. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, all right, we'll discuss it tonight. He goes up to the counter and is like, uh, you got any potions? Uh, potion no. seller. Potion seller. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> it started I, the I started I it too, what back. have I done? Um, <laughs> no, I do not have potions. You're going to be hard pressed to find potions anywhere in this town. The shrine lady had some, right? She had offered you some as a reward, yes. Yeah. For, what, for doing what again? I forgot. For going to Coneyberry and oh, yeah. talking to Agatha, the banshee. Yeah, the banshee. Okay. All right. Uh, does anyone have any idea where to find Sildar? Last time I saw him, oh, you know, like three days ago, he went into the stone house. Oh. oh, surely he's still there. Uh, he did tell you that after rest, he was going to post up in the town, ma the town master's hall. Okay. Is that the town Let's master's hall last time he told me? Let's <laughs> the go. The mysterious voice in the sky. Yeah. Wait, wait. My memory. Wait. wait. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. To the town master's hall. <laughs> Okay. Our steps in today, guys. Well, uh, as we're walking over there, uh, Skender's like, you know, the only way we can really make sure that it's even is if we count it out, just one at a time. But you already took some. No, I gave it back because I realized that it was not enough. It makes it uneven if you already take some. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. To the town master's hall. No, what? I, I have I have children that I need to like get through college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. college is not. Or when I like, rip out a page of my journal, here, do the math, figure it out. I, I, I just would. I definitely would have passed out the gold to everybody else, and then just have this pouch of just skin care. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. I already tried to do the math and it didn't work. Paper's not going to help at all. Hey, Skinder, why don't you just take the rest of it and you can count it out? Well, then he's never going to I took learn. out my share. You took out your share? I took Did out my everyone... share, so you only have to divide it by four. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he just... <laughs> so the worst of fives is fours. I'll help you with your share. How about that? Look, we'll open the bag together, and we'll work out how much... Well, look, we could... Or we could just, after we're done with Townmaster's Hall, just go to the inn, so I can count it out. It's fine. Oh my gosh, I don't want to sit there for an hour. You get 20 gold. Alright, here's 20 <laughs> gold. You're like, please! 20 gold's uh, already in the pouch. Did I miss it? Okay. Did I, you miss, did I miss a step? You, you said it was like 10. No. It, no, ten no, and a hundred. No, I should have no. multiplied it by ten afterwards, didn't yeah. I? Ugh. Okay, we're moving on now. Oh. To the town master's hall. <laughs> I don't know. Why I did like the Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Battle. Oh. <music. laughs> I love playing some Pokemon. <laughs> I love that Pikachu. Did you, did you get your Pokemon in today? I don't know what that Pokemon voice was, I'm sorry. Go every day. Anyway. Sildar, <laughs> where are you? Pokemon go to the polls. You guys sorry. kick in the door. Sildar! <laughs> <laughs> well, hi. What What can I do for you? Uh, we found we the would like to speak in private. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he looks around and there's nobody else in there. <laughs> <laughs> we are speaking privately. Grand. I cast the invisibility. The no. <laughs> you see the you see the adult red dragon hiding in the corner. Ah! <laughs> oh, I cast fireball. <laughs> How? <laughs> put its arms and legs out in the corner and so it's like holding itself up and it's just like, can't see me. <laughs> I'm, I am stealth. <laughs> I am the knight. Anyway, uh, anyway, we found Diano. We found Diano. Oh. 
Well, that was fast. All right. Uh, he goes under an alias now. Oh. Okay. Um, he sort of like looks around you. At nobody. Where is oh. where is he? <laughs> Issue Wait. there. That's, Who that's the is Yano again? Uh, the... No, I know like who we know he is, but who was he? Like, what's his official title that he, am... Sildar was looking for him under? I mean, he was he was simply coming here for. I think he was a part of the here. Lord's Alliance. Yeah, okay. we are members of the Lord's Alliance, and he was sent here um, on a on a mission. I know not what, but he disappeared two months Got ago. Got it. Okay. And so I came here to find him. Well. Okay. Uh, issue there. Uh, we don't have him. We have a transcript of a letter to him, uh, and he goes by the name Black Glassstaff now. Black Glassstaff. Yes. Black Glassstaff. Exactly yeah. that. You might have heard he's staying at a place called the Stinky Starfish. What? <laughs> I, have, I can't say I have heard of that. No, anyway. <laughs> and he's left. There are some footprints in the wood, heading east. 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 Doesn't Opposite of west. Where he's heading? Or no? Wait, you guys oh, are kind of you... quiet. Sorry. Sorry, my mic. I have to share. Yeah. Uh, you know how the transcript of the letter in the journal section. Uh, okay, I'm gonna read the letter just to remind myself. Thank you. So it does not tell him where it's going. No. Correct. Okay. Just to kill us. Down? A little bit. What are you saying, uh, Brando? I didn't say anything. I was asking if you could hear JJ better. Oh. We don't know where he's going. But we do know he's looking for some dwarven maps. He's headed to the west. Mm -hmm. Opposite of east. west. East. East. No, no, he said east. It's just the dwarven accent. It's hard to park. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. I guess, I, I guess if it's a if, common if, translation error when it's when it's going to lost like, in translation. Well, when somebody, well, yeah, when somebody's like you know talking and like telling stories, a lot of people will write down the words wrong because the accent's really thick. So you kind of have to like sparse, you know, sparse it a little bit different. This All is right. the writer. Oh, okay. Should, should you all bump into Yarno again, um, I would like to have him captured and at least brought here so I can take him back to Neverwinter uh, to face judgment, but um, it's understandable if that is not possible. I appreciate you at least um, bringing this information to my attention. Um, I will bring it to the attention of my superiors, and if you can't find him, maybe someone in the Lord's Alliance can. We'll keep an eye out for him. The Lord's Alliance. Do you have yeah. any contacts Lord's in the Lord's Alliance that if we should find more information, we can get word to them? Me. Okay. I must say, Soda is probably our best bet. Very well. Um, as for the help, uh, one moment. Um, and he sort of goes to a different room and is rummaging around and stuff um, and comes back with a small chest um, puts it on the table and slides it to you um, I never did pay you back for getting me here to Fendelin safely um, oh yes and um, for the help in locating Yarno um, you'll find that this chest contains 250 gold pieces okay. Skenda oh, get on no. it <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Two hundred. Skander, Skander. Wait, 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 wait. It's. About, it's I hand, no, no, no. It's okay. So it's one hundred plus one hundred. So, so it's twenty oh plus. Gosh. We're moving on now. Twenty. I, I, Iarno oh, picks uh, up the picks up the chest and just slides it to Seth. Iarno. Iarno, glass stuff's here. Kill him. Away. Like, got it. It's you... it's. Um. It's also, 20 um, plus before you leave. It's <sighs> five divided by five, which is five, and then you add a zero. Ooh, Fifty. <laughs> also, <laughs> Silda, are you okay, Silda? Uh, oh, I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> I'm 
I'll never know what I've else he had to say. I've got a mysterious new disease. It's called, <laughs> it's Rona. called Ligma. So, it, so, like... <laughs> Ligma ball. Sawyer's bad joke. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the stupid, like, Gen Z, like, what's up, dog? It's the new disease called it's, Ligma. It's, it's the, yeah, it's well, the... It's the equivalent of like loser says what? Yeah. No, it's not even that. It's the like it smells. It's like the up. what's up dog. Yeah. It smells like up dog. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's what's fair. up? What's up dog? Not much, dude. How about you? How about, yeah. <sighs> yeah. But anyway, so Anyways, so after so, after Stubbs says whatever he said, because you said it so fast that even like cause that Ash had a trouble with it, but you said it so fast that Skender just looks more distressed because now he's just more confused. <laughs> Too many fives and zeros for you. Uh, no, it's just, gonna, you said it so fast. What happens it's is 25, you had a five, you got your five, you had your zero. 50. <laughs> T- 25? Where'd 25 come from? Zero my, 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 my friend, let them do the dividing. Yeah, this is, the, <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. Like, JJ's actual <laughs> We can tutor but, you. It's okay. But could, but could just someone tell me where the twenty-five came from? Okay, we'll talk about it tonight. Because there's a hundred, and then there's two hundred. I like grab your face. Okay. Yeah. Are you able to reach you really at yeah. us? Yeah. <laughs> I grab my mage hand up and I put my hand on things like head. Just my folded study of Skander. I will sort the map out for you. How about that? Or Sildar's face is in his hands, like Sildar or, is actively cringing at this situation. Oh my god! Or I the could fi- count them the, out. The fifty-year-old okay, man yeah. is cringing at this situation. I'm, I mean, I mean, he's not much older than me. I'm forty-two. Um, <laughs> what other information did you have, yeah, Sildar? If please. any, I I don't really have a whole lot more information. I'm sure okay. that you already know of. Uh, the presence of the Kragmaw goblins in the area. Um, I, I, I wish to bring law and order here to Fandolin. Dun dun. Um, and so I. Uh, <laughs> burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The criminal um, justice system. As, as such, I would like to find um, Wave Echo Cave and help the Rockseeker brothers, Gundren, Nundro, and the other one. I have forgotten his name. Um, Bob. And put it back into production. And perhaps the prosperity will bring civilization back to the town. Um, I encourage you to keep the pressure on. Uh, and should you locate Kragmaw Castle and kill or in some way get rid of the tribe's chieftain, um, and he looks at Skender and then looks at the rest of you, I will pay you 500 gold pieces in return if you can do this for me. Don't even think about it, Skender. We'll deal with it. It's a hundred. It's a hundred, right? There you go. I, I clap slowly. He, he like <laughs> he like gives like a, a a small fist bump just to himself. It's just like, oh my gosh, self I, I, rec- <laughs> I recommend perhaps searching for more raiding parties near the Tribor Trail. Perhaps more goblins will get brave and attack you, and then you can somehow weasel information out of them. And. Silda, um, one of the things that Iana was looking for were the Dwarven maps. Isn't that what you and uh, Gundren had? I can only assume so. I can only assume that Iarno and this black spider figure are also after the lost uh, Wave Echo Cave. For what purpose? I know not, but it can't be good. Uh, the way back on okay, KFDM is uh, the location of the forge? Correct. It's the location of the forge of spells. I mean, I would assume it's to find the mythic forge of spells. <laughs> sure, but I, I do not know what they intend to do with it. Nothing good, most likely. Precisely. Probably whatever is profitable. But... <clears throat> Anyways, uh, um, a few things you could forge with some spells. No, 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 you forge new spells. Oh, even better. Yeah, you make new. 
All it was used to forge items. items. With spells in them. Yeah. Click ass. I trying to say. <sighs> Don't you understand? No. Hey, anyways, thank you for your help and your assistance. Um, and I and I wish you luck. Thank you. You are doing you are doing good by me, and it has not gone unnoticed. Look at. Well, All we right. can make it to the tribal trail tonight if we um, leave now. Well, I have a lot of work I need to do now. Mm -hmm. I'd like to at least stay for the night. Yeah, he just yeah. got commissioned for a new job. Is anything... Is um, anything and, the, and the actual tribal trail, by this point, you'd be getting there about this time tomorrow. Oh, I thought it's it was only a half a day. It's it's a, it's about a day to a day and a half. Oh, okay, never mind. Back My bad. To the actual tribal trail. And, and also, like, any, nothing we're really doing is super time sensitive. Yeah. Except that, uh, wait, what's the guy's name that we think might? I mean, Gundren. Yeah, Gundren's been held hostage this whole time, if he's even alive. So that's. Yeah, but like an extra day probably won't change anything. Like, if he's gonna die, he's gonna die. If he's gonna die, he's already dead. Yeah. Okay. Like, if they're not gonna kill him, they're not gonna kill him just for the Like, I mean, most, like, you were held hostage. D would an extra day have mattered to you? I mean, I would like to get rescued as soon as possible, but if we have other things to do. How would another day been in those boxes they found you in? Pooping in the corner. <laughs> Ah, wow, worse, his pants. At least it wasn't his friend's coin purse. You pooped your pants. <sighs> so anyways, then he pooped his pants. <laughs> he pooped his trousers. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving now, and I take the gold and walk away. Alright, follow him! <laughs> Alright. 500 gold we have. No, you have 200. You, have, you just got 250. He offered you 500 for defeating the... Yeah. The chieftain of the Kragma tribe. Oh, well, who'd be doing that soon? All right, so let's do it. Okay. But yeah, so I'm taking the gold and walking away. In. And I'm not handing out the gold until you guys apologize for telling that guy that I could just my pants. I mean, didn't I'm you? I'm sorry. I control your bowels. I didn't Wait, tell no, him that. I didn't, wait, I didn't, say, I didn't say poop pants. I said you pooped in the corner. Yeah, see, okay, I had you 50 gold pieces. There. See, Skender gets their share. It's because you're mad about the truth. Do Doesn't mean okay. I'm wrong, but you I'm sorry. You can handle the truth. I didn't say that. I actually didn't say that you pooped in your pants. I said, how long would how would another day been in those boxes? No, no, okay, that's fair. That's 50 fair. gold, please. But then... Wait. But then, <laughs> however, I'm confused. I'm, I'm confused. How do I get fifty? There's two hundred in there, right? Now, now that you've had fifty, there's there's two hundred. There's two hundred and fifty in that. Oh, chest. okay. My bad. I heard Ash heard two hundred. Oh, oh no, God. Skender's Ash contagious. There, there, there's 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 two. No, you should have blamed that one on Skender, Ashley. <laughs> um, there's two hundred for finding. The stuff about Yarno and fifty for having gotten him back safely to Fandolin. Okay. I had, I no, see, the, I heard two hundred and so. I leave the chest open. Wait. I we can't hear you. You're really I, muttering. I. He was. <laughs> I grab. I grab my share and I leave the chest open and I start walking away, muttering under my breath. What? I don't. I don't understand the like. I. I just said the you truth. I didn't. Mind. And I there was no. Out. Should I? I thought he wanted an apology. I don't understand. Just take the money. No, I gave him his money. Oh, I don't, no don't take the money then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just oh my gosh, so guys! It's been 45 confused. minutes of math. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the joke is funny, but we need to move. Yeah, let's. <sighs> We're at the Stonehill Inn, I believe. My worst, my worst name. The reason I'm not making myself a math teacher. Because <laughs> this is it. Because you, then you'd have to deal with a bunch of mini skenders. Yes. <laughs> and the fact that I couldn't just punch them in the face. <laughs> fun. 
Or use Mage Hand. Or use Mage Hand. Yeah. yeah. Just bring a d20 and just, like, imagine if you would hit them. No, that's not... <laughs> That's not healthy for a teacher. Don't worry, I'm a mental health professional. I, I know it's healthy. <laughs> it's not going to traumatize him that hard. <laughs> I mean, as long as I don't know. It's fine. Anyway, uh, Stonehill in. <laughs> Alright. We're all back. Alright, uh, let's get some rooms. I shooting? want to go find a forge. Okay. Um, well, luckily, as you're walking back to the Stonehill Inn, you can hear clanging on a forge. There's a, there's a smithy just, like, right across the street. Oh, oh. Fantastic. Oh. Well, that's convenient. I'm gonna wander over there. Tim? You sort of, you sort of walk up and and there, there's a guy actively working on something on a forge, um, and is, you know, w wiping his brow and clang, clang. Go on, go. Excuse me. And he sort of like looks around and put and puts the sword in the the, the water next to the, the anvil, and he's like, "Can I can I help you?" Uh, yes. Well, if you want, uh, I'm a bit of a craftsman myself, and I was. Curious if I could, by chance, use your forge. Uh, um, what for exactly? Well, a few things. Uh, one of my compatriots would like an item. His focus put into a hammer. Uh, I would like to work on my crossbow and work on it some and also I also have this project and I'll tell them about Turris. You start to get into talking about Turris and he's just like I, I, the, this is over my head. Um, um, you seem capable just don't break it uh, don't break anything please. Of course. Uh, I don't know I'll... if this machine is going to explode so please just if it, it seems like it's about to explode throw your body on it first of course hey dm oh yes can you hear us any better very much so i turned you guys up to 160 percent volume and so that was oh <laughs> you just yelled at sawyer i did not yeah, it is. Like, yeah. It's like, uh, you just yelled at Sawyer on his gun. Well, it's a good thing I didn't start with the loud Irish accent. There. <laughs> All right, we, All right. we fixed your microphone at you. You guys sound better. We can hear you better. Or at least I can. <laughs> I can hear you better. Uh, sure. Just also don't break anything, because it's not my stuff now. I'd I'd like to make a request that you don't have uh, Skender help with my focus. It's fair. It's fair. Sure. Oh. I don't think Skender. Keep him away from it. No, oh, Skender. Oh, was it Skender there? Yeah, it was. Yes. It's Meredith asked Skender. Okay. Yeah, Ashley stepped away, but Skender would have asked that. Got it. Right. Uh, it all comes good. together now. That's why I was a little bit confused, all right? <laughs> Those <laughs> hand materials, that's that's a big thing that I'm going to have you do. Just hand materials. Oh, and... And... And, uh, 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 Malarakis. Can I call you Mal? Sure. Hey, Mal. Uh, I'm picturing it like on the side of the hammer, if that's something that makes sense to you. Side? I can, I can do that. Then. 
Uh, I'll take your new hammer and your focus. I doubt it'll be done tonight, but I can at least start on it. Sounds good to me. That's what I'm going to spend my day doing, is working on tourists and the focus and working on upgrading my crossbow into a heavy crossbow. Okay. Um... um I Is it you, pro you probably would have needed to buy some materials to be upgrading your crossbow, and at least just like a little bit of metal to be working on turrets. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I would say it probably would have just been how much is a heavy crossbow? It's, I think twenty-five more gold than a light oh, crossbow. Oh yeah, it's fifty gold pieces. Okay. Um, yeah, I will say you would have to do about twenty gold worth of material for. The heavy crossbow. Okay. Um, and then probably also about 20 to at least get started on turrets. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, do you want to roll for turrets or the crossbow first? Uh, turrets. Okay, sure. Do you want Skender helping you with turrets or not? Uh, for moving materials, yeah. And holding things. Um, I will say that that will give you advantage then, uh, simply because Skender is holding something still while you're working on it, so that it's not falling all over the place and you're screwing stuff up. So go ahead and make me a Smith's tool check using your intelligence. Cool. Uh, with advantage. Oh yeah, gotta toggle advantage. Uh, Smith's tools. Double natural 20s, here we go. That'd be wild, man. Oh, You've done it before. Uh, oh, I got your pill. No, I mean, not close. bad though. Pretty close. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you're not close to the match, honey. You're sort of moving the, the 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 metals being handled, and you're sort of forming the at least the head um, into uh, you know something that resembles a head. Where do you want to put the power source? Do you want it like in the head, in the chest? Uh it's in the chest cavity. Okay. All right, so yeah, you can get the, the head um, well-made. Um, it looks like a robot head. I mean, it, it looks more like a... Um, it, you know the dragon priest masks from Skyrim? Yeah. It looks like that. Yeah. Um, Not what I was expecting. And uh, and so then you start to, to work on the, the chest, and you can sort of get the, the torso uh, built... And the, the arms are at least halfway done when um, you socket the um, soul coin into place. You sort of gently put it in and sort of twist it in a very, like, Iron Man putting the arc reactor in his armor type way. Um, and you sort of twist it and you hear, like, a click and then... And then you hear this clanging of metal as all of a sudden infernal iron fills out the rest of the body. No, I hate that. Oh, um, so so like from the elbows down and the waist down is infernal iron. It's sort of this um, rusted um, reddish black iron, whereas the rest of it is like regular silver iron that you would have in like a longsword. And so the coloring is a little jarring at first, um, but it begins to slowly adapt color to the rest of the metal. Snipper would uh, have hated this. Well, that was unexpected. And uh, and after waiting for sort of a minute, as the as the metal begins to, uh, when it finally matches the rest of the coloring of the body, um, the eyes flash like a brief red, and then dull to about an, uh, uh, like an orange. Well, I was always thinking about. It. I was thinking about. You're always thinking about. It. Going I'm gonna kind of look at it and. <laughs> Sort of turns and looks at you. And in Infernal, I will tell it Udam, which means wave. And it sort of like looks down at its hand and like lifts it up and yeah. waves. Fantastic! But like, Is that normal? Not for this week. Uh, yeah. So far. There's no basis for not normal yet, so. 
I guess so. Like, I rolled a 20. Um, does it, how how does tall it is to... Turris? How uh, tall did you want Turris to be? <laughs> Turris is a little taller than me. He's probably about like six foot four. Okay. Holy crap. Has he been this tall the whole time? No. Oh. No, he started out small. Yeah, before he was tiny Turris. Yeah. Now he's now he's tiny Turris. Like you know, he's the almost joke, as yeah. tall as me. You call, the, you call the fat like huge guy tiny. Yeah, so yeah. He's six foot whatever next five hundred pounds. And, and he'll he'll sort of stand up, and he's like a good yeah. two or three inches taller than Malarakis. Um, you know, a two, two, one, two, 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 com- completely bald. Um, because it's a robot. Uh, it just sort of like looks around and just stands. Does it? Gypped. Does he? Does he understand uh, common? Because I you spoke to him in some other language. Just wanna. I have no idea. Uh, okay. I would imagine he can speak common, uh, or at least understand it. The problem is, who will he listen to? And I'm pretty sure the hey. answer to that is only Mal. Hey, hey, tourists. Like yeah. Uh, hi. I'm. I, I just wanted to introduce myself again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's an inanimate object. It has I mean, life. It's, it's pretty animate. <laughs> well, I mean, it's animated, but it's not like a person. It's not sentient. Yes. Or is oh, it? So he'll- He'll, or, is he'll, or is it? It's powered by a soul he, coin. He he, ste- he steps it, he steps in front of Terrace and is like, "Hi." Just... Is it powered by a soul coin? That's what he just said. Yeah. Oh, I, I hate this. Oh my gosh, this JJ? is not good. JJ hates all of this. Look, <laughs> chaos Rain. is just like. Aah! I know, right? Gerard and Fnipper would both be like, eyebrows twitching. All right. Let's- Let's kill it. <laughs> it's nice to meet you again. You look uh, a lot bigger than you grew. I don't think it can talk. Hey, DM, do I, I mean, know like, what a soul coin is? doesn't mean I can't talk to him. Roll. I mean, of course. Feel free to talk. And uh, roll a religion check. Ooh, that's not what I'm as good at. Well, I was hoping you'd say Arcana, because I... Good yeah, but th- this has to do with the nine hells and I the know. afterlife and stuff. So this is a religion. Okay. Check. Like you know, uh, yeah. nope. Listen, v- I, I could dream within a dream. Veda, my uh, my wife Veda, she, I mean, she talked to her her tools a lot of the time. You mean that's because she had a hard time talking to you? Oh, <laughs> no, aren't you guys oh. just hateful? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it, you, <laughs> like stuff, you say that, and he looks genuinely hurt. He's like, "No, we like, we, we had a great relationship. It was, or have? Are oh you my gosh, there? Why am I per- what? I, I was hoping. I thought it was just you two there. I'm pretty sure it's just me and Skinder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Skinder's <laughs> just talking to himself. Did the rest of you go to the Stone Hill, or were you going to now do this? I did not go uh, with them. I was just hanging out at the at the tavern because I didn't want to oh, go okay. watch. Okay. So Mal great, only, oh, you guys, Mal only gets the conversation right. of my of Veto talk to her weapons to not weapons talk to her tools too. Oh. Well, oh. as long as you don't get attached to them. After all, they are just tools. I mean, she made them herself. She just did that. I don't. That's kind of. Yes. Doesn't that sort of cause attachment in the first place? I mean, a mild amount. I mean, like, I would be very hurt if Turris were to fall going. apart right now. Yeah, collapse. But, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop. But it is just an item. A tool. Well, sure, and... I'm not saying, like, it's... But, I mean... What do you call it a tool, man? In any case, what, uh, what if what if this just happens to be more than a tool? Oh my god! Wouldn't it be? I mean, like, just in case. Imagine, imagine if, like, one of your tools came to life and you never talked to it. 
<laughs> well, I mean, like, what? I, I, I'd I'd know that I'd be pretty miffed if if no if the person that I spent most of my time around never talked to me. Well, I mean, like, he can't really talk back. Well, it's, it's not a big deal. You just sometimes you can have a one-sided conversation, and it can be comfortable. So can the tool then? Well, I'm just saying it doesn't hurt. It's not hurting anyone. Also, uh, about what time is it after tourist is completed? With with with, with that roll, I would say it's probably about. um, So you guys got. Back to Fandolin about three or four. Probably took an hour to do shopping and talking to everyone. So it's probably about the six thirty. Okay. Oh, it only took a couple hours to do that. Well, I mean, well, yeah, because he just did the the head and the torso, and then the rest of the body filled out. Okay, so I would have still been there. I thought if it was like four or five hours, I would have left, but but I, I would have still been there. Except I wouldn't oh. have said that thing to Skinder. It was I was just Brando talking in an accent. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was you being so Smart. hurtful. Yes. So okay. hurtful, Brando. It has a big meaning. I've been enjoying the accent, and it got away from me. <laughs> <laughs> me and Brando are being snarky together. I just let us be. <laughs> and uh. Well, I can certainly work on my stuff later now. I've got my big thing knocked out. So, yeah, you want me yeah. to work on your focus some? Yeah. Do you, do you need me to hold anything steady to help? Uh, if you would like to help, since you don't want Skinder to help. Yeah, no offense, Skinder, but... Uh, I mean, I can, uh, I can like, push I'll, the bellows. I'll, keep I'll, the fire going. It, it if, means if I'm it not requires, touching. It. If it requires that kind of thing, I don't know. Well, I get. I mean, Malarakis, would you say that it does, or? If I put it on the side, I'll probably need to heat the metal enough to dip out a chunk you know, of the warhammer enough to actually. Yeah, I mean, like shoving it in, is it not? Oh, it. <laughs> Just shove it in. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, mean if I melt it down it. enough, I could do it that way, but I feel this like is, that's a bit a excessive. Minecraft. You don't just jam something hard enough together on a table that it all pops back together. Uh, that wasn't a Minecraft mine, reference. That was a... Minecraft you lay it out carefully in a pattern, and then it just shlunks together. Yeah, magic. I mean, I could say your arcane focus down and hit it with the hammer hard enough until it eventually goes in. No, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking whatever is, is that you think protects it the most. I think if I implant it on the side, that allows it you to be able to swing and not potentially damage the focus itself. I... And not have to flip it around to channel anything, just a little bit of turning. I... Uh, so that's what I intend on doing. Chiseling out a chunk, that way I can implant it and sort of welded in. Sounds good to me. So I'll just hold the hammer steady whenever you need me to. Right. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me another Smith's Tools check um, using your intelligence with advantage. Is it my Woo! Your rolls tonight, jeez. Yeah. It's the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> if only we could do this when we were attacking things. Right? We're the worst team in combat. <laughs> so yeah, outside, outside of combat, outside of combat, combat, we do cool things. In combat, not so good. You can sort of heat the metal and then sort of like press a mold into the metal um, to sort of begin to cut out, sort of like hole punching in a way, I guess. Um, we know nothing the, about that. Yeah, don't don't try to figure out what the process. And then you can um, slot the crystal into the uh, the the hole that you've made, and then just allow it to cool, and the metal reforms around the crystal um, again. Not really reforms, but rehardens. Hardens around it. Yeah, and it's uh, there. There is in all. fact an arcane focus into the side of a warhammer. 
clinch at all and just say, just don't slam the crystal in there because I can't promise how well that would work. Wait, did I miss something? You gotta put the crystal. You gotta put it in. Oh, I'm the one who puts it in. Well, I don't know. No, no, it's already in. The crystal's in there. Oh, okay. I'm just, just telling you, don't it up smash things. Don't just smash don't smash with the crystal. Yeah, that makes it. It was not an intention ever. I don't think. Well, I'm just. I don't know how effective you yeah, are with that hammer. Effective your fireball would be like fire. <laughs> got an extra little oomph behind. Right. Um, oh, and I have a bit more work, but I can do that in my room. I think I'm done with the forge for the night, because I imagine at this point it's probably like 8, 9 o'clock, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably getting close to... It. The sun is probably pretty well set. Nah, I'll work on my crossbow another time. I have the materials for it. You do have the materials for it. So, I will go... Say so we go back, introduce tourists to the other two, and be on our way. Okay. So wow. you guys begin to uh, to walk back to the Wait. Stonehill, and you. What? While they were gone, I wanted to see if Seth wanted to scope out the sleeping giant to see if there was like any sort of different vibe after what had happened in the hideout, sure. or if it looks emptied out at all anything sounds like a plan to me couldn't possibly go wrong right so i'm being so far away i mean the last time you guys were a duo i'm pretty okay yeah uh Sander just awkwardly stood in the middle of the yeah. in the middle of the town square but so uh, before we go i'm gonna cast discat no wait i don't have spells also just kidding <laughs> did you not just get one no because we, we don't get that yet did you just start? But any spell slots that you gain, do you mm -hmm. get? Yeah. Do we get another oh. six? Wait, no, I do have one. Yeah, I do have one first level spells. Now, okay. If you so, gained one, you get that. Oh, cool. Yeah, you don't yeah, regenerate yeah. any. Yeah, I gained yeah. a spell slot. So yeah, it's not like it's not like a level up in RPGs where your health and mana instantly refill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I have, I have uh, two second levels. So I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast. Uh, Disguise self on myself. Okay. And just look like any old dude, just not me. Yep, I'm gonna do the same. Yeah. Make myself. Wait, are we looking like red brands or just other no, brand just like farmers? Like a person. I just don't want to have them heckle me again. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. Okay, yeah, I'll just be a dude too. Okay. I'm just a regular old, like you could toss a stone in a city and it'd probably hit a dude that looks like me. Well, You've we certainly had... seen plenty of those dudes before, yeah. so you well, know exactly what to look like. Like a person. Yep. We have two options. We could head down the road where we know we'll be able to get a good view, but could get heckled still. Or we could try and sneak around the back, like over here. I don't yeah, know what all this no. stuff is. I'm just going to walk down the road. We're just going to look as we walk. We're not going to sit around and... Sneaking windows and whatever. We're just gonna see how the thing looks out front, because otherwise, that's just asking for trouble. But what if there are still people out front, but like nobody's inside? We'll never know. Well, then that's the vibe will be different, but we, we, we won't know. That's I, I don't want to go in there. I don't we don't have, no, I'm just saying we like look up at the window, and then if they yeah, see us, look, we run. <laughs> People. That's gonna be look random people just like peeking inside. That's gonna be super conspicuous. Um, Seth, you would remember from being on the inside that there are no windows. In the oh. Yeah, there's not even any windows inside, anyways. All so right. Be... They, they, they have they have boarded up the windows. Never mind then. So I guess there, just... there are windows. They're just they're not try visible. And see right. the vibe then, I guess. Yeah, we just okay. walk past. It's okay. So b both the. Uh, from the obvious outside, there are still dudes on the porch. There are three dudes on the porch. Ah, there are three, um, not four. And uh, are you guys trying to like, like really listen in to see if anything's going on on the inside, or are you just general looking at the porch? I mean, without I... drawing attention, I'll listen to see if there's still like a ruckus in there. Then go ahead and roll me a perception check. Okay. 
I will help. Okay. So go ahead and roll with advantage. If that's okay, DM. Sure, go for it. Cool. Oh my gosh. I wish I could roll like Malarakis. Um, there, uh, there is still sound coming from the inside, though it is not as boisterous as it was a few days ago. Okay. So it, it does seem like there are still people and in there, though you can't really tell really much more than that. You don't know if that's because like there are less of them, or if it's just because it's that time of night, and most of the red brands have gone to their respective homes, or if they're back in the tr- or if they're back at the manor. But it's like five people. o'clock, though. They shouldn't have gone home yet. Oh, right. sorry. I was th- still thinking it was eight from the smithy. Um, okay, but yeah, you can still you can still tell that there are people inside, so you don't know really the amount or anything like that. And do I see Toby? You do not see Toby. Okay. Toby's dead. Just keep walking. Toby. Toby's dead. 100%. <laughs> Rip Toby. Alright. Bye, Toby. Yeah, not forgotten. Hopefully forgotten. Bye, Tobes. You'll never forget the guy who pooped in his friend's coin purse, too. <laughs> uh, you guys are yeah. welcome for that D&D memory. Yeah, thanks. I hate it. But you guys have so much in common. Both poop in places you shouldn't. Alright, I'm going to cast Hold Person. (laughs) (laughs) Alright. Guess we'll go back and wait. Yeah. You guys can go back to the Stone Hill and then you sort of chill. Are you chilling in your rooms or in the the tap room? I'm going to chill in the main room just kind of in an out of the way seat doodling in my book. I'm just gonna listen to what other people are saying in the tavern. Doodling in your book? Yep. Doodling in my book. Doodoo doodling in a nook. That's kind of right. is taking okay. the time to uh, count his change to bring it to half again. Um while you're chilling in the uh, the tap room, Seth, uh, that old man that you had talked to the other day, who you had said, "Come to me if you hear anything interesting," comes up and like sits down with a pint, and he's like, "I heard something juicy." There's a there there's a sort of like an older half elf folk here in town, ta- not, not like folk, but person here in town. Um, the Edermith, Edermith, Ed, Ed, <gasps> Ed, Edermath. Orchard. <clears throat> you got there. Oh no, he's doing southern accents again? Yeah, it's oh. over. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's over, we're done. Doom! Everybody, the accents are over. And I've lost it's a, it's over, players. I have the accent high ground. <laughs> D- Darren Adermath, the guy who runs the orchard, is an old adventurer. I found, I found that out from some of the young hoodlums here in town. So the way he says, dare, dare, oh, dang it. I was like, I can help him. Because I did a sort of Irish accent last time. (laughs) Darren Edermath, huh? Darren. D-A-R-A-N. I put it in the chat. Nice. Darren Edermath. Duran. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. (laughs) Daryl. Go to talk to him. We're like Duran Duran. What is going on? (laughs) Is he on the hunt? Is he after us? He's hungry. Hungry like the wolf. Is he hungry like a wolf? (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) So he used to be an adventurer. Do it. It's about about all I know. But yeah. Back in the session. Make this joke. That's super juicy. Uh, super I don't know. You guys, juicy. you guys might, you guys might be like, you guys seem like capable folk, and so, uh, it's we could rob us. And and, and may, maybe like, I don't know, maybe he knows something that could help you. I, I, I don't know. Skender is suddenly very grateful that this person did not. You're, you're not there. Also not there. What? 
This is happening while happen. you guys are at the Smith working on tourists. Oh, while! Okay, remember, sorry. I I know that thing that the party. Everyone is omnipresent, okay? You, you guys were gone for like four hours? <laughs> it took us like <laughs> ten minutes to go check the sleeping giant and come back. <laughs> this is... Okay, my bad. We literally walked past, it was like... Well, I, for some reason, I thought that I heard that that happened after the stuff that happened at the smithy, so that's nope. my bad. Okay. Okay. I don't know, maybe there's something there for you, but... Oh, Robin. Oh, well, I'm kidding. I'm not actually there. I'm just doodling to myself. Is he, like, a magic guy or, like, a fighty guy? I don't know, he's one of them el half-elf folks, oh. so maybe... So maybe wait. That doesn't help anything. That doesn't help at all. I know. <laughs> oh, you know, he's one of them half elves. You're like, okay, so he could be literally any class. Also, are you assuming that like what's a class? <laughs> yes, customizing origins and stuff is a thing. Something no, that you don't have is the is oh, the oh what's what's an, vicious an, mockery, real psychic damage. What's an origin? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm surrounded by simpletons. <laughs> What's a well? I'm pretty sure I'm <laughs> much you, Thank you for your help. Um, yeah. Good. Good luck to you. And he sort of like stands up and hopples over back to his table and sits down, and starts drinking. I don't know what we're supposed to make of that. There's a man who used to be an adventurer. Woo. He just ignores me. Do with that what you will. I mean, yeah, there's, it's good It's good information, I guess. We can go see if he's got stuff. I mean, he could start helping the fight against the Red Brands. Or he could, like, give us stuff that he doesn't need anymore. Or that. I mean, that, that's the, the old adventurers always have the best stuff. Yeah, but what They're, if he divvied that out to the people and then they could defend themselves? I mean, usually they have, like, one good thing. It's not really, like, divvy up as so Looks much. Looks at the party and Tyranny of Dragons. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen here, all right? <laughs> not our fault. No, nor is that a normal adventuring party. Exactly. <laughs> Why am I... No, no, I'm not going to say that. Well, should we wait for the others then? Yeah, just yeah, sit yeah, here yeah. in silence. I'm just I'm doodling. I mean, I'm gonna like stare over his shoulder as he's doodling. Can you not? I'm do that. I'll show you later if you want. Just I'm just don't. watching your technique. There's really nothing else for me to do here. That, I mean, that's fair. You could drink. Eh, a dragon going <laughs> like one drink for each of us. Yeah. <laughs> Guess there's nothing else to do. Beautiful. Welcome to small towns. <laughs> <laughs> How much is what two drinks? Do do? Uh, uh, it's like drink. <laughs> two silver pieces. You know, I'm gonna like the nicest stuff they got. The nicest stuff. Yeah, there's just two of us. They don't. It's the other people don't have to okay. know. We got the nice A stuff. A gold piece. Okay, cool. I'll put it down. Okay. We're real high rollers tonight, boys. <laughs> we got the top shelf liquor. Don't tell the others. <laughs> It cost all of like ten dollars for the bottle, and that is the good stuff. <laughs> Joshua would have been so happy. Joshua wouldn't have cared. Joshua <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Joshua would have been like, "Give me turpentine." <laughs> Whatever gets me. Where's that silver toad spit? <laughs> Give me that poison, baby. Woo! Yeah. Give me that stuff that can literally kill me. Uh, no, it, give me that stuff that nearly a killed regular, Arthur. A regular man. <laughs> I ain't no regular man, all right? I guess I'll spend a couple more minutes, uh, like, I'll walk to the edge of town and try and, like, whistle for Declarus and see if he comes back at all. In, like, a couple different spots since I got some time. Does he come okay. back? Yeah. Okay, He'll cool. eventually... There you like, are! Walk up to your leg and, like, look at you. I'll, like, pick him up and put him on my shoulder and walk back to the Stonehill Inn. Okay. Then spend the rest so, of the time. Sort of pick him up, and he's like, Ugh. "Come here, little guy." <laughs> Did you eat like, something? Like, Why do you sound like, like that? You're, you're like cradling him in his arms, and he's like trying to get out of your <laughs> arms, like he's like trying to roll out of your. Why arms. are you doing this, Declaris? <laughs> Is this a different fox? 
He literally followed me across the world, but you don't want to be picked up. <laughs> the fox looks at you and goes, Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I made the mistake again first. I thought the oxen were horses. Now I just picked up a cat. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, your pet fox. <laughs> I'm supposed to be good with nature. <laughs> You're the ranger. I know, but it's actually Declaris, right? Like, just to be no, clear. No, no. Okay. <laughs> That's just the noise that foxes make. They make, like, scre- <sighs> yeah, they make, like, screaming sounds. Yeah, they, like, scream. But yeah, I'll take him to the Stone Hill Inn and, like, get him some nice little food to eat. I don't know what foxes you know, eat. The horses, they're actually oxen. <laughs> yeah, it killed me. I still think about that. <laughs> <laughs> and also, they're not horses. <laughs> Fun. So, so the first thing you notice is they're not horses. <laughs> <laughs> they're awesome. <laughs> All right. So eventually, you guys are sort of just chilling there in the tap room, and um, Skender and Stubbs walk in, and then Malrakis walks in, and there's sort of this bigger figure behind Mal that just sort of like is walking, and then ding, like hits his head on the door frame and is like. Ugh. And like crouches through the doorway. We'll get there. We'll get there. Me in high school, guys. Uh, now. Skender Skender pats him on the, like the elbow. The sort of like is okay. Turris looks just... down. At, Turris looks down at your hand and like moves his elbow away from your hand. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, you don't yeah. like to be touched. Pat it. Stare at this Won't thing. I mean, he's only been billed for like a few hours. He's still, he's it's learning things. Yeah, I know. But it's not. That's he can have boundaries. It's okay. Also, That's... for the for the record, nothing like this has ever existed. Yeah. So everyone in the tap room looks really guarded, because what the heck is that? Skinner That's just turns great. to uh. Androids, aliens, to the religion. group, mm-hmm. and he just, with a big smile on his face, goes, "Guys, Taurus grew up." Um, what is that? Why is it Taurus. red? He's not, no, it's it's silver. The the metal he, adjusted. He's silver to, now. Oh, it did adjust. Okay, it adjusted. Um, I, uh, it's just speechless. <laughs> Taurus, uh, sit down. And I would have said that in Infernal sort of, like, just sit down on the floor. Oh. Just, like, in the middle of the tap room. <laughs> Boom. You know what? That's fine. Don't you we'll get chair? there. Wait, we, we don't want to try to encourage him into a chair? Nah, it, it, it's fine. He'll, he'll learn. Okay. What happened? Uh, this was... Skender gives Turris a thumbs up. Tiny Turris. I have made it bigger. Yeah, he's obviously not tiny anymore. Yeah. Um. And surprisingly, it didn't take as much work as I expected. Very uh, well. He's searching for local siblings. Have you purchased rooms so I could have him wait there? I uh, let me go do that, and I'm like just kind of like awkwardly scoot out of the bench go buy a room or two how many what are we doing for rooms are we each getting our own how much are they i'm getting my own yeah Uh, i can't like remind us how much they cost again oh i'm going to bed i'm getting my own um this is give me a second i think we're all getting our own is the consensus (laughs) Okay, everyone, toss me a gold piece. Toss a gold piece. To you, oh, we might have to rethink this in the future. Mm-hmm. Hitting the old own room. Yeah. Of course, maybe we'll so always be rich. I mean, we got. We just got. So no, it's in the old. future. I didn't say today. Give me a second. Wait a sorry. I think it was a gold piece. I spent my gold. 
Uh, for a second. In the beginning, and then 50, so we got 70 gold. Total. I, I had a real uh, Skender moment, oh, guys. Oh my gosh. I was looking. I, 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 so, like, I was going yeah. into oh. my character sheet to bring it down by one for the gold piece, and it said, so it says 52 now. And I was like, wait a minute, 52? I got 50, I got more than 50? What the heck? And then I remembered, oh yeah, I I split it. I split it in half. Nah. Because <laughs> of the college fund. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, so... Um, it, it's a gold piece of room. Okay. How do you know it's okay. here? Sure. And dinner? Yeah. Uh, it is included with the gold okay, piece. Okay, cool. Alright, everyone more. toss me a gold piece. I'll go get rooms. And do. Take all the money, no, go buy rooms. When I come back, I'll, like, hold my bow very cautiously and be like, Now, what? exactly are you going to do to this? Because I don't want anything like that. I point to Taurus. It's not going to be that elaborate. It's uh, small runes and markings help you hit more often. Song of rest. And when you do hit, hit a little more precise. Alright. I'll hand him my bow. Excellent. We'll be ready in the morning. Thank you. Okay. So you guys are resting for the evening. Yep. Yes. Right. You guys can effectively rest. Yeah. Um, you guys can obtain the benefits of a long rest. Whoa. Hey, DM. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is there anything weird that happens over the night? No. All right. Do I wake up before Seth? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Seth, do, does he wake up before you? Alright, everybody write in chat what your what time you're going to wake up. And you push enter at the same time. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I don't have chat, man. You have chat? Oh, this right? chat. This chat. Oh, that oh, chat. This. Oh, the Discord chat? No. No, the Roll20 chat. Okay. That's the one I got. Okay. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to wake up last because it's sleeping in. Okay, I'm ready. I never you guys are. I mean, I I was only I was only really referring to you know. DM, to, why oh, why are you typing? Oh my gosh! Oh, Sawyer, come on! <laughs> Dawn, what time is dawn? I don't know. I don't know what time dawn is. But I would have we'll risen say, with the sun. We'll say six. Okay. Yeah. JJ, oh. when, when did you wake up, Seth? He's pretty sure he said last. <laughs> yes, you wake up about, before Seth. At about 8 o'clock, I come up to his door. Oh and with gosh. two fists and a mage hand. I'm just playing Seth, with you, Diclaris until that point, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> You're the fastest knocking on your door ever. Definitely faster than two hands could accomplish. Dude, it's so fast. It's just such a fast pace on your door, man. Stop, please. Anything happening while I'm knocking? It continues. I'm waking up, obviously. Shut up. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you're living. What? I'm so tired. Are you coming? And then I knock again. Oh my gosh. Let me get my pants on. Okay, this sounds awkward. I'm leaving. Thank you. And then I knock again for a little bit. And then I leave. <laughs> the, yeah. Apparently, that's the trick to get him to go away. Let pants. me get my pants on. I've got pants on in here. <laughs> uh, your longbow's infused now. It's plus one. Wait, what? It happened overnight? Yeah. Let me keep it. Yeah, I worked on it in the morning, a little bit at night. It's plus one longbow. Thank you. For as long as I kind of keep up on it. Yeah. Wait, so how does that... What did uh, he infuse it with? How does that work? It's, it's artifice or infusion. It's just a thing from his I class. I don't have to change that on here. Well, just, cool. add, just add one to attack and damage. Yeah. 
but it's not letting me do that. Well, just like uh, whenever you whenever you roll, just oh, add just one to mentally, add. mentally add one, okay. or you can just click on the gear. I know, but like, one magic bonus. Can I find it? All right, magic bonus. You hey, see? um, question: Does that is that work the same? Is that different than um? Whatever, I'll do it Wait, later. Is in a plus one, a usual plus one weapon, plus one to the attack, and plus one to the damage? Yeah, yep. yeah that's what he said. Oh, it's what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's a plus one bow. I thought you were saying it It only effectively got the plus one to the attack, is what I thought you said. All right. Both. All right. And he, you could do this to anything? Uh. So it has. You can only do it with weapons, and only one other one at a time. Yeah, he can't do it to everyone's stuff. Yeah. And you have to keep it up. Wait, I'm confused. Skender, are you informing the party about what the sword is? He's saying. Um. Apparently two, yes. What? He said one other one at the same time. They so, have one on my bow. So, oh, okay. um, at around seven-ish. So, like, at six, Skender went out, like, after, like, having a meal and everything, he went out to walk around the town and then, and then practice with the sword because it's a new weapon for him. And he comes back at around seven-ish and goes, guys, something weird's going on with this sword. Like, what do you mean, weird? Be a Not little weird. more specific. Yeah. Like... I, I've heard a lot about weird swords. Is it talking to you? Put no, my no, finger. No. Wait, why would it talk to me? Oh, that's... Yeah, usually that's a good I, a good thing to not have. Okay. Well, so, like, I was expecting it to feel like, you know, the weight of a long sword. But, yeah. like, it's it's so light. Like, here, check how light it is. <laughs> No, I don't. What? He's not tr He, uh, like, he's he's not trying to deceive you or anything. He's he like he genuinely is just like the sores. It's really light. It's like it's it's not even like a as it's like a dagger. It's like as light as a dagger. Here, I'm not lying. Here, try it. Oh, okay, I hold the sword. Okay, it is super light. Wow. Even I could swing this around. Well, I, n so it says weighs as much as a dagger in the hands of the attuned creature. So. So. It, it doesn't. It weighs like a sword. Wait, yeah. this is very heavy. Oh. What are you talking oh. about? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, and he takes it and it's like... I'm just You're just really strong. I feel like, well, would Skender remember yeah. that, like, it felt lighter I mean, after like, he had focused on it? I mean, it feels lighter than than Fate Speaker, which is really impressive. Like, Veda, she... Oh, I can't believe I'm saying She wishes that she could make a, something as light as this. Would... Okay. DM. Yes. Would... Anything, let's see, would either my understanding of magic or my understanding as a dwarf help me to maybe understand what Skinder's trying to say here? That it wasn't as so light. You can effectively deduce that magic has probably made it lighter by attuning to it. But that's it. I think what Skinder's trying to say is... When he attuned to it, it got a little easier to carry for him. Would I? That's all I would understand, though. I mean, pretty much, yeah. That's what it sounds like. I mean, I connection thing. So interesting. Oh. Maybe if someone that uh, couldn't carry so. such a heavy sword, maybe they could carry it once they attuned to it. So what you're saying. Maybe I could use a long sword. Maybe. Oh, yeah. This DM. long sword. <laughs> Excuse me, DM. Uh, that, that is in fact correct. 
Could it become a finesse weapon? Yeah. The, yeah, the, the weapon yeah. is in your journal. Oh, the, I didn't the, check the, the weapon. The weapon, the weapon is in the journal tab, in the magic items box. At this, at this point, I'm going to run downstairs with Declaris with, like, an arm full of flowers and be like, all right, which one of you did this? Uh, very funny, very funny. I'm Just, so confused. Because I'm the nature girl. While I'm sleeping, you decided to put, like, a hundred flowers in my hair? You're right. I got there. That's my fault. Sorry. That's You're that's good. not my MO. I just knock How on you? your door. Am I going to dump How all the flowers on the table? You know me, huge prankster. Just saying, like, the straightest face. Skender almost goes to count them, then goes, no, no. No <laughs> <laughs> more numbers. That's a lot of flowers. <laughs> no numbers are no longer allowed in this game. <laughs> Skender's like, please, no more numbers. Please. Paris and go, did you do this? Turris does not react. <laughs> yeah, Turris Tur can't do it. Turris, like, looks at you and, like, shrugs. Uh, and mm -hmm. didn't think so. Mm -hmm. You're kind of loud. I think we have... A, uh, I, talked, I said I, I said I did it. It's the most straight face. You Wait, did it? What? Yeah, I did it. it was Make a deception check. Yeah. Make a what check? It's not deception. Check. Oh, bad. Fire eyes, make an inside check. Oh, gosh. But oh, why? Oh, Steph, my totally gosh. <laughs> Can't, it's happening uh, again, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. She's even why? better on the insight than you do on the deception. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, he, I, I Skinder, Don't put flowers in Skinder my hair. turns the to Seth and just goes why? What's no. funny for the Wait. meme, yo? I mean, I, I guess mean, it was funny. They're pretty, but like why? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> surely that would have taken a long time. But I don't know, because I felt like it. Wait, didn't I you? Like, I feel like the conversation we were having before flowers was a little bit more important. Wait, what? What were you guys talking about? Oh, apparently the sword is really light, but huh. only if you focus on it. Like Weird. I'd like to see this little bard of ours try to hold it. Yeah, I can't really, like, I can lift it. Like, I hold up the sword. I'm like, I can lift it. Like, I can hold it. It's just, Yeah, like, you can, uh, you can effectively lift it. And technically, you can use a long sword. Yeah, like, technically. You just don't, you just don't add your proficiency bonus to attack rolls. Yeah, which is gross. Uh, to, but why don't you try focusing on it? Oh wait, no, you do because you're proficient with long swords. Yeah, but like, I, it's not perf like. Yeah, it, but just like, yeah, work. your strength, your strength isn't great. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you you can use it, just you're not very good with it. I mean, do you want to practice with the sword? You know, a couple, an hour sure. or two of practicing with a sword love, can always love, make it a lot easier. Yeah, well, you're gonna love. sit here and play with the magic sword. Uh, Dude, Seth, I've got a little more work to do. It? Seth is playing with his sword in the tap room? Yeah, just I mean, sitting there. Now, I do it in the privacy of my own room. Thank you, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, it's but I suppose it's better than Skender, who just went out in the middle of a field and uh, yeah, started out practicing. in the middle of town and started messing with his sword. <laughs> hey, Skender, can you help me practice with the sword real quick? I don't, I don't know why, but now I'm just imagining, like, Skender just being, like, in the town square, raining outside, and just... <laughs> No! No! Why would you? I. I hate this. Also, I, I hate out this. Of the tavern. I'm gonna go out back or whatever. Cause okay. there's like, it's like a little open area back here. I'll just go yeah. out back there. And on the way out, I'm just like. What? Huh? Be like what? You cut out. I just like on the way out. I'm just like fire eyes. No idea who did that to me or to your hair. Just messing with you. Oh. Uh, hmm. Should we get that checked out? Well, Terrace and I have a little more work to do. Since he's going to play with the sword, I imagine we have a little bit of time before we go off on our next leg. Does it only take ten minutes to attune? Does it? An hour. An, oh, hour. an hour. It takes an hour. You gotta sit down and think about things. Oh. I'm going to go work on my crossbow. Stubbs, okay. do you want to go check the forest with me again? See if we see more activity from the hideout? What the party? <laughs> K 
Okay. I'm assuming that's a yes, Stubbs. Oh, I didn't hear what Sorry, he I, was, I was. I was distracted. I was distracted. Okay, I was just asking if you wanted to go see if there we could see any more activity near the hideout in the woods. Oh yes, let's go. Let's go do some scouting. Maybe I'll learn a thing or two from you. What should I do? Aren't you helping like Malarakis? Oh, for me. did you need? It? I thought you, you were doing help? that because you did that yesterday. Sorry. Well, I, I, it depends on what kind of help it is, because if it's forged stuff, then Skender can do it. But if it's not forged stuff, then then Skender's kind of useless. It's forged stuff. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. Yep. You Skender guys are goes. Leave it, yeah. leaving the inn, and Taurus again, ding! Uh -huh. And crouches through the door. Fuck, frame. man. Declaris just, like... Scatters with. <laughs> oh, what I heard. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I guess we can. So. Seth, it's okay, buddy. You'll get it. Tuning to the sword. Seth. Seth. Yeah, I'm gonna be practicing with the sword. Just trying to attune to it. Malarakis, go ahead and make okay. me a smith tool check using your intelligence with advantage. Woo! All right. Roll that with well, twenty-five that... card. Oh dear. Intelligence. Good child. Oh, not quite 25. Oh, so. So, e easy enough. You can you can get your uh, crossbow to be a heavy crossbow. Woo! Woohoo! Okay. As for Stubbs and Fire Eyes, both of you go ahead and make me a survival check. Can he assist I'm me? So sure. Okay. Yeah, hey. that's why I do the assist! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, the, they're all the, double the digits, foot, guys. The the, pr the footprints are still here. The tracks are still here, <laughs> um, but you don't really notice anything else. Nothing no really tracks, new no or coming and going. Okay. No. Since that fight, there's been nothing new. Um, and then I'm gonna take a minute to like look for some berries as we walk back. Easy enough. With that, with that survival check, you can easily find some berries. Yeah, but are they like poisonous or? No, they're good. They, they're they're not poisonous. With, oh, with, with, with the a real good berries. survival check, you can well, find I, the the proper berries. Good berries. No, good berries. I found my berries. And as we're walking back, I'm gonna kind of like, kind of like pick each one up in my hand and like observe it as we're just walking back. Okay. okay. Uh, eventually, Seth, you do attune to the sword, and it does get, it does seem to get lighter. You. That's really cool, and I would like to. Uh, <laughs> auto <-rate>, sorry. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's very cool. How do I pull it into my? Uh, just my put a pl just put a plus one longsword in your inventory, and then just remember what it does. Yeah, but then I gotta make sure it goes on my decks. Oh, if you okay. open up the little cup, yeah, I know, I know, I got it, I got it. I'm doing it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and um, then make sure when you when you bring it up that you also add plus one to the damage because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cuz it's a ta it's plus one to attack and damage. I don't think it worked. It didn't work. It didn't do the thing I wanted. So All right, I'm going to be working on this. Uh after I'm done practicing if the forge stuff isn't done, I'll go to the forge. Okay. Bindian. <laughs> Keep it locked. Skender would have tried talking... Well, not like intentionally, but he would have tried talking uh, Malarakis's ear off about like how amazing uh, mm -hmm. Veda's work is and like how many years she's been working and, and just stuff like that. Just how amazing his family is, too. I don't mean to interrupt, but Veda did it better. It's pretty sweet. Uh, anytime you talked about Veda doing something better, you could see just like this eyebrow twitch every time. <laughs> just like. 
Well, it, I mean, like, he, he makes sure to make a point that, like, I mean, weaponsmithing and what's happening here does seem a little different, so... So I mean, it's... it's or this, I'm just doing test rolls, sorry. Similar concept, but... I am making more advanced weaponry than just a hammer or Well, thread. yeah, she... She's not really... She can't really do any enchanting. Uh, oh, though... Mm -hmm. Though my daughter... The, the oldest, Visha... She is wanting to... Eventually become an enchanter to, like, help her mom out. Oh, wait. Get more money going in. Enchanting so. is quite the process. Most of my enchantments are sort of prototypes, in a way. Mm -hmm. Not quite solid enough. I have to kind of maintain them. And they're less enchantments and more enhancements. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, it, so it is quiet for a while, and it just goes... I mean, like, would you be willing to take an apprentice if she wanted to do something like that? Uh, quite honestly, it depends on where I'm at in my life. Right now, sure. if we find this way of Echo Cave, and if I'm allowed to use the Forge of Spells, then my work will be significantly easier, and an apprentice would not be any problem. Awesome. Man, I'm so glad right. that I did this. Like, I was kind of worried about coming out here doing the... Doing the whole... Uh, gathering money thing, because obviously you can see I'm not very good with the money uh, counting. Um, but... Oh, no, not at all. Hardly noticed. I can tell, like... I'm not... I can tell that that's such sarcasm. Just... Oh, you can notice that. I'm, sound like, I'm... Sound like you said sharkasm for a second. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, the fact that, like... I'm actually doing good for my girls. That makes me very happy. Well, that's great. And he, get, uh, and he, told it and this he looks way. a little emotional. Yeah. Like, those girls are the light of my life. I mean, besides Veda. Veda. My goodness, I can't... You don't even know your wife's that name. That. <laughs> Ash had that slip. Woohoo! <laughs> I love Lord Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that as, as I was making the name. To all you uh. Veda haters out there. Sorry, continue. After all is said and done, how long did it take me to make this crossbow? Oh, like an hour. Okay. Afterwards, I'll be like, well, should function. I said we go meet up with the rest of the group. And as you do, I walk in. Like, hey, guys. How you doing? It stabs you in the back. <laughs> Not again! Look how light it is! <laughs> Why are you walking just holding the sword out in front of you? <laughs> I forget I'm holding it so long. <laughs> well, like, you, you expect it to be, like, so much heavier, but it's, it's, and it's almost a little off-putting because of, like, how it's balanced. Like, you, you, it's balanced like a long sword, but it feels like a dagger. DM, I have a question, though. So, long swords are, long swords are, um versatile so i can use them one-handed or two-handed uh can i can i get use it as a finesse weapon two-handed as well i would say yes it's the, it's a long sword with the finesse and light property okay so, yeah. and then um okay if there, is there any downside to me always two-handing it and compared to can't have a shield uh, you can't you can't use a shield okay but i can still like cast spells and stuff afterwards like cantrips and stuff right because yeah. I don't, okay. Yeah. You could just remove a hand and then put it back. 
I can't use shields, so <laughs> I'm not proficient. That's true. You're not College of Valor or I'm swords, so shield. So don't matter to me. Cool. Oh, hey, you got the sword to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it's it's really light, and uh, ah. I'm I'm very excited to use it. Thank you very much. For I'm so happy. Coming. I'm so happy for you, man. I'm just so glad that you have something that that. Okay. I, Fantastic. I'm also... That crossbow's gotten very heavy. <laughs> One <laughs> weapon got lighter, one got heavier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Balanced as all things it. should oh, be. Yeah. The weight just shifted from here. <laughs> to there. Mm -hmm. I don't even oh, think it makes yeah. up for that because, like, a heavy crossbow is eighteen pounds. Jeez. Yeah, it's like well, I mean, the long sword compared to a, a like a dagger. A dagger. Yeah. That's yeah. Pretty. That's a pretty heavy weight significance, like difference. I don't. I don't know exactly. Oh, Light to a heavy crossbow is pretty big too. I think it yeah. like goes from five to eighteen. Yeah, but ugh. anyways, JJ, I found out you can still use a shield. However, if you if you wear armor that you lack proficiency with, you have disadvantage on any ability check, saving throw, or attack roll that involves strength or dexterity, and you can't cast spells. Okay, so basically, I can't use a shield. Is what you're saying? I mean, theoretically, you can. Okay, so everything's at disadvantage. Yeah, you you neuter you power. neuter yourself, but yeah. you can. If I want to use a shield. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Neat. It's just just like you can wear blade mail, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Actually, I don't believe he can. He doesn't have a strength uh, modifier to wear plate. Well, it's just oh, his uh, crushes speed. him. Oh, I would. Yeah. Your die. speed is halved. Just die instead. Your speed is halved and you can't cast anymore. But you have an 18 AC? That's weird. So, Yo. like, long sword is about three pounds. So it goes down to one. So even, so even with the weight of a long sword, heavy crossbow is still heavier. Oh, That's a lot weird. heavier. Oh, by like a I long don't know. Like, for some reason, my brain was just like, no, it should be, like, dif there should be a difference. No. There, there is a difference. It's a 15-pound difference, but... It's a, yeah. it's a, yeah, it's it's a difference in the way that I didn't expect it to be different. I mean, most of so. the weight is in the drawing back mechanics to make mm -hmm. it easier. <laughs> Which I would have all kinds of mechanisms dealing with that. You can crank. Well, it's an automatic crank. Because yeah. I have the repeating property on it. That's true. Oh, jeez. He, he ignores the loading property. Oh, okay. Neat. So he just, he just, thunk, 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 thunk. <laughs> he, Great. He's got, he's got bottomless clip cheat on. I imagine it's more of like a double barrel, like stacked on top of each other. Oh, there you go. And just two separate uh, bow two arms. Separate cranks, basically. Yeah, just yeah. one cranking the other back as the other one's firing. Yeah. Alright. To Stonehill Inn! Stonehill Yeah. Yep. Batman. Batman transition. Okay. You guys are at the Stonehill Inn. Alright. So, we're going on the Triborg Trail, searching for some more goblins. Should we check in with the X Adventurer first? What X Adventurer? There's an old man that used to be an adventurer, yeah. and he might be able to help us. At the orchard, right? At yeah. Yeah. That's all right. literally all we know. Yeah. Well, I mean... Old man, elder man. I was told about Carp knowing where the secret tunnel is, and that worked out pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's got cool stuff, or maybe he can, you know, lead the rebellion of... Yeah. Or maybe he knows where Cragmall Castle is. I'm always oh, a friend of the he, rebellion. If Just, he knows, you know, if he knows my this, where the yeah. castle is, that'd be great. Or the Rockseeker yeah, Brothers. Well, if he's an adventurer, he probably might have explored the areas. Which band was that you mentioned you were looking for? Rockseeker Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they so should cool. probably know the brothers yeah, missing. Gundren, Gundren, yeah. I they should know that Gundren's missing. Not, not a band. Brando is really bad at remembering names. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here, and I'm going to hand everyone two berries. Um, these are really delicious, and they'll keep you full, and I suggest only eating one of them. And if you see somebody go down, 
then you can feed them the oh, other. These are actual good berries? Yeah, the real good berries. The delicious. Oh. Wait, is the name Goodberry, or is the adge adjective? It's a I'm going to eat one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, you restore a hit point, and you are satisfied for the day. Oh, boy. I don't think I could have eaten another one. You is lost I, a yeah, hit point? No, it gives you, you one hit point. point third eye. I mean, you can't but go over like, your max. Goodberry yeah. heals a hit point. Oh, okay. That's why I, like, I said if someone goes down... Yeah, shove a berry down their throat. You just shove berries into your mouth, and then all of a sudden it's like, I have 50 extra hit points. So <laughs> These are real good berries. <laughs> and, and you're also constipated for the next 30 years of your life. Hey, hey saves time. Exactly. Who needs to poop? Just right. living, breathing creatures, that's all. There's a good berry oh, meme I need to show you guys later. Anyway, to the orchard! Oh, what? There's something up there. Just sweats really nasty sweat. Where where are you going? Sorry. The orchard. the orchard. I'll nod the at the shrine of luck as we pass by. Uh, sis, Sister Gariel is not there. Yeah, but I'm still like paying my respects to the shrine, not paying my okay. respect to Sister Gariel. I didn't know if you were like nodding to Sister Gariel. No. Not, so. Press F to pay your respects. Or... Press F to pay respects. F F's in the chat. F's in the chat. No. I can't. Switch monitors, there we go. Such disrespect, lowercase f's. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Only JJ and I know the true respect. I do not respect luck. Sorry, I'm too far away from Gen Z to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you guys, you guys can walk up to the orchard, oh, and um, there are a few people there that are like picking apples and stuff from the trees and all that jazz. Ooh, apples! apples. Um, and there, is, an, there is an older half-elf gentleman um who's like graying on the sides chopping wood all about counter strike you know hello hey huh huh eh? are eh? you are you darren no i am he's obviously who, joffrey who, didn't you hear that eh? <laughs> who, who's asking uh, we are a humble group of adventurers i want to say humble yeah. Malarak is in fee. I don't Owner of the Dazzling Devil is asking. Malarak is... Uh, Interesting name. All right. Humility in his body. Uh, have some well, questions. Yeah, we, we have some questions. Um, Certainly. What can I help you with, budding adventurers? How well do you know the area? Uh, well, I grew up here in the Neverwinter area. So this place is my home. Fantastic. Uh, two questions. Do you know where the rock seekers tend to camp out at? It varies from time to time. They've stopped here in town many times, but in their ever going search for Wave Echo Cave, they don't really have a usual camping spot. Okay. Second question. Do you know where Cragmore Castle might be? Uh, no. Additional my, question. My, oh, my my guess is somewhere Neverwinter Wood, but that place Wait. is huge. Um, well, yeah, that's why yeah, I asked if you knew the area. We already know that. I I know the area, but I don't know the woods in particular. Ah. But here, 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 it's here really at Bandolin, Neverwinter, I I I know of. Do you have any maps of the area? I guess we have one. Um, do you have any, like, cool maps? I wouldn't say cool maps, but I do have a map of the area, yes. That might be helpful. Because we don't actually have a map, right? You're just using, like, you're using the map. Uh, correct. But, yeah. So it might be helpful to actually have a map if we could yeah. take that off your hands. Can do... uh, well, I'm, I'm certainly not really using it anymore. Um, so let me go get it, I guess. Um, and he'll sort of like flack the axe into the stump, and then go inside um, his home. You sort of stand. You sort of standing there for a minute or two, until he eventually comes back out with um, like a map tube. Map tube. I have one of those. 
Map tubes, map tubes, get your map tubes. Do you have a map in your map tube? I believe I do. Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking to, Dar to Darren. I'm here. Yeah, I did too. Yes. I'm like, that's what he just went for, guys. Come on. Do you have anything else that might be able to help us on our travels? Um, we need to part with from it. someone just so experienced. I, I can't say I do. Um, I, I got rid of a lot of my gear a while ago. I mean, oh, I retired. <laughs> but um, I, I do know there's some weird stuff going on at Old Owl Well. Uh, Where's that? So much We're never uh, leaving this town, guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Old Owl Well. Let me drag you guys there. He unrolls his map and shows you. Uh, oh, wait, that's the hideout. Never mind. Old oh, Owl man. Well. Oh, my. And. Oh, so we didn't by, have. Like, where the, where the, but we don't know that. Wait, so oh. we're. Wait, we're here in Phandalin. Uh huh. Correct. And the old LLs. Yeah. Quite a few hexes that way. Yeah, I'm yeah. also going to ask, because this is our first time seeing like an actual map of the area. Uh, I'm going to ask him to like circle out Coneyberry and then where the orcs are. Oh, and Wyvern Tor. Uh, Just because uh, we've had a lot of so troubles in the, the area. Are. Correct. Is where Coneyberry is. Uh, where did the um, where did the the priest tell us or the priestess tell us about the the Coneyberry? She, Coneyberry. Coneyberry. Yeah, she, that's she, I had she said circle. near Coneyberry. North of it, I think. Better. Probably in the woods, north of it. Yeah. 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 It so, like all leads are heading east. What's happening in what's the trouble in Old Owl Well? Where the um, rain? Well, over I've heard some stories from prospectors. Um, in those hills, um, yeah, in those hills. Uh, say that someone is digging into ruins. Diggy digging. Old LOL. Shut up. Um, and I guess the the really alarming part is several of them have reported being chased away by undead. Oh my! Uh, that's not good. A zombie orcs and a banshee. Sounds that's a lovely somewhere. area. Okay, so, yeah, so a zombie, an orc, and a banshee walk into a bar. <laughs> uh, and I, I would encourage you I'm that if you're, going, if you're going to go there, be careful. I need to find out. Uh, uh, it's, it's an old watchtower. Old Alawell is an old watchtower. Uh, and it's, uh, it's from the Netheril Empire. So be very careful. What's the empire? The Netheril Empire? Roll yeah. a history check. Uh, I don't think I would know this. I'm just gonna be honest. Okay. Let me roll. Go for it. I know lots of history. Oh, me too. I'm super historic knowledge man. Uh, wow. You've heard you've heard of Netheril, yes. Roll the good old three, baby. Uh, so oh, you, can, no. you can't say you have heard of Netheril. I'm not proficient. Could I roll? Sure. Just, just so somebody you, you maybe. Got, you've got a high. You've got a high intelligence. You can roll a history check. Uh, okay. Well, not, not, not at advantage, advantage though. Not at advantage. Five. It's another natural yep. one. Rolled a nat one. That Netheril. Weird. Oh my yeah, gosh. You, you, Skender, you would have I no reason to know anything. Yeah. 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 Neither rest would know. Oh. Man. <laughs> but you can certainly well, tell us about well, it. Well, one, you would have no reason to know about Netheril, and two, you are so far away from where Netheril would be. So that. It's got a negative two, yeah, and we're all like beyond better than I know. that. Roll um, with that. From what I understand, Netheril was an ancient empire that um, it was a majocracy a long time ago um, that started to uh, majocracy um, fiddle with magic beyond their control and. Uh, Doomed themselves because of it. And where is this? Old Owl Well. Yeah. Old, Owl, Old Owl Well is the ruins of a Netheril watchtower. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Uh, now I'm very interested. You have my. It sounds like fun now. Yeah. I. 
I, as soon as he said old mageocracy, I immediately whipped out my notebook and started writing things down. He immediately whipped it out. Yeah. You got that excited about it. <laughs> old mageocracy! <laughs> well, thank you for the information. Um... Also, I guess if you're looking for um, the Cragmaw Castle and... Um, I don't know the woods very well, um, but uh, I know of uh, a druid named Rydoff. Um, if you're, uh, you might try and track him down um, to see if perhaps he knows the location. Any good way Just... to find him or gain favor if we do? Um, from uh, the last I saw of Rydoff, he headed towards um, the, the ruins of an old town uh, north of here, uh, Thunder Tree. Um, please circle on map, sir. Can you, can you please point that one out? Oh, oh, that's oh, very oh, far north. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, funny. I'm so glad he did that because uh, I was going to check for Crag My Castle like here. <laughs> yeah, we're like really checking up <laughs> here. Okay, neat. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, another castle. Like, you know. I don't, I don't know if Rydoth was specifically looking for Cragmaw Castle, but I know that Rydoth was just headed towards Thunder Tree. Well, that seems like in two very different directions. Uh, so looks like... about, we, go, we, go, we go up here, into this little path here. Go hit this, this, this. We just trudge we through the woods. Forest on the way to the Thunder Tree. We just go... What could possibly go wrong with that? Well, if you are certainly brave enough to do that, I wish you luck. Is the um, river? Is the river? Is the river not safe? I mean, it's a river. Oh, you uh, feel I, I I don't know for sure. Well, I mean, that's going to be like you know, like a two weeks thing. On the boat, oh, that's longer. Than how left. how long would it take to like go up the high road to Neverwinter and then go up to the river? That's um. Down. No, I, I can't say for sure because I just realized I guess I'm doing travel time wrong because the module says that Old Owl Well is um, a two day march northeast of Phandalin. Oh boy! Oh, our scale is way off then. Like what? Yeah, you take a week to get to Phandalin. But two two days. That means you're going twenty miles in a day. I mean, twenty five miles in a day. Yeah. That's on a horse. No, that's, yeah. I think that's walking, and that's, that's like walking, doable. It's just march. That's doable. It just today. isn't fun. Three miles. Oh, yeah, yeah, three I, miles I, I, guess, I guess I'm just, yeah, 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 I'm just yeah, yeah, way yeah, that, off. That's realistic. No, that's realistic. So, yeah, because it's it's you do thirty walking, miles. Walking pace is three miles an hour. Yeah, you do thirty miles in ten hours. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not taking any time to stop and yeah, like. That's, Eight hours of walking that, is twenty four is twenty four miles. Well yeah, so ten hours to walk, ten hours to sleep, that's still four hours to do other things. Well you're so, one you're supposed to be like in D or in D and D rules, aren't you supposed to be like maxed out at eight hours? Anything past eight hours of walking, you like take a level of exhaustion? Pre pretty much eight hours is a full day's work. Yeah. Yeah, but like well, apparently the the monster with like an hour of resting. Even here and there, you guys can push the ten hours. However, by Seven pushing hours. by pushing that by pushing that fast, any perception checks will be being made at disadvantage because you're hustling. It, it feels and, like we've stepped oh, in a level of exhaustion at some point, day, and you risk exhaustion. Only really seven hours. Yeah, away. I. That's not even. That's seven hours. Oh, away. three miles an hour. Oh yeah, yeah, three miles an hour. That's not been eight hours. Eight hours is twenty-four miles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't have to walk ten hours to get there. It's. It's because we a human pace is about three to three and a half miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. On so, flat ground, not hiking. That's. That's. I mean, not we're hiking. walking on a trail. It's a trail. A trail. Yeah. We're not going up these mountains. These aren't even hills. Like we're I. We're going through a valley. It looks like. Yeah, like we're in a pretty like we're not going through the forest. We're not going to be able to go that fast. But like. We're not going through these mountain ranges. Ultimately, it's DM's call, so... I feel like Just go with whatever he says. I feel like with accounting for breaks and that sort of thing, it's going to take three to four days. 
I, I will say it will vary upon whether or not you are following the trail or not. Once once yeah. you guys peel uh, off of the trail, your pace yeah, will slow. Make it, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that makes that it harder. Makes tracks. If you are following the trail, you can go at a moderate pace. However, as soon as you peel off the trail, your pace slow. Yeah, that makes sense. How many miles is the, are these hexes uh, uh, approximately? Five. Five miles. Five, Five per hex. It's up at the very top right of the map by the rose by the oh, compass yeah, yeah. Uh, So a straight shot would would be about fifty miles, but if we want to stay on the trail, that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, and then forty-five, fifty, thirty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy. It's well, fifty miles by my account to Coneyberry. So Coneyberry can be done in two days easy. Coneyberry is about fifty-five miles. Yeah, two days plus a little bit of time, and then. Going down to Old Owl Well, or arriving, or would take another day to go because that is through not. Path. And, and, yeah. and I will uh, also say, if you are planning to trek through Neverwinter Wood, your pace will still slow. Oh yeah, that would be even worse. Yeah. No. Actually, maybe not. Fire Eyes. What is your favorite terrain? And I oh wait, I changed it. As your, as yeah, your I do. Terrain? Okay. Pretty so sure. I would say that you could still travel at a moderate pace because Fire Eyes. Knows oh wait, no, I don't have favorite terrain. Oh, that's right, because you're doing option rules. Never mind. Oh. oh, well. All right, well, well either way, we can get to Coneyberry. So, yeah, and we and have to do stuff in there three. anyway. Well, I suggest stocking up on supplies. It's oh, a long okay. trek. I mean, yeah, two days or so. Two days a while. Depending on how far... Well, we got to our hunter for food. Yeah, we should probably back. The but should we probably should get sure to the river? Once you get once you get up into the hills, the wildlife gets scarce. Yeah, I, we should also get her another quiver. I have and fifty she arrows. Yeah, she she just bought a quiver. And she and that's why I use the word another. She can read. How many can I carry? I don't know. I thought I couldn't really carry more than fifty, so that's why I stopped. Um, there. I I will say that. 50's a lot. I mean, let's see. How much? I imagine 50's lot. pushing it. How much is a quiver of arrows? Or how much? Is, yeah. Oh, do you want on the back? Did I do some quiver too? I'm a dwarf. Uh, okay. Apparently, a quiver of arrows weighs a pound. Okay, I could definitely carry that for you. Or, or, or is that a pound per arrow? I mean, I could just strap it to this not a pound metal thing. Yeah, a pound <laughs> That's a heavy arrow. A pound for one. Those arrows would not be able to fly. Okay, I will say you could probably carry another quiver of arrows, though I, it's going to start to yeah. get kind of awkward. I'm just going to put it That's around okay. the, the metal thing's neck, and he can carry it. Ask permission. Please. May well, I carry it? Will you he's carry got boundaries. it for me, he's big metal me. man? It's not It's not even will you. It's you ask the person who controls the atomic. I'm asking it, him. It does not respond. It does not. It does not even pay attention to you asking any question. Well, like, ask I can, me. So I made it. I can. I can carry them. It's no big deal. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Well, let's get I some more. I suggest rat. going to. I suggest going to see Barthen. And then, um, when you're ready, good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Well, that went southern. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah! <laughs> I guess you can't say that. that stereo. It's game is delayed stereo. Oh, I gotta do a character that's southern accent. Sure. Yeah. Really yeah, I really do. I've tried, but I could never hold it. Oh, I can hold it. Oh, I can hold you it all day. You can't hold a, a southern I, accent? In, in our Ghost of Saltmarsh game, I tried to do a southern accent for Dirk, and I kept falling out of it. But, what a dumb name. If I Dirk, I'd be talking like this all the time. Dirk. Dirk. I'd be like, hey, hey, my hey. Dirk. I will stab <laughs> you in the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, that's a kind of southern accent I'll be going with if I find myself on Thank you for giving me NPC fuel. Because. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. And I got to, wherever the guy's coming from, this is what I'll be in. It's like l vaguely Cajun? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's more like Louisiana. Vaguely Cajun. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get going. I bought two quivers of arrows. I already took the gold out. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. I right. go to Barthens and buy some more rations. Oh my gosh, I want to do it. Uh, now. We don't need. Well, I guess I could just get a ton of berries now. And then we never have to Don't worry about food. Don't they go bad in 24 hours? Only if I make them really good berries. If they're just normal I mean, berries, then it's fine. How often can you make these berries? I mean, I can make them enough t for us to last for two days. Sounds good Honestly, I don't think it'd be a bad idea to have at least a couple extra rations, just in case. I think just I in case you're tapped. Yes, I agree. I okay. think I got some rations on me. Yeah, I still got ten, because... We shouldn't have yeah. used any. Yeah, I got ten on me still. I'm pretty sure I have. To. Yeah, because I've been just hunting for us, so no one should have used rations yet. I, mean, I was by myself for a while. I've used rations. That's that's fair. And then just remember, I got the quiver that quiver that you just bought. Uh, I bought two. Me. Oh, you bought two? Yeah. Okay. She bought one the Did day you, before. Do no, I, want, I just bought oh. two more, so now I have 90 arrows. Oh, I like you. Do you want me to have if you don't both mind. of those quivers? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of already carrying, like, three. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's no big deal. Right? Well, if you don't we, mind we, losing your new bow, counting, I can make a way to carry sport? it. That's up to you. Uh, Better save room for myself. It's your magic. I'll give it some thought. See how well this carrying business goes. Might make it a touch easier. Oh, it's only a pound. Okay, that's fine. You make it easier to touch, huh? Are we accounting easier for to carry. carrying capacity in this game? Oh, okay, here we go. To settle the debate, this is what the module says. Assume that the party travels 24 miles per day over a period of 10 hours. Three characters, miles. The characters must rest for 8 hours per day, with the remaining 6 hours consisting of making a breaking camp, preparing meals, and a little bit of uh, and a little bit of foraging or hunting as the opportunity permits. That is what the module says, so that will be the final decision. Okay. You guys can travel 24 miles a day. Okay. And that and that took 10 hours to do 24 that, miles? That, that is 10 hours. Eight, so that's 8 hours of sleep, and then 6 hours of miscellaneous time, basically. Okay. We're traveling. For I'm okay. more worried about water. Oh, oh yeah, we... Six hours. Did the, did the rations c include water in them, or is it just food? No, no but the, the it, berries it's do. Dry, dry, dried meats, crackers. Okay. Uh, it's literally just an MRE. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's, it's, it's jerky. Basically, so it's trail mix. Trail mix, yeah. How much? How much water does the water skin hold? Um, I believe a gallon. Okay, so everyone fill up the the water skins, and we'll eat berries for as far as we can. They can take us. Yeah, a water four skin can hold pints, up to four pints. Oh, so that's four pints, gallon, half right? Half. Yeah. I'm gonna look oh, for ten gallon. more berries before we leave. So that's about a day's worth of drinking. Four pints. I'm sure it's like a day. Yeah, that's half a pint. Maybe. I'm not going to cast good berry on them, but I am uh, looking for the berries before we leave. Okay. Sawyer, just to double check, were we accounting for carrying capacity in this game? Or were we just leaving that alone? Um, I, I will say you guys are carrying nothing too much right now. I, I will keep an eye on Fire Eyes, because Fire Eyes has a strength of 7. But... <laughs> Uh, and if, your your strength if, is dev. Don't judge me. If your if your guys's inventory starts I mean, like, to get out of control, I'll start to check you. But you're into I, don't, seven. I don't have a leg. Yeah, I don't have a leg to stand <laughs> on. I'm just surprised. Like, like I I thought I was the only one that that, that rolled a seven for my. Character. As, as, as of right now, though, you guys are fine. Um, actually, I have a strength of six. Okay, just sorry, to be clear. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's so much better. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Too many times I got someone on my face up. Yeah. Order staff. All right, we're all geared up. Do okay. the well? Question mark. Times five. Yeah, where where are you guys headed? The well, Coneyberry, or Wyvern Tor? I mean, yeah, let's like or really Thunder Tree. If you're really going. Coneyberry's really on the path, so I vote there, and then veer off the path when we get there. D two, D eight. 
That's a little ridiculous. Where is this? Okay. Whoever. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing. Car I'm still talking about. Car I'm still hung up on carrying capacity. Because, like, this. this it doesn't rule matter. That I yeah, I know. Yeah, I it doesn't matter. I believe your carrying capacity is, like. 15 times your strength. Yeah, 15 times your strength score. 15? This person wrote 5. No. no. I mean, more realistically. That, with that's. That's why in Descent into Avernus, Nipper was just freaking jacked. Oh, I'm carrying too much then. Oh, wow. Okay. I can only carry okay. 90 pounds. Oh, but uh, my, my mm -hmm. carrying capacity is calculated mm -hmm. with a large Correct. creature. Yeah, so what's that change it to? double because of your size. Okay, then I'm good. Walking with 150 pounds on you. Also. Yeah. I can carry 180 pounds then. Soldier's kit currently is like 90 pounds, right? But that's wearing it very distributed. Yeah. That's not like on the Okay. Let's go. Let's do some... One second. Yeah, I'm, so... I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking up carrying capacity just to be safe. We don't... I mean... We're... I, I, mean, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't... Like, if you... Uh, sorry, if you don't care, then... It, it, like, it... Right, so you're gonna, gonna keep... A bag of holding in the next, like, five or six sessions, I'm sure, and, like... We're, we're gonna see. Listen. <laughs> we could have nice. one now. We could have one like tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. I almost put like, 12 quivers. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, I can just make a bag of holding, though Fire Eyes loses their fancy new bow. Yeah. Like regular advance. Like, I'm sure everyone is loving this talk about mechanics. Yeah. We're walking. We're walking. So you guys and are headed walking. to Coneyberry. And we're walking. That's what I think. Yes. What? Where are yes, you guys Coney headed? Coney Island. Like we're going to Coney Island. Who votes right. for Coney Berry? I do. Turn that feature off. Uh, I usually. Do. I'm the only one paying attention, so. I mean, oh, okay. no, I'm the I way, said, so I don't I, mind. I was, can you hear me? I, said, I can hear you. I said Coney Island. Right? Okay. Yes, we can. We can hear you. But I've asked you guys a question repetitively, and you guys. Okay, that's responded, three. So that's three for Coney Berry. So let's Berry, go. You guys are going to Coney Berry. Yeah, we're going no, to Coney. We're going to Coney. His, com his computer like just went to sleep on us. Yeah. Or I so, didn't touch the mouse in too long. Okay, so in that case, Barry. we're gonna go ahead and go to a break. Let's come back at twenty, 20 before. So let's go forty after twenty before. I need to make. You want to grab one? A map. Yeah. So. All uh, right. Uh, we will be back. Alrighty. Bye, we'll see Bye. you soon. Bye.
Math. Math. So, it, so anyways, like math. then I did crack. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's well, the story of how I became cripplingly addicted to. Oh, oh, we're Thank back. Thank you for <laughs> joining yeah. our last uh, session. Because <laughs> after this, we are banned. Nah. for mentioning it. Whatever. Twitch won't ban us unless we get a copyright strike. It's probably true. Anyway, so we're <laughs> heading to <laughs> Coneyberry. Well, we're gonna get banned. Okay, so you gotta head to Coneyberry. To Cody Berry! Right. Oh, um, whoa! I really closed that. That was like Pac Man dying sound. <laughs> Alright. Someone roll me. Oh, Brando's away. He usually gets the first one. I guess I'll do it. I'm here. here. Oh, Brando, do it. Oh, right. Do you want to just click on. Do you want to just click the button? No. He's just peeing in a bottle. Oh, wait. I'm still on the thing. He's not peeing in a bottle, he's sitting right next to you. He better not be peeing in a bottle. <laughs> he's got a two-year <laughs> bottle strapped to his side. Just a D20? Just a regular D20? Yeah. Just a regular D20. Beep. Okay. Now I will take care of business. Goodbye. Your day, your travel day is relatively uneventful. It's a nice day, it's a pretty day, there's nice wind. You guys left at about, I'll say, um, 10, 11. Um, so, um, Traveling 24 miles, so that's in, um, a full puts you okay. Do you guys want to travel the full 10? Because that puts you resting at 9. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. I don't see a problem with that. Alright, so here we go. I mean, we'd just be setting up our tents in the dark, but that's not a problem for anybody you except guys for get about uh, humans. Here. After the first okay. day of travel, just set that the fire up first. <laughs> let's go like here. Let's use a grick, just because I feel like it. a what? A grick. What is that? It's a beaked snake. Oh, oh, I hate that. Uh, I'm zooming out. It. That was a mistake. I love it. My new best friend. All right. Um, that's a beaked snake. That's pretty much. It has tentacles. No, I'm that's... like that's like an octopus. But... No, it, yeah. it, 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 the full art of a grick. It, it's a beaked snake. All right, I With believe that. you. Let's go. Um, so we're camping so on the. Is, <laughs> what is the watch order? I'll take first uh, watch. I, I will okay. have Terrace set up on the last one. Okay. So, yeah, it has sorry, no need for sleep. Who, 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 so Taurus is in the last one. Yep. I'll do the first one. Okay. Actually, I'd probably have Taurus just stay up all night watching. Just because okay. it doesn't need to sleep. Anyone doing the second watch? Me, I suppose. Oh, I, right. I said that I would. Oh. Alright, fire eyes. Roll me a perception check. Not at advantage because he's not actually assisting me, right? He's just staring. Correct. He's just chilling there. I mean, I would still have it like watching, but yeah, but it would be two separate roles. He's it's, he's not like right, and 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 he can't talk to, um, also like c communicate. Hey, there's something yeah. over there. Yeah, so it's two separate roles. Yeah. Um, all right, go ahead and roll me a d12. Oh God, I always yeah, do this. How many do we find? We find eight. I always do a real good job at rolling these guys. I'm just going to draw like a dynamic lighting line there just so that I don't have to keep moving things between the GM layer and stuff. Okay, and I need you to roll me a d4. Why do you keep rolling so badly? Ugh. Can you not? Don't worry, guys, I got this. Fire Eyes is never taking watch ever again, I swear. <laughs> hey, at least I notice she, it. She noticed this. 
guess. But I just make it so that we get a lot of things to fight. You guys could be getting attacked in the middle of the night when nobody knew. Yeah, I may roll really well when it comes to like things we have to fight, but at least I notice them. And you notice them, you just can't hit them. <laughs> That's true, but maybe now I can. Dead horses! Oh no, they've come for us again. They're back! <laughs> I thought you made a map. Uh, I didn't make a random account. Oh! <laughs> I, I made map stuff for Coneyberry, Old Owl Well, and Wyvern Tor. Okay. Oh, they was going to be uneventful. Oh wait, no, I didn't, nope. I didn't even make a, a map for Coneyberry, because Coneyberry doesn't need a map. Okay. That's because we're never going to make it there, don't you know? <laughs> no, Coneyberry's map is just a crater. Alright. Okay, yeah. so I put Taurus's so, token. So in. as your as your oh right, Taurus. You guys can see Taurus's Taurus. token. What? Nothing but paper guy. Paper print. Yeah. Aw. What is this person's deal? Taurus. They send like four words. Okay. So you sort you're sort of just chilling on watch and Taurus is, is sitting there as well. And you hear some some grumbling and some uh, twig snapping coming from the north. Classic. And I'm just going to be or like... Actually, okay, we're going to reverse the direction. That's technically from the south. Okay. Declaris, jump on the others. Wake them up. <laughs> he, he sort of walks up. And you know that video of, like, the dog that, like, jumps on the policeman's chest to, like, try and give him CPR? Aww. That, <laughs> That, that's Diclaris on everyone else's chest. I just imagine, like, the fox jumping in the snow. Yeah, he <laughs> Fire fox has crashed. Up the stubs and just... <laughs> uh, 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 shh, shh. Get uh, ready. And then, and then knowing that Stubbs is awake, he runs over to Skender. <laughs> <laughs> I get up and pull out my warhammer. <laughs> he, keeps, he keeps jumping on Skender oh. until Skender gets I some notification of waking up. I will prepare... Major. Yeah, I will prepare... And hold my bow. We're sleeping. And, and he'll he'll basically do that to everyone until everyone's actually awake. And in fact, Turris will come over to Malarakis. Well, I usually and poke Malarakis right before the first. Probably right. wake me up. Yeah. How was that, buddy? And he's just sort of like points to the woods. Declares right. is like on his back paws, like, uh, and it goes down. See? Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, Fire Eyes, you notice that as soon as you were like, Declaris, go wake everyone up, the grumbling and uh, steps stop. Okay, I've still got my bow ready and drawn. So now this is 14. Okay. What did you want? And I'll relay what I heard in very hushed tones. You're sort of chilling there and waiting. And then the javelins come flying out of the bushes. No. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh. All right. And I need everyone to roll initiative. That's not initiative. That's the dice roller. That's initiative. Hey, DM. What if I just want to go first? What? What if I just want to go first? I want to roll. Oh, well, that's <laughs> it's a bummer. We'll find them. There's good old Austin initiative. Yeah! Get that eight, boy! Can I fire when it, the javelins come, knowing a general position? Uh, you can fire, you'll be uh, shooting at disadvantage because okay. you don't see the target. That's totally fine. Uh, I'll try. With my fancy yeah, new longbow. I'm oh, back. No, back. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I'm never having McDonald's on Fridays ever again. <laughs> it's Dr. Pepper. You've always said it's the Dr. Pepper that does it. It's, it's like the combination of the burger and the Dr. Yeah, Pepper. Because if Dr. I do... Pepper. Burger. Anyway. All right. So, okay. Sorry. Um, Initiative. That, that was sort of your, your held action. As wait, wait, wait! I need a, I need oh. a roll initiative. Hold, hold up! I'm, I, I also still have to do stuff. You're fine. Okay. What did I do? 
I rolled a five. It really last. That sounds like it's about Stubbs. Uh, <laughs> Super last. Stubbs initiative. All right, so Malarakis, you have a javelin coming at you. Fire Eyes, you have a javelin coming at you, and Turris also has a javelin. Coming. Ah, just build him. All right, Malarakis, does the seventeen hit you? Barry. Okay, you take seven points Barry of damage. Barry. Then... Can you show me real quick, sorry, where the javelins are coming from? The north. The, the north, dark area okay. that you can't see through. Which is our south. Okay. So the anyone, oh, this is the south. What's your right. health? But you wouldn't be our strong boy. Uh, natural one misses you, fire eyes, and uh, a nine misses Turris. Because I have 32 and I'm curious. Like, what is it with freaking javelins? He's <laughs> just a giant javelin target. It's a 32. Okay. Yeah. And so now, um, fire eyes, it's your turn. All right, I'll hold another, I'll draw another arrow and wait till I see something. Okay. Wait. Maybe yours is different than mine. Skender. Some javelins came flying out of the woods to the south. What's yours? All right. Um, 5, 15, 20. Mm hmm? Uh, and then how much movement to get up the, like the? It's it's, like not, it's, it's not a cliff. It's just the it's just the oh, okay. line. Okay. That's twenty. Twenty five. Do I see anything? Uh, no. This is super dense stuff. This is my AC. Oh, okay. I see. You, you've. I drew a, I drew a line so I could stop just like moving stuff from the GM layer all the time. Right. Okay. Now. Thirty. Oh. How well can I see him? I mean, you can see a shape. You you have no light source, and so it's very dark in here. Does that mean I'm rolling at disadvantage? You are rolling at disadvantage. Because okay. you can't see it very well. Alrighty, Ready. well, um, I'm getting a lot of feedback, like about my voice. It's it was weird. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go into rage. And um, it is us. going to attack him recklessly so I can roll normal with Fate Speaker, both hands. Shoot, are you choosing Tundra or are you doing <sighs> desert or, or sea? Tundra is my, my thing. Okay, because it looks like it's just. Oh every, yeah, just, I forgot. It looks I like forgot it's just whenever more. you enter. It just looks like whenever you enter your rage, you choose. Because it doesn't say when you gain this feature, choose. Yeah, you can turn this up a little bit. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh wait, no, never mind. You you do have tundra. Yeah, you, uh, you you change your yeah, environment it's... choice whenever you gain a level in this class. It just said like after you entering a range, choose desert sea or tundra, and so I thought it was just whenever you entered your rage. But no, you can only change it whenever you gain a level. Okay. So, each creature of your choice gets two temporary hit points. I'm assuming you just want the two temporary hit points. Uh, yeah, because... Well, what's the, what's the range on that again? The radius, it's ten? Yeah, nobody else is in range. Okay. Except if you want to give the bad guy some. <laughs> yeah, no, unless, thank unless you. you want to give the bad guy two temporary hit points. No, I'm going to take those two hit, temporary hit points. Give him so, a good berry that? while you're at it. The seven does miss. Well, yeah, I, I figured. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's... Seth. Cool. I've done many things to make it true. Um, okay. I am going to... So there's a fire here. Correct. Um, I'm going to mage hand grab a piece of firewood and okay. well actually no I'm gonna I'm gonna take out one of my torches because I have a torch. Okay. I think. 
Wait, hang on. Do I even have a torch? My you should. Have. If you have like oh, a dungeon in the air, a six floors pack, you have torches. I have a lamp. Oh, okay. Well, you have a lamp. Uh, I'm going to take my lamp and light it and give it to my mage hand and start kind of bringing it into the dark forest. To see if I can illuminate anything in this dark. What's the... How far can you move Mage Hand in turn? Uh, 30, 30 feet. 30 feet, I believe. I think Mage Hand is 30 feet. Uh, 30 feet, yeah. Alright, well, Skender can see now. But this is... This is oh, thick yeah. stuff. Yeah, so Skender can see the horrifying amount of orcs that are in the trees. Well, uh, it's better than... Better than nothing. And then... Yeah, that'll be my turn, I think. Okay. Alright, well, on their turn, a bunch of them are going to come roaring out of the woods. Ten, fifteen. Ah! Five, ten, fifteen. My thing would have fired off at the first guy oh. that went through. Uh, go ahead and make an attack. Okay. Plus, th oh, it's not a disadvantage anymore, sorry. Plus three. Uh, so that first one hits. Or plus one, sorry. Okay, first one hits. Plus one. Plus, uh, I make him feel real bad about himself. Uh, what? That's part of my class. Literally what? He takes 1d4 psychic damage. Every time you hit? Uh, once per turn, that guy can take that damage. Yeah. Oh, right. The dreadful strikes. Yeah. Okie dokie. And then one, two, three, four. Alright, so one is going to make an attack at Fire Eyes with his great axe. <laughs> What? What? Does a, does a 19 hit you, Fire Eyes? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So you take six points of slashing damage. Okay. And then uh, two are going to swing at Turris, and one is going to swing at Malarakis. Okay. 13 hit uh, Turris? No. And uh, swinging at nine doesn't either. No. Uh, does a 20 hit you? Uh. Turris is going to intercept that and give okay. disadvantage. Does a 15 hit you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take 11 points of slashing damage. Ow! Why me? I don't know! <laughs> it's just like, this will be mediocre against everyone else, but Austin! <sighs> Alright, and then the two orcs are going to attack um, Skender with advantage because Rex. Would go higher. Does a 14 hit you, Skender? Um, yes. Take 14 points of slashing damage, reduced to 7, because you're raging. Yeah. And then a 20 hits you, so you take 10, reduced to 5. Ow. Oh! Okay. Oops. Um, Malarakis, it is your turn. Uh, Owie. Um... But well, this is a slight problem. Um, I'm gonna disengage, okay, and run. Well, all three of them have Sentinel. I'm just kidding. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Malarakis, guess I'll die. Thirty. I think I can get there. Okay. Running into the brush, uh, and I'm going to order Turris. To punch the guy to his left. And roll an attack. Alright. Could Thank you. you that order. Uh, that hits. Could you. As just this pulse of force swings down where his fist is. Yeah, so you hear Malarakis call out um, in Infernal to, to attack the one to his left. And he just sort of like 
like forms a fist with his hand and then just swipes down and like misses with the fist, but this um, sort of jet of orange energy flies out from his hand and just pummels the orc in the face. And just bah! All right. Okay. That's your turn. Yep. All right. Stubbs. <laughs> oh. The I big metal man no... just socked the orc in the face. I guess there's no better time than the present to try this thing out. Smack him. Oh. Unfortunately, that misses. Oh, I'm not happy with life. <laughs> That's all I can do. Yeah. Fire eyes. All right, I'm going to pretend that this guy's not bothering me at all. Uh, would he have? Would this guy have cover if I tried to shoot from here? Uh, no. Okay. Um, and Is that's the one that I went for already, have, right? Don't you still have disadvantage if somebody's yeah. engaged with you, though? Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Because, you, because you have an orc in your face, you, you are still engaged with something, and so you have disadvantage. Fine. I'll take the opportunity to attack and step back. Okay. Like, to here. Seven. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then I'll sh- Uh, this is the guy that I went for already? Or Correct. is it this guy? The, this guy. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Bonus action, Hunter's Mark him. Okay. And... Fire. Oops. Uh, do 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 Fire, plus one. Alright, that hits. Okay. And he's probably dead, because he's got two hit points. Yeah, Yay. he's always dead because literal minimum damage is two hit, two damage. Yeah, right. well, not not to mention dreadful strikes. Then on top of that, yeah, and, and hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. So that's a D eight, a D six, a D four plus three, <laughs> plus one, yeah. plus one, yeah, plus not three. One. So 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 yeah, plus uh, minimum no, of you, seven. You add, you add your dex. Oh, do so I? It's plus plus four. Yeah, two attacks. It's already added. To damage? It's already added. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, it is. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. So a D8, a D6, a D4, plus four. Okay. Ouchie. And then rest of my movement, 5, 10, 15. Okay, so I'll go 20, 25. Like that. Skender. All right. I'm gonna try to attack this person, this, per, yeah, this person in front of me, uh, reckless. Which one in front of you? You're not the, direct, oh, dir one directly, directly in front, in front of, of you me. or left? Okay. Directly in front. Two handed. Go for it. <laughs> that was so close to the amazing right, roll. Okay. And and go go ahead and roll another damage die because you or actually no roll another d20. Oh. Because this is that rule where, like, if you roll another natural 20, you then triple the damage, and it just keeps going. Oh. Or no, I think it stacks a double. Or triple. Okay, no. But that's fine, because 16 damage is enough to kill him. It looks at the other one like, you should pick the wrong people to mess with. I was sleeping. Okay. It's rude. Okay, um, yeah, I don't necessarily want to get all close with these people. I don't but... recommend it. <laughs> uh, Zero out of ten so would not recommend. I'm going to go over here. Okay. And I'm going to use my new sword. All right. And then I'm going to go slash. Cool. <laughs> Man, both of us with our new weapon. <laughs> I'm like, you're just getting sword. used to it. It's fine. Ah. I'm gonna try out our new weapon so we don't attack. Yeah. Even though, even though you're not used to fighting with a long sword, you're used to fighting with a rapier, which still has more heft to it, and so you're just a little just I'm like, what? Still a little it? much. Oh, sorry. Um. I guess we're both having performance issues today. I'm gonna use uh, my bonus action. To inspire my struggling boy Stubbs here. Ooh, what does that do? So you get a d6 to either your attack roll, ability check, or saving. 
Cool. You can use it within ten minutes. In the next ten. You have to use it before you know the result of whatever. Like you have I to use the roll, but you, not you, not the result. Not the results. Okay. So it's a D six. Okay. Guess me turn. Okay. Okay. You alright there, right there, bud? Yeah, I just, um. Yeah. Um. Doesn't sound like you're alright. It's okay, buddy. It's, 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 an, it's an off stream thing. Um. Okay, that off orc is stream. gonna swing at Stubby Boy. No! Does an 18 hit you, Stubbs? No, he's gonna impose disadvantage. Uh, does a 15 hit you, Stubbs? Yes. You went with Adar? Yeah, I'm 14 with the uh, major. You should Take shield. Nine points of slashing damage. Or or you could shield. But sh oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Let me make sure I can shield. I mean, you, can, you, you, have, you, can, you have a reaction. If you have First level shield. spell. I know, but I had to make sure I had it charged. Yes, I use shield. Okay. Then the attack misses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Turris sort of like grabs the arm to try and like fight back, but the and the attack, the great axe still comes. You just throw up your hand, and the the axe deflects off the arcane um, barrier that you throw up. Three. Right. Right. And so then the one behind Turris is going to attack Turris, and no, then this guy will move up. That's the well. It's for you. you. Yeah. Does a twenty-three hit Turris? Oh, absolutely. For the rest of the run. Turris takes nine points of slashing damage. Ow. And I'm assuming a nine misses Turris. Yes. Nine does miss. Nine. Nine. And then the one next to Skender will swing at Skender. Does a 20 hit you, Skender? Eight. All right, Skender, you take 14 points of slashing damage reduced to seven. I mean, I mean, we have a magic missile. One of the few. Gender? Sorry. Um, uh, okay. Take seven points of slashing damage, reduced to seven. Or 14 points of slashing damage, reduced to seven. Okay. Alright. Malarakis. Alright, I am pew pewing at that guy first. Go for it. Pew pew away. Choo. No, I'm not. All right. You sort of, you sort of, the, the orc while it's swinging at Turris, you fire, and like the oh, the bolt just deflects off the axe blade as it swings at Turris. Uh, you got this, Turris. I'll let, I'll let you get some more practice in. And Turris is, Turris is gonna smack away. Which one? Kachoo. Kachoo. Against the one I shot at, I bet. Oh, the one you shot at. Okay, uh, twenty-four definitely hits. And, and and again, he sort of like dodges the axe that comes from behind him and reaches back and does like a backhand thing, and the orange flash of light just whack, just right across the face of the orc. Oh, yeah, right. Wow. Uh, yeah, and Dubs. that's it. That's me. That's my presentation. Bam! Wow! I really want to get a try with this. Fifteen hits! Yay! All right. Bonk! The bonking. He did it. Yay, it's your turn. It. <laughs> now I'll disengage next turn. No. <laughs> okay. So you guys were firing at this one, Malarakis and Taurus. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. So, I'm a fire at this one. Bonus action. First, move my hunter's mark to him. Okay. Uh, Let's spread the damage. Let's kill yeah. Tack. Never spread the damage. Plus. So it's thing because you're like, oh, I want to kill all of them. A D4 and a D6. Right. Yep. Oh my gosh, my headphones. Come on. D4. No, no, the less. Oh my gosh. He's he's dead. Wait, I just wanted to know. Oh, so close. Okay. He's he's way dead. You sort of see Turris and, and Malarakis and the and Seth and Stubbs fighting these orcs. You just like pull back the arrow and fire and just go straight through the skull of the orc and just ha! 
and the, la- the ground. <laughs> the last thing he hears is just creepy giggling in his head. That's rude. I mean, he doesn't hear much in his head because the arrow went straight to his brain. He doesn't have that. He hears an arrow through his brain. Wait, creepy <laughs> giggling? Yeah, it was the psychic damage that killed him. Wow. Oh. Skender. He got real sad. All right. As he got an arrow through his head. <laughs> it would make me gonna, sad too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm aim, gonna aim at my fate speaker at this one to my left. Two handed, recklessly. Where? That barely hits. Oh. I see, how is he that far away? He walked up there, first round. Yeah, the other works charged us almost immediately after. No. Did you drop your torch with your mage hand? Uh, I mean, I. No, the the lantern's still just floating in the woods to the yeah. where Skender is, so Skender can see. But you it moved left. away, is what I'm saying. It. No. I don't know what the light I looks mean, like on the other side of that, but should be fine still. Yeah, the light's still, the light's still like somewhere up here. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 up there. It just we can't see it because of the wall. Okay. Yeah, because I just don't want to delete the dynamic lighting. That's wall. totally fine. I was just making Seth. sure. So it's turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to try to kill this dude. Do it again, with Fight. you know the sword. That is. Slash. Oh, oh my gosh! Max damage. All right, he's dead. Nice. I got a hang of it. This is sick some time, guys. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action to inspire my. Hmm, who do I want to inspire? Uh, I'm going to inspire Mal. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot see Malarakis. I am not going to inspire Malarakis. <laughs> Malarakis ran into a bunch of trees. <laughs> inspire Malarakis. Okay. Fire eyes, you have a D6. Get him. Go get him, sport. Go, go get him, champ. Hey, right. I didn't roll I didn't roll all my damage. Wait, you didn't what? Yes, you did. Did I? Hey, you hey. don't have a strength modifier, so you don't add anything. It's just yeah. a D ten on the Warhammer. Mmm. Yeah, if you're if you don't have a strength mod. Like all right. just, Yeah, it's just the, a, the orc will swing at Turris. What? Ha! With a 24. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> he takes uh, 9 points of slashing damage. Cool. Right. Um, and then the one up there will swing at Skender. The 21. Does, does the robot feel pain? <laughs> I mean... I wouldn't okay. say it feels pain, a whopping but it is of damage reduced to two. Pretty gouged up. Oh yeah, does its soul in the soul coin feel pain? Also, is it like being incinerated actively as fuel, or is it? Question. I uh-huh. have, I have a moral. Like JJ has a moral dilemma about this robot. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pew pew at. The orc again. Go for it. Because I'm not getting any closer. Pew pew. That oh. hits. Tradition. You did it. Got you. Got it, got it with the second. He is also dead. dead. Cool. Uh, and then I will yell, Sorry, sis. And Turris will heal itself. Okay. Roll 2d6. It's Correct. actually 2d8. Oh, 2d8. Go for it. I want to just oh. heal myself. Ooh. Oh, wow. Good health. That's actually yeah. plus two. 2d8 oh. plus two. Okay, so he... Wow. Turris yeah. is almost full health. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Alright. Stubbs. Turris is rad. Turris is the best tank I've ever seen in my time. The only thing he's here to do. Please tank for me, bigger metal man. I just can't wait for Turris to have a moment where it's just like Pacific Rim, where he's just like grabbing onto something and it's just... Just I want someone. I want. Head. I want the suplex. <laughs> and his name Maybe is John Cena. Maybe in time, he's only like a day old. Give him a minute. 
What's still alive? Uh, uh, you hear are... Skander still fighting something in the woods. Oh my in the woods. You don't have to go in there. Yeah, I do. You can just let Skander do her thing. His thing. Skander! I'm fine. Oh yeah, real and fast. Could I have ordered tourists to like go into 20? the woods? Yes. Short, heavy legs. Right? I can only do 20, right? Yeah. Uh, you can do 25. Your movement speed is 25. Oh, it's 25. 25. And then I can't see anything, so I dash. 30. Um, tur Turris' movement speed is 30, you said? Uh, it's 40. Oh my gosh. What? Turris is fast. Yeah, Turris. That's why he's big. Because he's fast. Is, this robot is the worst. 20, 25. All right. I think I went my full distance I can go. That looks about right. Yeah, Skinder, you're just sort of fighting this orc, and then you hear, dum, 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 as Turris just comes tearing through the brush. It's like, Ugh. Uh, uh, hi. You're here. Fire eyes. Okay, so since this isn't actually a cliff, can we see through that with the lantern over there? Um... It's really thick brush. If you if you want to try and get a shot, you have to get through the brush or around the brush. Okay, five. Uh, I can't really see the squares. Five. You 10, can make a shot. 15, you're just making it with disadvantage. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Yeah, I can't see. So I'll make a shot at disadvantage. But first, just in case. Actually, I have to be able to see him to hunt some hunters mark Correct. him. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna throw it over there and just hope it landed on him. <laughs> okay, I'll shoot at disadvantage. <laughs> Hunter's marks tourists. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I just made him. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna try, though, to use my yeah. newfound inspiration. Go for it. You're and at a 12, 12 right, right now. now, yeah. Alright, that is. Okay, cool. Uh, plus a d4. Plus one. Alright, he's he dies. Okay. He's got ten hit points and you rolled a nine, so... Oh. Yeah, so just out of nowhere. All, 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 all dead orcs. Are any of my arrows still good? Um, roll a survival check. Okay. Probably the one in the guy's head is probably still decent. Well, I feel like that one would be the one not decent. Um, it has to go through a skull. Roll a um. D4. Cool. Got one arrow back. You can find one arrow. Okay. Maybe I found that one I missed with. The other ones I'm like, ugh. Allie. Now, just a question. Will we still benefit from from, from this as a long rest? As if long as we you have finish it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is just first watch. Tourists the last little bit. Should I wait until the end of the of the long rest to bring my hit points back yes. up? Yeah, okay. you can wait okay. until you actively complete it before you can get them back up. Gotcha. Alright. Skender, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Alright. I guess roll one for tourists as well, Malarakis. Alright. Ah. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I don't know what yeah, I was doing there. That... Well, I don't even know what I was doing there. I can I re-roll that since I no. I just pressed D twenty. It's it's fine. And, it, um, there's okay. No, there's nothing there. Oh okay. All right. Um. No, that. let me try again, please. I don't even. Oh, your rolls are whispered. That's why. Well, it was by accident. I for some reason I didn't go to my character sheet. I just went to the ro the dice roll thing and hit D twenty. <laughs> Seth, roll me a perception check. Alright, roll what? A perception check. Because oh, you're on third watch, correct? Taking third watch. Might be. Hey, look. A 10. Right. You, got, you guys make it through the evening, uh, the rest of the evening, uneventfully, and you can mm -hmm. obtain the benefits of a long rest. Hey. Okay, everyone, Fantastic. wake up, eat your other berry before it goes bad. Nom, 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 nom. <sighs> Berry's been poisoned. Yeah, you all die. Ha ha! Ha ha, you have won. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. So, someone else, roll me a d20. Brando. Oh. No, he already did it. A chance. I'll do it. Oh. All right. So you guys can make it the rest of the way. Coney Berry. Woo. Eventually. It's nighttime, right? Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, a, a, as you're pulling into town, it's dark. Oh, it's a town, though. Well, it's a ruin. Oh, okay. You got. You guys are walking. You guys are sort of walking into what used to be Coneyberry. Um, the forest grows dark and still as the trail winds deeper into the trees. Um, never mind. That's the wrong box text. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't read us the wrong box text like you did last. Like. Yeah, I should I not should, have read. I, that. I should not have read that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all of the secrets. Eat. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, you guys are sort of walking in. Um, and you, you were sort of imagining a town, because, like, nobody had really told you that it wasn't, but it's pretty disheveled. Um, roofs are caved in, um, the, the trail is really overgrown here, um, and, uh, mm. it's very, very deserted. Crows, stuff like that. I don't think anybody's renovated lately. I think that's putting it lightly. I'd say it's been left to ruin. <laughs> Uh -huh. You guys are quite the pessimists. Some moody dark music. I feel like the town population just like infinitely rose. Well, I don't know. Infinite I can, times zero. I is... am going <laughs> well, to like <laughs> put my hand on the ground and focus for a second and uh, try and sense any. What are they? Uh, da, 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 da. Any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead within a mile. Oh, that's, that's a within, long list. With, within a mile? Yeah. There's nothing. Seems relatively safe. There's nothing in this list that I just said. That's a lot of things. I mean, you just, like, touch the ground. I don't think that tells us anything. Yeah, like, look, I can touch the ground. I touch the ground. It bites you. Ow! <laughs> the ground doesn't I'm like me. that. It's like this. Yeah, the, go the gopher <laughs> comes out of the the gopher comes out of the ground and bites your face. <laughs> no, no, he's pretty safe to me. Hey, of course I trust you, Fire Eyes. You haven't stabbed me in the back yet. Uh. As you guys are scouting around, you can tell that there is a wood that goes northwest. Out of Coneyberry into Neverwinter Wood. You mean a path that goes northwest? Mm -hmm. Yes. Into the, wood. into the woods. Well, I know there's nothing within a mile of here, so we should sleep here and then head there in the morning. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, because that's outside of a mile. I yeah. Was say, yeah. There's a banshee here. <laughs> like we know that. I mean, we can. But do you? I probably. Mean... JJ's meta knowledge says there's a banshee. Here. Yeah. <laughs> JJ's we can probably rest in one of the buildings as well. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Make sure it's cleared out first. Yeah. Make, make sure, sure it's empty. No whatever else is living in. Hate bats. As as you guys are just why I hate bats. That's the worst. Um, as you guys are sort of wandering around, Seth, you swear you see something running in the corner of your eye. I sorry. I also just. Just for funsies, I'm going to pop a detect magic okay. as we're walking around. There doesn't seem to be any magic. Okay. Uh, DM, I investigate that direction. Okay. You go over there. Uh, roll me an investigation. Wait, wait, before I start, wait, before I start, grab, uh, grab stubs. Stubs. Oi. Come with me. Thought I saw something. Aye. Yep. Because I don't want to go alone. <laughs> He's scared. So you grab the wizard. Go alone. Take this. Grab the wizard. Yeah. Very beefy wizard. wizard. Hey, right. beefy wizard. Hey, both wait. Both what both time of you? day is this? What? Back to night time. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's night time. I, I cast my mage armor on myself and uh, go with you. Okay. Right. Both of you, roll me an investigation check, or one of you with advantage. Uh, I have a plus five. Investigation. Yeah. 
Investigation is um five. Okay. So do you want to just both roll then? I'll roll with advantage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you Wait, can both you can both roll and it's the same thing. Roll. The same thing. Yeah. You're, right. You both have a plus five, so it doesn't Pushing matter. Just feeling lucky. All right. Not yet. You don't see anything. What would have happened? Uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. So we don't see anything. Weird. Nope. Could have sworn there was like a thing, like a living being. Yeah, there's five of us. Shut up. Fire, as you're walking around, you do see like a momentary blip of conjuration. Like it just flashes and it's gone. Boy, there's something here with us. Well, that's, we don't. No, it's fire yeah. eyes. You don't see. That. Oh, fire eyes. It's fire eyes has detect magic. And I'm gonna kind of stare around. No other blips, just, nope. just that one. I'll walk back to the group. Cause uh, nothing there. Let him know. Just a hot second of magic, and then nothing. A hot you guys second. Cast anything? I didn't cast any. Whoa! Oh, oh, I. You did cast mage armor. I did cast mage armor. Is mage armor conjuration. No, Mage Armor is abjuration. Yeah, and I would have seen you do that. <laughs> yeah. I did it before we left the camp. Or it, 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 was, it was like in a random house. There's yeah. Just... Interesting. You want to point us to the house? Yeah, right, it's that one right there. Shall we investigate? Okay. One of you roll, uh, roll with advantage or two separate? Advantage on you. I'm doing it. It's my turn this time. You have time. fun. I'm going to keep my eyes up for any other blips. Oh, come on! Just roll separately! <laughs> See what um, happened. It seems... Uh, oh, oh, that was... It. <laughs> it seems normal. It seems like an abandoned house. I mean, it's as normal as an abandoned house can look. I say we rest in that abandoned house. Is it too... Di how dilapidated is it? I mean, the, the roof isn't in spectacular condition, but it's got four walls. Hey, that's important. Are there any other better buildings? Uh, not really. They're all about in the same condition. That's what I think. No, you guys have already checked that one. There's obviously nothing terribly crazy there. Yeah, you definitely would have found it if there was something there. Definitely. 100%. For sure. My eyes are the best. Never miss anything. Especially at night. Attention to detail is impeccable. I have a lantern. You do have and a lantern? It's not like I'm going in completely blind. I say we can rest up here. I can set up a ward in front of the doorway. Have Terra set up watch. We can all rest effectively. So you are saying warding? Sounds grand. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I, I will ritually cast alarm as I set a series of mechanisms in front of the door. Oh, like it's just an actual wall. Well, it's not a lot. It's like a tripwire. Okay. Few little trip wires. Tourists kind of set up out of the way, watching the doorway. Declaris is gonna kind of like walk up and like curl up in his lap. Oh, you guys can uh, set up a set up a, a thing. I, I, I don't know the words. We're gonna do a thing. Hey. And I will order tourists to, if he sees anything, to just. Walk through the tripwire. <laughs> Set off the alarm. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so whoever is on first watch, roll. I think it's a just Taurus. Okay. Yeah. It's Good just all the way down. Oh no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Taurus all the way down. Sir, <laughs> Taurus does uh, does not see anything. Right. Perfect. Just, just curious. Not that he would be able to tell us, but does uh, Declaris see anything? No, he's uh, sleeping. I'm not even gonna. Yeah. Sleepy boy. Um. Little yeah. sleepy fox. Do uh, our familiars need to sleep? No. Familiars do not need to sleep. Does Terrus need to sleep? No. No. Terrus is. Terrus is a familiar. In a way, yes. The transitive property. <laughs> 
if, if all right, if who's on next watch? I think it's just Turris. Okay. Roll another yeah. perception check for Turris. Wow, he actually didn't see anything. Um. I yeah, he he does he does vaguely see just like a little, uh, like another little flash. And so Taurus will will stand up. Is Declare sitting in Taurus's lap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he'll sort of like look down, and like, in a very Baymax way, like gingerly pick up Declaris and put him on the ground. Just, um, and then stands up and just. Walks through the tripwire. Declares to go to big on and stretch. And it sounds like a handbell. Just ding, 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 ding. Oh, so it wakes oh. everyone up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Alrighty. Oh. Again. There I saw something. Right. I don't like this awakening. It's too late. Just. I let it kill us or whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll just it's die then. Like... <laughs> guess I'll die. Oh whatever, fine, fine. Let's yeah, let's check it out. I'm gonna take a look outside from like one of the broken windows or whatever. Roll me a perception check. Um, you don't see anything, guys. I don't think there's anything out there. <sighs> I mean, he definitely saw something. I didn't specify what we were looking for. That might be my bad. Do you want me to check to see if there are any of those creatures or magic or anything? I mean, I don't I, know what exactly you're looking for. Check. Hang on. I'll do it to check magic. Well, yeah. Do, are you having to ritually cast it? Yeah. I mean, I can just do it. I right. have no okay. thoughts. Um, are you using primeval awareness, uh, Meredith? Yeah. I use a detect magic. Alright. Uh, you do not detect any magic. Within I'm looking around. 30 feet. Any of those creepy crawlies within a mile? Um, you do detect an aberration somewhere within a mile. I will let them know. Doesn't well, mean much. Exactly. It's within a mile. I mean... Could be right outside. Could be hey guys, a mile I'm away. Hey, can you send Turvis with me to go... I'm going to go walk around and make sure there's no magic within the town. Check all out. I mean, I'll walk with you. I'm not okay. just gonna send just you and Turris. I have to yeah. take well, the so I, think... I start kind of walking around town, just getting all the houses within thirty feet. Can... Um, just hey. walking around. Roll me a perception check. Burp, 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 burp. Burp. Well. Um. Hey. Turris oh, is like glancing okay. around. But... Roll one for Turris as well. Okay. But he doesn't have to detect magic. No, but yeah. he's looking. But he'll see something. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I almost called you Joshua. Seth, you don't um, see anything like in particular, but you do see another brief flash of conjuration magic. And there's this. Okay. There's conjuration happening over in that house now. And it's it's like on the very edge of yeah. your detect magic. Right. And it's it's, ne like... it's never close to you. Ugh. Yeah, some Conjuration is summoning or teleporting. Yeah. yeah, so something's either leaving some sort of transporting. Or making something appear here. Which means we're gonna have trouble sometime. Well probably. I'd say we finish our rest. I'll set up the tripwire again. Yeah. Maybe I mean, tell Paris to wake us up if he sees anything dangerous. Like, it, gonna attack us or something. I mean, uh, be a little bit more specific than just flash, because, like. Yeah. That'd be a little more specific. Okay. Let's go I back to sleep. Go Back to bed. We set up the tripwire. Okay. Can I actually go back? Because now I'm awake. I'm gonna take third watch. And I'll tell Terrace to not walk into it, but wake me up if he sees something walking 
into towards us. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call Declaris to me. I don't want Declaris him sleeping out there anymore. Trot mm-hmm. over and... Alright. Uh, roll me another perception check for Charis. Last one of the night. Can I also roll perception because I'm staying up? For last oh, spot? you're staying up. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Yeah, it's better. Alright. Um, at some point during the evening, you do see something like perch up onto a roof and just stare at you. I launch a firebolt at it. Alright, roll an attack. Shoot a bird. That, that hit. That that hits. Roll uh, I straight up will shoot a bird. I don't care. Alright. You can see that sort of connects and and it hops off the roof. Uh, I hate that. I'm not going to wake everybody up over it yet. I'm going to see if anything else happens. Tourists will poke Malarakis. <laughs> because you firebolted at something and Turris saw it too. Yeah. So yeah. he's waking Mal up. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, I shot a bird. Or something. I don't know. Something was watch- something was looking at us and I shot it with a firebolt. Paris woke you up. Be safe. I just I don't think leave a yet. human on watch at night. I guess I'm up now. Oh, I guess that's true. You should have been rolling with disadvantage, oh, JJ. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'll roll I'll roll with disadvantage. Here's my second perception check. It's worse. Well, you wouldn't have seen it then. Okay. And Turris would have poked Mal awake. <laughs> Rewind. Okay, so I would have been just like, he poked Mal awake. And I go, why'd you poke him awake? Turris just looks at you. What's going on? I, I have and, no idea. And uh, Turris will point to the roof where the thing is. And it's yeah. not its not doing anything, it's just staring at you guys. The bird. Or How big is it? Um... Wait, make wait, make wait, an intelligence check. Get away with him? Yeah. But I can't see dark. An intelligence check. I hate yeah. not having dark vision. Okay. I'm pretty um, having dark vision. Based, uh, based, on, based on just like depth perception, you'd estimate that if you were up close to this thing, it'd be about five feet tall. Oh. It's not a, a bird. It's I'm going gra- to grab my crossbow. Good. And just stare up at it and wait for it to move towards us. Okay, so something weird is out there. Something big is perched up there. Okay, can you describe it to me? But when they when they point it out to you, you can see it too. Oh. Like what Tur- Turris and Mal can point it out. And Do I know what Um roll Roll an Arcana check. And I as well since I'm yeah. proficient in it. Go for it. I mean, I'm not going to get any better than that. But. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. Oh, but that's pretty, pretty close. Pretty darn close. All right. Um, Seth is good at <laughs> Mal, uh, You can't tell exactly what it is because it's a ways away. Right, and it's dark and all that. Um, but um, what are my instincts telling me? Both of you would say that it probably looks like a very large Oh, I hate that. Oh. Um, let me see if I can find a picture. Um, okay. But not so, an aberration. Imps are demons, correct? Correct. Imps are, are they, devils. Yeah, devils. They are, oh, they're both? They're imps devils. are devils. Oh, they're yeah, but they're, they're, de- they're devils. Okay, so they're, they're technically lawful evil of some kind. Yeah. And they're like the servants of like the lowest... They're not the lowest of the low, but there yes. They're pretty different. That, that, that's, that's vaguely what it looks like. From what you can tell from, like, 40 feet away. I'm gonna oh. yell out an infernal. Kind of sort of yell, but not really yelling. Ugh. Just kind of like Conrad. an infernal. Hello! What do you want? I'm gonna roll over in my sleep. It does not respond. Grant. That's gnarly. I'm gonna sort of 
get dressed and everything and just keep an eye on it and just stay up the rest of the night. It will continue to stare at you guys for the rest of the night. And when the when the sun starts to come up, you just see it vanish. That was odd. I don't like that. No, not a fan. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my stuff ready for the very exciting day we are about. <laughs> Seth, I'm gonna ask you just because you have you have a tendency to do this, and so I'm just gonna ask if you do it. Do you sketch it? Oh, for sure, hundred percent. Okay. Because I, I, I know that, like, you saw the idol and you sketched that, and you saw some other stuff. Yeah, and you sketched yeah. It, like, so. While we were waiting there, like, yeah, last night we definitely like taken out. All right. Yeah, you can you can make a very crude sketch, a, a crude been, forty foot away sketch. It would have been a very like silhouetted thing. I would have drawn like the building, like the Stranger Things. Yeah. Well, it would have been more yeah. of, like it would have been more of just the general scene, not of the. Of the creature. I think you would have gotten like face details at all. With yeah, it being yeah dark. You, you wouldn't be able to see its face at all, but you would definitely be able to tell that it's crouched, it's hunched, mm -hmm. and it has very large wings on its back. Yeah. Yeah, I just have a little doodle. I show I show Malarak as a good. Is that about right? That uh, looks about right. Okay. That was odd. Very. Uh huh. Probably should tell the others about that. Uh, Why did it not attack us? Well, if I had to guess, it was just observing. With its small stature, and if it's as imp like as I think it is, it, it's probably just a scout of sorts. Oh, joy! You know, I've never been uh, a fan of, of devils. They've always me up as more of a sort of a problem than anything, so that's not a great sign. Yeah, Avernus, not a fun place. Yeah, from what I've read, uh, definitely definitely not. Not a good place to experience, either. You did. Yeah, I was, I was in El Terrell at the time. Oh! I'm sorry to hear that. You must have suffered a lot. Oh, very, 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 very much. So, yep. it fueled me to become a better craftsman, and Taurus is proof of that. Yeah, that's um, quite the machine. I don't, um, I don't think I've ever seen anything like or heard about. I mean, I've heard of, like, Golem. I mean, those are usually like stone based and a lot more clunky. In Avernus, there were a number of machines that ran along the ground and seemed to have taken heavy inspiration from it. Got it. How did you even learn how to do something? It's a complicated story. Huh. I'll I'd tell like you to... next time we have a watch together. Yeah, I'd like to hear it sometime. Anyways, it's getting early. Probably get the others ready for... Oh my goodness, wait, hang on. Malarakis, do you realize what this means? We are up before stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Karma. I would like to find a wooden panel next to Stubbs. There are plenty. Like me, you, you and Turris. Me, you, and Turris can beat on the floor around him. Yeah, yeah. All right. And you have a mage hand. Yeah, I yeah. have a mage hand. Okay. And I knock the ever crap out of piece of wood. <laughs> Turtles, all of us awake. <laughs> oh, let's join in with this one. Uh, 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 it's, it's orcs. orcs. <laughs> it's orcs, right? It's orcs, right? <laughs> Flowers go flying through the air. <laughs> what was that about? Confetti with our brain. <laughs> What's with the? I don't understand. What's with the flowers? I don't know. I can't stop. They just—they're here. I mean, have you just? Do you take them out every time? Yes. 
Why, just leave them in then. I think we need to start calling you flower eyes, huh? Flower hair. Just stare at him with the Samuel L. Jackson stare. <laughs> Queen of the <laughs> Let's go. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, I will tell them about the imp and show them a picture. It looked like this. Uh, um, it's terrifying. It looks like that. It it stared at us for like three hours. It was not fun. Mildly unsettling. Uh, mildly unsettling is saying, like, it was very. Well, it didn't do anything. It just watched. Which was kind of more unsettling, to be honest. Personally, it was a little worse for me. Because I... I I, I don't know. I don't like being watched. Because we're all staring at him as he's telling this. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't like being watched while I'm doing, like, nothing. It's weird. At night, is a little creepier than during the day. Yeah, like, if people are like watching me while I'm walking down the street, it's like, okay, whatever. But, like, people are watching me while I'm going down, the, like, sitting in a chair, and they're just staring at me. Like, that's weird. Very weird. Hmm. Anyways, we should look out for, you know, trouble. Oh, hey, you guys are probably hungry. Uh, and in case things don't go well. And I'll take the berries that I took from Fandolin and... Cast good berry. Everybody eat. I will eat a berry. It is delicious. Uh, it's good. It is, is indeed good. a good berry. It, it, it's pretty good. Pretty good berry. I mean, uh, out of like, it's not a great berry, but it's. A... Yes, it's, it's, it's good. good. It's, it's good. Six out of ten. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Six out of ten. It's like good. It's not great. Seven out of ten if I'm having a bad day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, let's find a banshee. Oh, we're looking for a banshee. Yeah, yeah, like we weren't here for anything good. In the yeah, first it wasn't place. like, you know, a oh, vacation. I thought, we were, I thought we were resting and then heading towards the well. Wait, oh, well, wait a second. No. Wait a second. What? That thing you drew. Yeah. Is that a banshee? No, it's not a banshee. Definitely not oh, a banshee. Good, good try, good try. Okay. I'll draw. I'm draw. Good. You're Honestly, I've never seen a banshee. This is what it looks like, usually. Kind of like this. Oh. It's like, if I remember correctly, DM, they're just basically like weird, undead women. Yeah, yeah they, they, they're, they're the spirits of. Um, elven uh, women who used their wiles to manipulate people. Yeah. yeah. And Sister Gariel told us this. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, realistically, they're just pretty elven women ghosts. Who so can, also turn really, can also turn really ugly at a moment's yeah. notice. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty until they're mad and then they're hideous. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, and to deal with the Banshee, we have to like bring them a thing, correct? Uh, yes, you have Sister you have Ariel's um, home. Oh, right. The Twin the favor. Um, in, in a hope to try and, like, flatter her yeah. in some way. Yes. So that should be fun. It'll be, it'll be a good a good old time. Right. Okay. Old, you know, nice undead lady. And by nice, I mean Flat probably pretty neat. We need to flatter her. Yeah, you just say really nice things. Just imagine right. she's your wife. Just don't do anything, like, inappropriate. Yeah. The moment you say, imagine she's your wife, he actually just goes... He just, like, opens his mouth as if, as if to be like, okay, but then he, like, he thinks about it, and and he slowly closes his mouth, and he goes... I don't... Uh, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be weird. Why is so weird about it? Just... I mean, like, don't be weird about it. Just don't actually, well, you know what? Well, don't talk. But you say that, like, you say that they're like elven women. Yeah. I don't know if these elven women want compliments about just their not, muscles. In, so. No. Just in fact, you know what? Just don't talk. I think that's I think that's best. Imagine that if you, you have are to me. call it pretty, call it good. 
Yeah. Say you're beautiful, and your <sighs> hair looks gorgeous. But, but, <sighs> just that's all you gotta but say. But wouldn't they want? Wouldn't it no. be better to just no. sort of talk no. about like their souls beautiful? You no. are like, breedable. You are no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, no, I don't think you understand how it works. No, so, <laughs> I mean, like, no. See, again, you know, I feel like it would be better if you just didn't talk around. Deep the down, women care about. The, no, how they're they're perceived. Perceived. I that think way. these ones are past the point of no return. Yeah. You should just not to worry about He's trying to right. talk to someone down off the ledge. Physical. Yeah. All they care about. Literally that's, that's... all they care about. So much so that they didn't, like, officially transfer over to the other side. Well, like, their vanity is what's keeping them here. So. Yeah. Uh, Sounds fun. So, like, yes... You're right. You should compliment a woman on her soul, but that's kind of a weird thing to just. And usually only when they still them. have the soul. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It kind of already is a soul. They're, they're ghosts, right? So it is basically yeah, don't a soul. Talk about, don't talk about that either. It's like you don't talk about how they're dead. That's usually kind of a folk. Oh. Talk. You don't, they don't know that they're dead. You know, well, you're pretty hot for a dead lady. Like. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Oh well, that's that's an. Awful way to say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, oh, but your soul is so beautiful. It's too bad that you're dead or something. It's like you just don't bring it up. Well, th that's just an awful way to say that too. Well, okay. How have you, you ever complimented a woman about her soul? Why would I ever do that? <laughs> nah, mate. Cause she deserves it. Well, I don't. Nobody compliments me on my soul. Exactly. You have a lovely soul. Oh, why? Thank you. I cast charm person. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I voluntarily fail. I'm just joking. But... So, well, okay, so Malarakis says that, and Skinner turns to him and just goes, "You're a very resilient person." I, I don't know. I can see I... with. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, that's not. That's it's... not his soul. The. Let's move. Versus. To the banshee. <laughs> Like, he's trying to be genuine. Like, and he's just he's like, to, like, oh, but like you guys are amazing. It's just like, like, yes, like and you guys are just right? like, wait, we got a job to do. <laughs> I mean. Like, but but your guys' self worth that's that's important. I already know my to discuss self worth. I already know my self worth. So every day is a great day to discuss self worth. Every day I'm shuffling. I already know I'm fantastic looking. That's all I need to worry about. Yeah. Because I'm fabulous, is my simple request. I'm kind of the best thing to grace the world, so, you know, it's my yeah. death. You don't get this hot overnight. Is that a tiefling I guess, I guess you could say he went through hell to be that beautiful. <laughs> wow. In a way, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm assuming we follow the path into uh, the forest. Uh, do you? <laughs> yeah, if we see anything that might look layer ish, um, I'm going to cast detect, or not detect self, uh, disguise self. Detect self. Oh, self. yep, I'm right here. I'm right <laughs> detecting my sense of self. I know that I'm here. I am indeed fire. Ice. You will be found. <laughs> okay. All right. And so I'm going to keep an eye out for the empty thing. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna look out for a band. Okay. As you as you start walking into the forest, I will now read the correct box text. Okay. The forest grows dark and still as the trail wind winds deeper into the trees. Heavy vines and thick layers of moss drape the branches, and the air is noticeably colder than it was in the ruined village. Rounding a bend in the trail, you see a screen made from the warped branches of trees standing close together, woven like a dome-like shelter in the shadows. A low doorway leads inside. Ah, that looks Poof. like it. Disguise self. Okay. I look like a very homely Joke. woman. I'm going to ritually cast Detect Magic. You're going to stand there for ten minutes and cast Detect Magic. I mean... Okay. That's are fine. you guys okay with that? 
I can't do it anymore because I look like this, so go for yeah, it. I, mean, I can do something like that too. And I'll detect me I'll disguise self and look like a woman as well. Yeah. Make sure you're ugly. Yeah. Uglier than her, at least. Well, I mean, like, I'm just like a human woman. <laughs> wow, sick Boom, girl. Girl. Oh, did. Uh, that's That's a little unfair. I mean, an elf is gonna think an elf is more beautiful than anything else. True. Kind of fair, but there are quite a few stories that, you know, are about elven women being worried about beautiful humans. Why don't you do an orcish woman? It's kind of a fairy tale trope, to be honest. What? I can't fix it now. Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> I figured hiding the shiny bits was the important part. Yeah. I the shiny bits. Even though she might <laughs> right. be able to just see through this. Oh, 100%. Well, if she does, so be it. She'll appreciate that, but hopefully. Uh, yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, so you originally cast Detect Magic, <laughs> like guys. and this whole area lights up necromantic magic. Lovely. Yeah, this is it! <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel sick. It's very bright. It's it's like someone with like night vision goggles on, and then someone turns on the light. Sickly brute, sickly brute. Just, ugh. Guys, yeah. Constipated. Are you alright? I'm right? going uh, to leave Diclaris uh, here. Necromantic aura coming to place is absolutely sickening. Oh my god. I mean, hey, necromantic has the word romantic in it, so, I mean. Oh, you're right. It's just dead romance. <laughs> alright, Bard, seduce the banshee. <laughs> Do it. in a dead romance. Here we go, <laughs> oh, here we go boy. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> I'm about to are, are you are you guys just walking in? Uh, hey, who's got the no, let's, let's, let's knock. Let's knock. Yeah, she let's knows we're here. There's no door. We can announce ourselves oh, though. True. Cast mage armor on myself. Right, yeah, let's, cast mage armor on yourself. Let's be polite. Uh, hand me the book, please. Let's always be polite. What book? First, or the tome? What tome? There's a comb. Oh, the comb. Comb. The comb. Oh, it's hurt. It's hurt. <laughs> Hand it over. Sister, Sister Gariel's silver comb. Comb. I miss her last time. I'll give it to you. Uh, what was this banshee's name? Agatha. Agatha. It's been it Agatha was all Gariel. along. Oh, What's that? No, I, wait, I it, knew it, that it, was going to happen I, at some point. It, it was Agatha. It, wait, just so I am clear, what's our goal again? To we're just give the just yeah. get information about something. We're supposed He's to the banshee. Yeah, we're supposed to make the banshee go bye bye. No, there was something that the banshee yeah. ha might have information about, and so if we can try and get information yeah. about like where the Spell. location of something. Spellbook, if I remember correctly. Um, I believe there was a book yes. involved in this. Yeah, you, you you can remember that Sister Gariel. Um, wanted information on uh, the location of a spellcaster known as Bow Gentle. She wants to know the location of his spellbook. We need to find Bow Jangles. Go. Bow Gentle. Bow Gen Gentle. Like, Bow Jangle. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. Bow Gentle. Got it. Exactly how it sounds. Just one oh. word. Okay. I thought it was like Bow then Gentle. No. Bow Gentle. Bow Gentle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's on the east coast. You're going to be hard for us to find that over here. Right. Okay. Uh, then I say we announce ourselves. I, yeah, I agree. Agatha. Agatha. Lady Agatha. We have to grace your acquaintance. Wow. We have heard of your wonder and wish and great to... Beauty. Yes, and... I want to see your beautiful face. Wish to request audience with you. Wow, that was an all over the place wow, introduction. Yeah, we were, we were. That really, was. That was really rough. Well, too late now. Let's Assuming alert. there's no response, we can just start walking in. Skender's Skender's not going to like. Everyone moves, and he's just like, "That doesn't feel right," and just sort of like. She I'm hasn't invited us. Yeah. Di Diclaris will stay next to Skender. Like, Diclaris is like, I'm not come going in. there. No, I, I told him to stay. <laughs> or well, hide. Well, you, you didn't even need to tell him to stay, he's just like, yeah. I'm not going in there. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. Um, hide, buddy, go, go, go. I will lock awesome. the Future door. staying out. So, uh, Paris, stay here. I'm not, gonna go inside. I'm not gonna go inside, but I'm gonna like walk up to the door. There is no door. 
Or yes. after the door away. Okay. Then. Okay. Agatha? Is anybody home? It's Pizza Hut. We just want to talk. Can you show yourself? Is there any way that I know... Well, okay. I will pull out the comb. We have brought you a gift. Alright, I'm gonna step inside. Wish me. Oh, oh dear. I'm gonna cross the threshold. Okay. I'm gonna, like, uh, see if he immediately disintegrates and then follow him. <laughs> it's like a, it's like the snap. Just poof. Yes. Yeah. Turn <laughs> Alright, as you, uh, enter in, um, the air quickly grows cold. Like, the, the temperature drops even further. Mm -hmm. that, than what it is out in the forest. Um, and you get this feeling of just dread and fear and just like this weight washes over you um, as the what appears to be like a ghostly form of a female elf comes out of the wall and like her hair and her robes that she's wearing, like her robes are like tattered and stuff, but it's all just waving in sort of a wind that's not actually there. Right. Um, and she's ju she just turns to you and says, what do you want? You must be Agatha. Your beauty precedes you. I do a little bow. I'll match it. We are just here to talk, and we have brought you a gift. I'll hold out the comb. Sort of raises an eyebrow and, like, reaches to grab the comb from you, pull it back, or... I, yeah, and I do a little thing, but uh, I'd like to ask some questions first. That's alright. She sort of, like, raises an eyebrow and then smiles. Very well. You seek many things. Ask me one question, and I will give you an answer. But one, choose wisely. Whoa. A lot of numbers, just kidding. Uh, we request one each. One question. We I'm going to greedy. Yeah. I'm going to start, I'm going to kind of huddle. I'm going to like request a huddle for the group. I she mean, didn't just float there. She doesn't do anything. This yeah, doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> I, just, I just huddle. I just huddle up. Like, could just ask her. Where Bo Gentle is. And then if she says, "I'm not telling you." Well, yeah, that's actually. Mm, but then I can't ask her if she's going to be truthful. Either. So that's fun. Here's what I suggest. We start the conversation in nothing but statements. Yes get that as far as it will take us, and then ultimately ask that as our question. Okay. Well, I don't... I suggest we ask where his spellbook is, because that's yes. Yes. not where he is. That's correct, because he, he, she'll just point us to a dead body. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're smart, you're smart, you're right. Here. We so have what cut... Oh. was more complex than that, so I'd go with you guys. Well, what's your solution? They're too complex. Well, I mean... Okay. I'll want to know later. Okay. But what if it works? Yeah, that's... What if it's What if it's just complex enough? What if we just ask? It, and just go from there? I mean, yeah, I feel like... That could be just the end of the conversation, though. I feel like she wouldn't just be like, Hey, you can ask a question, I'm not going to answer. She will answer. If I know anything, well, it's that... Beings like this can yeah, uphold their okay. word my without being helpful. My limited knowledge of banshees, would they pull a trick like that? You don't know. It's don't possible. Know. Mm. Okay. I'd say we just ask and try to read the best we can. I do 
I do this, I say something along the lines of, you only get the calm if you provide an actual answer to the question, not just yes. By all means. Right. Well, that, I'm not saying that to the Panchee. I'm just saying oh, okay. to the group. I say, like, you only get the comb if you actually answer the thing. Not just... You can't just answer yes to where is this. Yeah, like, where is this? I, you can tell us she, she has to answer the question. And then answer the question. And then answer the question. You could also do is, as uh, Fire I said here, could start to make statements. So how long has it been since they went in? I mean, it, it's not super big. You can still see them in the doorway. Hut the oh, I can still see them. Okay. Yeah. The, you just it, hear like it's, <laughs> it's maybe like a ten foot wide shack. It's not super big. I, I say just ask. I don't think any point in stating around the bush. Yeah. She doesn't right. seem the type to have patience. That's true. All right. I break the huddle. Turn around. Okay. But I would like a correct answer here. No trickery. I will give you one correct answer. Where is the spell book of Bo Gentle? Sort of thinks for a second. Well, I traded the book to a necromancer named Sernoth from the city of Iragor more than a hundred years ago. Sernoth? But I do not know what became of the book afterward. Wait, where did she say? Or just the person? Uh, just the person. Okay. She gave. She traded oh. the book to a necromancer named Sernoth from the city of Iragor. Iragor, okay. Oh my gosh, it's so hard here! Are you, are you putting that in the uh, book of names? Well, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. You guys do it. No, well. I was asking. I forgot who our book of names keeper is. Ashley. Can I insight oh, check? And you I haven't been Go good. I haven't been very strict. It seems she's telling the truth. Seems honest. Seems honest. Okay, Kim. Okay. She doesn't have much to lose. So. Yeah. Having All right. been Mom? here, mm -hmm. surely people have come to you with information, or you have ways to get information beyond this layer. She she hands she reaches out a hand towards you, Set. The comb? Yeah, I hand the comb, because I'm, okay. I'm not a backseat. She, I'm not she, a backseat. She takes it and sort of tucks it in her dress. And I definitely don't want to invoke the Wrath of the Banshee. That's not on my list of things I want to do today. I kind of step behind Fire Eyes and pull out a bunch of earrings from my ear and I'm pulling from the illusion and hold them out and go may we have another question that was a question <laughs> I'd like to request another question like to request wait did she say anything to the statement I said though what sorry did she say anything to the statement I said what did you say? Oh, I just uh, said basically, surely in all that time, people have come here with information for you. Like, you have ways of knowing what's happening beyond this. Oh, I'm a very capable divineer. I have no need of others to come and tell me what's going on. She just doesn't care. Okay. She's got other things to worry about. And she, she'll sort of take the comb and tuck it in her robes, and she'll be like, now, run along. And she will fade into the wall. I guess not. Well, that's stuff. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna turn around and guess leave. Guess so. The hut. So our our mission was not to find the book. No, it's just to get information from her about where the we book is. Information about the book. Yeah. Yeah. Completed our mission. Correct. We will not be bothering. Agatha any longer. Well, I'm a little disappointed that she oh. didn't know anything more about that. Are you... Are you... And so we got an answer? Sort of? I mean, we have the most mm -hmm. vaguest of answers. And we know... The answer of where she last knows. Yeah, a hundred years ago she sold it to some necromancer in Irabor. And we know that the imp wasn't hers. 
Did someone ask her if the imp was hers? We I couldn't ask that. another question. She said uh-huh. that she has she has her own divination magic to get her information. And we saw conjuration and an imp. Neither yeah. of those fit her style. So someone else was watching us. Something else, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Do you think it's glass, whatever? Could be. We have no idea. We just know it's not Agatha. I mean, is he? I mean, like that 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 thing that nearly killed us. Isn't it sort of a similar type of thing? No, that was an aberration. Well, right, but didn't didn't Sawyer say that that? uh, Oh. he detected aberration. Uh, yeah, well, within a mile. Right. But that was yeah. a fiend that was watching us. Probably. Right. So that's an aberration. The thing that in the right. in the manor was an aberration. Yeah. It it seems so. I mean, he's he's dealt with weird creatures before. But wouldn't why be surprising switch? for him to. Well, I mean, the Gnostic wasn't his. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't have control over it. Yeah, yeah. The well, Gla- was Glass staff admitted that the Gnostic was there before the Glass staff, before the Red Brands moved in. Well, it's not like it's not like Skinder would have remembered that. Well, we would tell you that then. Yeah, yeah. That's us telling you right now. Gnostic wasn't his. Well, I mean, now yeah. that he's not there anymore, why no, wouldn't? No, no. It was never his. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying now. What I'm saying is now that he's not there for some creature thing, whether it's, it belongs to him or not, to watch. Well, what's stopping him from wanting something else to watch out for him? Sure, he can right. want something, but that's very different from having an imp at his service. I don't think it's his. I wanted to imagine so. Imps are kind of harder to get. I just think it's best we don't sleep in Coneyberry tonight. Oh yes, of course. I say we head down to the well. I mean, yeah, right now it's only noon. Like, if even that. It's yeah, still I don't, super early. I don't want to sleep here anymore. That was weird. I mean, yeah. You guys I, kept waking me up for... I don't know what... I mean, there was an ambush in this for a while, and we did wait. I mean, couldn't do anything about it. Well, exactly. That's why he didn't wake you up. He didn't wake you up the second time. You only we only woke you up once. And that was because the robot saw something. Which was the imp, right? We don't know. No, we, that was something else. Or maybe it, it could have been. We don't know. We There's don't know. no way of communicating exactly what it saw. All we know is we'll back it saw it. let's let's just go. I think we're doing this while we're walking. We're not just hanging outside her lair. We're gonna. I mean, who? Agnes can hear us arguing all the time. Who cares? Yeah. It doesn't matter. But yeah, to the well. Okay. Someone roll me a d20. I'll do it. it. Okay, gosh. Take that. Oh. It's either very good or very bad. Technically, it's very good. So you guys, hey. you guys can sort of trot up to Old Alwell. By the time you get to Old Alwell, because now you're going off the path, um, it's about sundown when you come upon Old Alwell. Oh, now that's a tally. All right, let's make camp. That's you are in sight of Old Owl Well. Um, and from what you can see, as you crest a low ridge, you spy the crumbling ruins of an old watchtower standing amid the rugged hills. The place is so old that the walls are only mounds of rubble, enclosing a courtyard of sorts adjacent to the broken stump of an old tower. A colorful tent has been set up in the middle of the courtyard, but no one is in sight. I could check for creatures, but we're pretty sure they're undead here anyway. I could see if there's anything else around. I mean, it's just in sight. How far away are we? Oh. Um, at this range, you're probably 100 yards. Okay. Okay, not too bad. No. 
certainly have a scouting party if you want. Or we can just do keep an eye on it. Both work. Do you want me to see if there's anything else around? And that'd be great, but I can't ask you to do that. Yeah. All right. I'll put my hand down on the ground, focus again, and use my okay. whatever awareness. What is it? Primeval. Primeval awareness. Um, you do detect undead within a mile, um, and you do also detect aberrations within a mile. I'll relay that. There's an aberration following us, I feel like. The imp thing, right? That would more likely be a fiend. More than yeah, likely. that'd be a fiend, not an aberration. Aberrations are horrors, right? Like the Nothic. Yeah. Anything that makes you go ill gross, probably an aberration. Well, I mean, all I mean, of it makes me go ill gross. It, yeah, I was gonna say anything that tries to hurt people is kind of ill gross. So you're ill, gross. Just an accident. I wasn't referring to me. Oh. I'm confused. What do you mean? You have bought people. Oh. I'm a. Those have hurt them. It is. In order to protect others. I mean, I guess it still doesn't really yeah. excuse it, but... It still hurts. Yeah. Or is ill gross conditional? <laughs> no, not really. Um, who has a passive perception above 10? Me. I do. Me. I'm Paris pretty sure, does. I'm pretty sure Stubbs does, but he... Brando has stepped away. I have a passive perception of 10. Stubbs. Character sheet has a passive perception of nine. Just yeah. Oh my god! All right. So all of you, um, uh, where is it? Uh, Paris has a fourteen. You, sm you smell a deathly odor wafting from the tower's direction. Ew, gross. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's something dead over there. Very. No, it's undead. Well, it it should be dead. Certainly dead. smells like it's dead. Ugh. It, it smells like the body's dead, but the spirit is not. It Oops. smells recent. Is the no, it smells it's like rot and rotting. Oh, well, but should we camp further away like, so we can't smell it? Rot is still. What's well, rotten? Everything. Everything smells awful here. I say we back away. Yeah. A good like mile. Yeah. Ugh. Until we can't smell it anymore. Well, you guys can certainly back up away so you don't smell it anymore. Uh, how far I, are you does backing it take up? A mile? I don't know how I far away can we smell it. Um, I'd say probably another fifty yards, and you can't smell okay. it. Okay. And then we back up another 50 yards on top of that. In case there's a wind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I just realized, Diclaris is probably pretty hungry. I'm going to give him my other good berry. Actual well. Okay. well Starving. Cool. Like a fox. I have to feed your pet. Just, there's a dang. Pathetic. <laughs> Wait, Diclaris isn't a familiar? No. No. Oh just a pet because yeah, and rangers tend to have actual annual animal companions not everything is just some you know magical being you warp in and out well you know so if you lose Diclaris you lose Diclaris yeah I'm not going right. to lose Diclaris though I've already lost a bear twice so just Fair. Although she is carrying Diclaris with us, so on dangerous missions, you know, if we ever I leave him out, yeah, but like, 
I lost what him for like three whole days back in Fandolin. What if we get ambushed on the road and somebody just fireballs? The well, animal's not gonna make it. I need to get him tiny little armor. What's the likelihood of that happening, though? I mean, more and like more, as far as the farther we go. It's not zero. What's the likelihood of having a conversation with a banshee. Yeah, exactly. Not zero. I say we take a nap. Tackle this in the morning. Yep. I agree. It's bedtime. Who all is doing watches and stuff? Right. Curse, watch, watch away. Wake, wake me up. In, so I am going to stay asleep because I forget I don't have dark vision. Oh, hell. We have a fire, floor. though, right? Now, because we're not in a building. Yeah, but like. I'll help with the second still watch. Don't help with seeing things at. Is there anyone on first watch? Terrace. Terrace will just always Terrace stay on always. and watch. I'll do watch with him. Okay, so we got. Well, fire which, which watch. one? The first, first. or the last? Yeah, okay, we got fire then I'll do first. last. Who's on second? I don't know Stubbs. who's on third. Uh, Stubbs is so, on second. So, Fire Eyes and Turris, Stubbs and Turris, Skender and Turris. Got it. Yep. Are you guys building a fire? Yeah, uh, I assume so, since two of our watch people. Okay. Can't see. And oh wait, it's not cold anymore. That was the lair. I mean, it does get cold at night, so we are very north. Oh, I guess we are, huh? Yeah. I forgot we're all the way up by Neverwinter. Yeah, like we're. Like it's we're never winter, winter there. <laughs> all right. Um, fire eyes. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. Okay. Oops, that's you persuasion. Want advantage? Uh, Do you want advantage? Or you want advantage? I thought he can't help me. I guess uh, not. Yeah, he can't really help, so Taurus rolls a separate one. Alright. Alright. Um, you catch faint whiffs of the rotting spell, but it, it's very spotty. Oh, that's awful. I think Skenda fought it. Okay, All right. that's my watch. Stubbs. And Taurus. Bradley. Oh... Oh. Well, Everything's uh, going Terrace, great, guys. I think, I think I need to confess to you, Terrace, and I talk for hours. <laughs> so. Eventually, you also catch whiff of this just really gross... Oh, no. smell. I don't like that you rolled a three and caught a whiff. I smell something... What? What's the grossness of it? It smells like rot. Like really... Well, what kind of rot? Like... Rotting flesh. I don't. Okay. Well, because like there's, not, there's not like. Tree rot is the answer. Yeah, tree rot. Yeah, like there's no, a difference you, you between like plant rot. Area. There's no cover here. Would there be anything that I could discern from this DM? Um, roll. Uh. I mean, I'd already said there. Well. Kana check. Huh. Could be zombies. Could be zombies. <laughs> could be. Probably Not zombies. a guarantee. There is. Keep your eyes even more peeled. Speaking of zombies. This could be zombies. Right, roll now. a rich initiative. Roll initiative. Yeah, we're doing it. There is. Really? Cannot be surprised. Just heads up. Okay. Could be zombies. Definitely zombies. Are you going to drop us on a map first? Uh, yes. Okay, sorry. just making sure. Come on, DM, hurry up. Best mage armor. Well, unfortunately, you're going to be surprised. Because you rolled a three. Watch out. The horses are back. Ah, the horses! Never go away. We are like super surrounded. Hey. And asleep. Hey, I rolled a three, but then you said I could oh, discern gosh. that it was probably zombies. Doesn't that not worth brink? Correct. Mm -hmm. But everyone else was saying that they were smelling some zombie stuff too. So it's just like, huh. Oh yeah, your uh, initiative zombies. is not whispered. And, and and you smell it because the zombies are ten feet away. 
let me cast mage armor before. Wouldn't he have seen him before? I guess not with a perception of three. Not with a three. Yeah. yeah. He's super distracted talking about. Yeah, that's. I forgot about that. <laughs> Like his dark vision, he should have been able, but no. Are you freaking kidding me? Breathe, man. You go before the zombies. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Look at the oh, We have two. a round of we well, have a round of surprise. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna get a round of surprise. But, oh, so I don't go before the zombies. Well, I mean... I go before they go the second time. And remember, no one's wearing armor that's asleep. Which means well, no one, because it was stubs. Yeah. And I didn't get to cast my mage armor, so I'm screwed. Don't understand. You really don't understand. This is What's not cool. On? It's okay. My AC only goes down by one. Yeah, mine did too, actually. <laughs> I was real scared. I have it set to whisper to me, and it's posting it. Uh, turn it off and back on again. I don't. I don't exactly know how to turn off roll twenty and turn it back on. Close the window. At, no, I mean like. And, and uh, deselect the whisper to you, and oh, then select it again. Interesting. So bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre. Jeez, well, always. Yeah, no, it's it's all public. I clicked it on and off. All right, it's a legitimate fight. I have a question. Did we go from talking? Like, is it a whole different day that we went from talking to the lady to get nope, to no. same day? It's yeah, it's the same day. Yeah, oh, same so I still my temporary hit points. Woohoo! All right. Well, whatever. You guys are gonna get to see the rules. Yep. <clears throat> it's a legitimate fight. All right, Malarakis, you're asleep. Well, Turris is not surprised. Oh, that's true. Okay, so... So Tur he will spend Turris his turn waking me up. Okay, Tur Turris will poke you awake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm awake now. But that's my turn. Skender, you're asleep. Um, Firehide, so you're asleep. Seth is asleep. Stubbs. Wait, I get He's surprised. You are surprised. It's the zombie's turn. Ooh, they got a movement speed of 20 feet. Woo! Man. I'm so upset right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. So this is how we die. Alright, zombie will swing at Taurus. Swing away. That hits. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. What? Um, I like that damage. Yeah. All right. Give I me a second. It. Let me find my dice. <laughs> I get to go old fashioned today. Woo. If what? Okay. Okay. So that hits. Turris takes... What? What's the damage? Okay. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Owie. The other one is also going to swing at Turris. Go for it. That's uh, 15. Oh, that just hits. Okay. He takes uh, three points of bludgeoning damage. Woo. Swinging at stubs. Okay, that's a one. There's a 14 hit you, stubs. No, shield. Okay. Um, okay, and a four is definitely going to miss you as well. And swinging at fire eyes. Advantage because she's unconscious. But that's a one and a six. Fantastic. Whew. All right. Does right. that wake us up? Or because yes, he getting, missed? Getting, getting swatted at wakes you up. <laughs> I'm like, just kind of swat back at him in my sleep, roll over. Uh, Wait, yet, did any no. of them try to swat at me? No, you're. Two went, oh. two went after Taurus, three went after Stubbs, one went after Fire Eyes. 
Yeah, no, because... Oh, no. So I'm... Am I still You're asleep? You're still asleep. You are still asleep. Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright. Malarakis. Um... Uh, I'm gonna... Shocking grasp this zombie. Okay, roll to hit. Kachu. That definitely hits. Kachu. Okay. And then I will order Turris to heal himself. Okay. Physician, heal thyself. Okay, he's back to full. Can you bonus action, Misty Step? Yes. Oh, yeah. But you can't cast a spell. That's <laughs> Yeah. You can cast a cantrip with it. Yeah, you can cast a cantrip. But you can't or you cast can swing your hammer. Castle. Okay, alright. Well, or you get hammer. Or you could hammer time. Alright. Anything else in your turn, Malarakis? Nope, that's it. You're not shouting to wake everyone up? Most of us are awake. Boy, no. no. Sure it's it's still asleep, One of you, well, okay, two of your party members are still asleep. Oh, is I forgot Seth like... is still asleep. I thought it was just Skender. No, no it's, it's Skender and Seth. Didn't talk about, up. like, how the movement of Turris, like, woke everyone up once? Why wouldn't Turris... No, that was triggered a lot. tripped off the alarm. Yeah. Uh, if I can wake him up, yeah, I'll yell out. Okay, you can you can just shout up, and that's enough to. <laughs> Skender. And I also would have stood up. Sleep. But... Yeah, he takes you know half movement to to wait to get up. Um, and he goes into a rage. Also, that means um, all of you get two uh, temporary hit points. Woohoo! Seth, Seth is not in range. He's not? Seth is no. just He's within inside. 10 feet. He's not within 10 feet. Yeah. He's barely inside of the 10 foot radius. Oh, okay. So everyone else gets. Um, Even Turris? Turris gets two. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? We get two temp HP. Which does not stack with your arcane ward, so you technically don't get temporary hit points. And you don't get anything. Or you, you can take that. the two and lose your ward, but I don't see why you would do that. I don't recommend it. You it does not add to my... No. No. Very oh, and technically, you cast shield. So you do... You Even if you didn't have your ward, you would now, because you cast shield. Yeah. Oh, because it's actually... Anyway. Yeah. Now, so, so I did that. Actually, and... my ward can be refilled. Yeah, but not like that. Yeah, that but that just them. it just means that like my my uh my storm aura wouldn't be able to help you refill the ward by casting patience. Yes. So, all right, and so I'm gonna aim right. at the one in front of me. Okay, go for it. And two. And what the hell? I'll do advantage. Okay. That is. Oh, I realized yeah. that I. Oh. That's so oh. sad. Okay. Minimum damage. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh wait. waiting. Right. Okay. I was. I thought your strength was higher than plus two. Sorry. What? So, what do you mean? Well, because I looked at your damage and it was a one plus two, and so I thought you, I thought your modifier was higher than plus two. So. Oh. Uh, but okay. Uh, um, fire eyes. Okay. Uh, for my interaction, can I grab Diclaris and my bow? Or can he, I, like, as I'm bending down, can he jump onto my shoulders? Or I guess I'm not bending down, I'm laying down right now. I would say no. Diclaris' fight or flight kicks in and Diclaris just runs away. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, so I'll grab my bow. Bonus action. Uh. <laughs> yeah, me, like, jumping awake. <laughs> he just bolts. Uh... Bonus action, uh, turn invisible, and go, like, 
here and fire at this guy. I have advantage because you are invisible. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, Go ahead and roll an R D twenty. Ah. No. Okay. And so that's uh, seventeen, eighteen plus your dreadful strikes. Yeah. Do they have that many points? Yes. Oh, Zombie. They're pretty. Yeah, zombies. I thought they were. Have a, oh, they're just easy to oh, hit. I think. Yeah. I yeah. They have a super low AC, but. That's what it is. Okay. They've got a good chunk of hit points. All right. Seth. You heard oh, yeah. up, and uh, and you smell that stench very, very um, potent. Sword. Neat. Okay. I am going to. Let's see. There's a zombie over there, and a zombie. It's actually, over your pants. I'm gonna get up and move this way, okay. farther away from the other zombies, and then. I am going to use my reaction to give, uh, I'll give Malarakis a Bardic Inspiration dice. Okay. Yay. Because I can see him this time. Correct. Nice. And that'll be my turn. Hey. Um, Stubbs. Alright. Have I noticed if any of the three that surround me have been hit by anything? Um, I mean, they all look decrepit and rotten, but you didn't see any of your friends attack them. That's what I mean. Alright. All what? Try to get them grouped up. We are grouped up. Well, try to get them all grouped up without you in the center of them. <laughs> I mean, they are kind of grouped up. Yeah, um, but I don't want to cast a, an AOE damage spell with sneaking my buddy right in the center of it. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I don't believe you. Alright. I... This one right here? Yep. Uh, go for a swing. Okay. Oh. So I'm pushing the wrong button. Oh, wait, JJ. That eight hits. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, zombies are pretty easy to hit. Low. Yeah, that eight hits. Hey, maximum damage. Okay. All right, is it my turn? Oh, one sec. Sorry. He's got to figure out if he falls. Uh, zombie stuff. Okay, he um, like falls back onto the ground, and then stands back up. Oh. Alright, now it's your turn, Stubbs. Was that one that he hit? Annoying. Annoying. Oh, that was okay. this one. Right. The one I was attacking. The one yeah, I just didn't see. Alright, that, that definitely hits. No. Minimum damage! I rolled a one. <laughs> it's a one. That's great. It makes me happy. Okay, then I missed you step out of there. And I think my Misty is 30 feet, even, right? Yep. It is? Yes. Alright. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Alright. Now I can start doing my ranged attacks. Zambo's turn. Ah. All right. So three are going to swing at Skender with advantage because reckless. Skender does a thirteen hit you. Yeah, just barely. You take seven points of damage, reduced to three. Does matching AC block or hit? It's hit. hit. You have to be below here. Um, that's a dirty 20. Um, what do you mean a dirty 20? It adds up to 20. Oh, okay, I was, I was like, for a second I was confused. 
A dirty. So you take five reduced to two. And then that's another 13. You take five reduced to two. If someone gets a home run while an out was gotten, does that um, And then two swing at Taurus. If a home run is hit? Not with advantage, because. No, no, no. So, person. Okay. Um, does a 14 hit Taurus? It does not. Okay. And that's another 14. And then swinging at Seth. 14. Seth? Yes. Yes. Okay, it's my, is, is, what, what's the AC? What's the hit? Does, does a 14 hit? Oh, yeah, for sure. 100%. You take two points of damage. Ow. Ouchie. Ouchie McOof. Another ruckus. All right. Hey, I I'm recommend gonna... everybody back up towards this zombie if you can. I'm going to. I've got an AoE myself. But I'm gonna move there. And I'm gonna suffer the opportunity attack from uh, that zombie. That's uh, a twenty-one. Yeah, that hits. Take two points of damage. Hey, there goes my temporary hit points. Uh, and I am going to cast Tasha's Caustic Brew as I attach a vial of acid on my crossbow and fire. And can I hit all three of them or just two? Uh, what's this? What, what's the spell? Sorry, it's five feet wide, uh, five foot wide line. Um, I would say you could just hit two. Okay. Kind of gets weird with diagonal squigglies like that. I hit figured. Skender just to get even. Then I would have fired it, kind of standing on Diclaris. I think that's Diclaris. Whatever oh, the, the fox. Yeah. I would have fired it going across there to hit the line of these two guys. But it would have kept moving afterwards. Oh, okay. So, they both need to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, they're great at those. I think it. It's an eight. Nope. And a negative two. Or a negative one, sorry. All right, so they are covered in acid. Fantastic. Uh, And I'm going to order Turris to punch the zombie right there. Okay, roll to hit. Two. That definitely hits. Alright. There is pretty constant damage. Alright. Uh, do they take any damage right off the bat? or No, at the start Skender? of their turn. Okay. Skender. Alright. I'm gonna hit the one in front of me again. Okay. Roll to hit. Wait. Wait sorry. But this time I'm not doing it recklessly. So. Of course, free the one time I'm just like, oh well, their AC's low enough. I I should be fine. No, I'm fine. It's all right. Fire eyes. You hold in the line. Um, I am going to fire at this guy. Go for it. Okay, not at advantage. I'm not invisible. Um, actually, just for fun, I'll cast Hunter's Mark first, and then fire. Okay. Gotcha, go for it. That definitely hits. Okay. 1d4 for my dreadful strike. 1d6 for my Hunter's Mark. Okay. That's my turn. Uh, okay, he falls to zero and does not make the save. That zombie's dead. You'll hit other people. Yeah. All right, Seth. Okay, so I want to do a ten foot sphere, but I can't do a ten foot sphere and hit these three guys without hitting this guy. Correct. There's just no way. It's it's a ten foot radius sphere. Yeah. Um, there's not really a way to hit like 
I mean, if you center it on the corner of this guy, it kind of only yeah. barely hits Skender. Like, like if you, yeah, if you center it here, you'll still technically hit Skender. And then one more over and you won't get the two of them. So, um, let, let me let me look something up real quick. I mean, it's a 3d8 sphere. It's pretty, it's not great to hit your teammates with. Uh, let me check something real quick, just just you so know, I can just so I, I can know what it is one. too. It's a great sphere. one. Oh, it's a cla it's it's a classic. The gang okay. loves this. Is, is it oh, a yeah. sphere? No. It's no, it's a classic. No, we, uh, no, oh, you, no, you actually can. You can if you center it on this. Oh on the no, of is this, this shatter? If I center um, it on classic. that, on yeah, that. If you center, zombie? if you center it on the corner of that what? zombie, you can hit those three without hitting Skinner. I Wait, do, I, I think it's that. karma. Better is hit is high enough Skinder. to level it. DM, I do that. Okay. Then what's the save? What's what's the save on the Lulu killer? <laughs> oh, thunder. Okay. No, it's, it's, not, it's not. It's not. Oh, it is shatter. Yeah. <laughs> the spell is forbidden. A con yeah, took the forbidden okay. spell. Okay, so I know two, I have plus two, five. Two of them, please. two of them make it. Okay, so it's half damage. Okay, Ashley, you don't. Have you to don't have to make. <laughs> oh, damn! Ashley, you don't have to make the save. But how poetic would that have been that, if the Lulu that, killer that, ended that, up that, killing that, Ashley? We were talking for like two minutes on how to center it without hitting you. Oh, okay, hitting you. well, yeah. Uh, hey, Ashley, listen with your ears. <laughs> Look, with your ears and not your, your emotions. Comprehend with your brain. No, see, I right. heard shatter and I didn't just even say the everything word went. Well, everything just went. It was to, like uh, uh, the quick. the the consequences of my actions. I'm just reliving it. But what are you doing? Our poor little Holly font. Oh. <laughs> Wait. All right. DM just forcefully name changed the spell. Lulu Killer. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I rolled really well. Actually. You did roll really well. That was a pretty gnarly one. They're not dead, but it's out. never not rolled well. All right, stubs. Uh, wait, no, a bonus. Stare at the section. <laughs> I give my inspiration to uh, oof, uh, who's around here? I guess. I guess Skender. Yeah, Skender. You get a dice of Bardic Inspiration. Yep. That, Have a that's fun for time with attack that. rolls? Attack, attack rolls, ability really checks, or saving, saving throw. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Jeez oh, Louise. That sounded Shush. aggressive. Ow. I farted a little bit. No. <laughs> Stubs. You guys are muted. We were debating uh, spell stuff. He also cast the Lulu Killer. No, he cast a much better spell. I don't know if it's better. But... It's much better. <laughs> it's so much. Does he cast Bernie Sanders? Uh, no. Oh, he doesn't have Bernie Sanders. He doesn't have Bernie Sanders. No, he has a cool spell though. Oh, Plus, no, Bernie he's... Sanders would burn me. <laughs> Yolo. Small press to pay. Guy that has Bernie Sanders. So targeting. The same three zombies. Okay. Do it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> ah. Scorching ray, so that's one. Okay. So that uh, hits. Jeez. That hits the first one. I tap it three times, right? Well, roll, roll for damage. Once. Okay. Once nice. more. No, 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 no. You have to roll each time to hit. Yes. Three separate attacks. Ooh. So now it's cast scorching ray again. Okay, so that one got seven. Yeah. Correct. Uh, and then this one gets okay. the next one. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. That hits. Okay. 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 Now you roll again. And then the last one. That hits. Oh, wow. Alright. Cool. Wow, that was a good one. That was max damage. Um, Alright, and he does not make the save. So he is dead. When they do make the save, what happens? They, just uh, they drop to zero, or they drop to one. Oh, oh, this is a zombie thing. Yeah, yeah. like what Valkyria had. Yeah. 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 Alright, anything Ox. else, Stubbs? Um, do you have any bonuses, actions? Not anymore. 
No. Nope. Well, he couldn't have been able. He couldn't cast Misty Step. Yeah, no. No, I'm good. That's all I can do. It's a good use. Zambo's of turn. What's hey, up with the Caustic it. Brew? Oh, they just take it. There's no save. No. They already failed the save. Yeah, they just take it. Wait, oh, unless they t use that action to wipe it off. Oh, dude, they're not smart enough to do that. Exactly. Wait, oh, did you you, you spewed them with stuff? Acid, yeah. Yeah, yeah zo zombies aren't smart enough to clean themselves off. No, they just bleh. No. So every I turn they take 2d4. Int of, int of three. Down if just... All right, slam <laughs> at Skender. That's the wrong thing, but I'll still use that. That misses. Um, 17 yeah. for 2 damage, reduced yeah. to 1. <laughs> oh. right. And then the one by Turris is going to swing a Turris with a natural 20. Aww. Okay, but does not roll another natural 20. For 11 points of, of damage. Owie. Um, and then the one by Seth. Not with a 6. Malarakis. Right. I'm gonna uh, take another step back and take the opportunity attack. That's an 11? Nope. And then I'm gonna oh, fire. Oh, mind. None of you are wearing armor. Yeah, we yep. took our stuff off. Yeah. Well, so your AC is 10 plus your dex modifier. Yeah. And I'm gonna fire at that zombie up by tourist. Of course, I do major armor. Yeah. Your mage armor is 13 base, plus dex, right? So, ka -choo. Hey, that hits. So I think it's 12 base, plus dex. Oh, max damage! So I think it's uh, You can just click on mage armor. On the zombie up by Turris. Yep. Kathunk! It must be 13 yes. plus dex. I remember, I remember mage armor. Good stuff. Any bonus action? Uh, if it's still standing, I'm gonna order Turris to punch it. It is still standing. All right, so he is punching it. Yes. Go for it. That is. Then being on the eight hours. Oh. Your day. Okay. I mean, he does not make the save. Okay. Federal one and nine. I mean, yeah, yeah, fat. Uh, and then I will have him move down here. Normally, zombies are way more annoying than this. We would do our dungeon, but it's like always like. But okay. only one of them has ever made their save. Oh, mm. All right, that's my turn. All right. Only one of them's made the save so far. Yeah. Yeah, the guy I hit, unfortunately. I think one of my. Oh wait, made did the guy attack? What? Did the guy near me attack me? Yeah, he swung at you. And you said it missed. Oh, yeah. I just completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh, for a second. Yeah. Or no, he, he rolled a six. That's, yeah. that's, that's what yeah. I missed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Skender. All right. You do have gonna... bard inspiration if you wish to use it. Yeah. I'm going use... to hit this one. Okay. Go for it. Are you swinging reckless? Never mind. Oh. Right. That is. Merp. He does not make us it. Yes. You wake me up in the middle of the night being all gross like that? <laughs> Dude, there's the first no door. Have we seen both of these guys fall and get back up? Uh, you've seen, seen this guy do that. Okay, but not this guy. But okay. not that guy, no. So I'm going to step over here so I have a clear shot. Yep. Uh, bonus action move my Hunter's Mark. And yep. fire away. Go for it. Hit it with your best shot. That hits. Okay. Then psychic damage. And oops. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Hunter's Mark damage. And that's all the damage I could do. And he rolls a one on the save. Zombies aren't so bad, guys. This is bull. <laughs> if only all the bad like, guys could be like this. You, you guys are hitting them, but when like their last hit happens, you're like, oh, I'm dealing 14 points of damage. Yeah. DC's like 20. 
<laughs> and so it's just like, whatever. <laughs> Alright, set. Okay. I uh, just gonna stab the dude. Go for it. Or slash up the dude. That hits. Hey, that hits. Okay. He makes the save. He falls down and gets back up. Get. Stay. Bring it. Bring it. Uh. Do well, I have any bonus actions that I want to do? Uh. Action. Be sad because I didn't kill him. <laughs> Good bonus action, man. I'll give a bardic inspiration to my boy Stubbs behind. Stubbs. Go get him, champ. Oh, we could use it on attack. Attack yep. rolls or saving throws or ability check. And with the optional rule, you can use it when you cast a damage dealing spell to increase the damage. Oh, I can do. Yeah. There's, there was an op optional rule that came out in Tasha's that when if someone with the Bardic Inspiration die casts a healing spell or a damage dealing spell, they can use it to add to the damage for the healing. Sweet. Okay. From this, uh, I go ahead and I cast the... F it still is like kind of pointing the head of the hammer at the creature and I yell my fire and I fire yes you do Zip. unfortunately that would miss but you do have a bardic inspiration die well you would he has know. to know he has to say it before well, you tell him yeah. that well. Oh, well he didn't tell me <laughs> if you want to use it you can use it whatever it's okay it's the last guy <laughs> The last this guy, guy has one hit point. This guy, this guy can't TPK you guys. Which means you hit. That <laughs> hit. Yes, that hit. Just Ooh. barely hits. The Four minimum damage. amount to hit. Alright. He falls down and gets back up. Ah. <laughs> he swings at, at Seth. It's another natural one. Malarakis. <laughs> Kill it! Hey, uh, hey, uh die! That hits. Two. Okay. It's a natural 20, he falls down and gets back oh my up. Gosh. Oh my gosh. This is annoying. <laughs> this Good dude is missing limbs, problem. he's got yeah. arrows sticking out of him, he's just like, ah. <laughs> that hits. Falls down and gets back on. Okay, Damn it. battle is still on top of these dead horses. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Skender. Alright. I feel like you just are freezing with you? the areas of the map. Why can't you just die the job, but... and stay dead? How dare you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, well that kills him. Because wait, wait, wait. I want to see the damage. I want to see how far it goes. Okay, so it doesn't explode like that. But... The oh. rule is if it takes damage from Radiant or a crit. So it got hit by a crit, it falls down and dies. Oh, but well, that's so sad. We all just wait well, for it to get up. Fortunate, because that's a... That's the saddest crit roll. I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Crit. Oh my gosh! Jeez. And that that big old whopping six damage crit. <laughs> Better than an unarmed strike. Not by much. <laughs> Let's see if you make the same. <sighs> yes. If it was a normal attack, you would have made the same. Okay. Well. Let's go back to zombies sleep. Zombies are dead. Well, Vix. I don't know if I want to sleep with these things around. Curse again. They smell awful. Look, they all just magically disappeared. They're not here anymore. Wow, that prestigitation works wonders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, 
I still need sleep. So. Yeah, that's kind of sucked. Well, you guys can sleep for the the rest of the night without issue. Grant. Yay. Well, I'll just kind of like drag our sleeping bags away from the dead zombies. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Drag the zombies away from the, the fire. I don't want to start another fire. Just burn them. Yeah, that's, <gasps> that's no, going to make it smell it's better. So that smells nope. fantastic. Tourists, just move them away. There we go. Yeah, have the robot do it. All right. Tourists will. It's never been a fairy tale to that zombie. And just grab, by, grab them by the legs and just. Telling you, there's never been a just fairy drag them away. Really, like, servant has gone crazy and killed him. No, <laughs> you won't go crazy and kill anybody. Don't worry about it. That's never happened you guys before. Can, all of those stories say exactly. You guys can wake in the morning, um, refreshed and ready for day. And level four. Incorrect. Dang uh, it. Yeah. Because they're the shot. They tried four. <laughs> Listen, all right. I'm. I'm there were I'm orcs. Going. I'm a man for the people. And zombies and an underwhelming conversation with a banshee. Listen, the banshee was never going to be. And well, I don't know. Can Skender I mean, hey, level if, if up got, because he had to deal with math? No. No. Oh. You don't get to. You all, you okay? Fine. You get. Uh, yeah, but you got to tell us. You, you get imaginary point and wizard. <laughs> You have to tell us the uh, what level Skender yes, would you, get to. You, you get you get a level, but I get to decide what the level is. <laughs> I give you a level Actually, in civilian. I, oh, you are now a level two barbarian. Yeah, <laughs> I I give a I, I think a better punishment would be she gets to not roll her stats again, but Skender now changes classes <laughs> and has to get stuck with it. That's the level you get. Well, you randomly for class. You get three. Oh, it's okay. I'm fine with not leveling up. It's fine, guys. You okay. get three levels, though. <laughs> Bonus three levels. No, you no, no. A, you I'm, good. I'm good. No, you thank you. I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, look at that map. Man, Colors don't here. you guys just love the quality of this map? Listen, I'm looking at it, and I kind like of dig it. This Mickey is, Mouse this with an eye the, patch and missing an ear. This is the post-apocalyptic Mickey Mouse. We've all yeah. done. <laughs> Wait, no, this was part of the... I did this myself. Oh, oh okay. I there, was... there, there are no maps for Old Owl, Wyvern Tor, or I Coney could... Berry, so oh, I'll do them all myself. I, I'm oh, sure. Okay. You drew this? Um, yes, I did this. I, it, I'm it so is... proud of you. It is. I good, like it. Uh, like, unironically, this is way better than what I would... Uh, <laughs> the circles are so nice. <laughs> They're perfect circles. Man, it's I almost know. like a computer drew them. Exactly. <laughs> right. What is it? Where did it come like, in? It's almost like I simply held shift to make it a circle rather been, than a rectangle. You've been around my maps. You know that they're just kind of amorphous blobs. Yeah, you've seen my maps too. That's this true. is good. There's color here, yeah. all right? <laughs> you see, like, Brando's seen my maps multiple times. Mm -hmm. They're They're usually just kind of like... A blob with some rectangles or some scribbles here and there. So, yeah, you're good. You're good. Although I would like to know what the giant purple rectangle is. It's that, an is eye patch. Color, that is the colorful tent. Oh, okay. Cool. Colorful tent? There's a there, tent? It's a, yeah, it, a colorful tent has been set up in the middle of the courtyard, but no one is in sight. It's a giant purple tent. Uh, hmm. Nothing's inside, huh? I mean, you can't tell. It's closed. The zombies were camping in there, but... Well, if you remember, Sildar said that, that like, people were here. Yeah. yeah. They All had right. a tent to go home to? Where do we yeah, come in? You guys they come had from a the family. Oh, I see us. They had a family, and we murdered them all. Hope oh, you guys are happy. We can finish up Old Owl Well, and then we'll call it for you. Okay. okay. Alright. Look we'll low over this tent. So you see, sort of this coat, this courtyard around this the the beige circle is just a bunch of rubble and debris, and then uh, the big gray circle is like a tower, a, a disheveled tower, a tower. Like, how intact is this tower? Um, think weather top. Okay, okay, I get you. 
Well, who wants to go check go. out the cool tent? I'd go with I'll someone. Go. I'll check it out I'll with go. you. Oh, you guys cast go. Cast Mage Armor, okay. by the way. Ooh, I'm going to cast Mage Hand and pull the curtain back. Okay, well, unfortunately, as you enter the courtyard, stuff happens. Oh, no. no. Wait, did I Whoever could have foreseen that. No, you guys have technically entered the courtyard now. Okay, I told you before that happened that I had casted Mage Armor. Yes. <laughs> Out of the tower. Please, no. More Zambies. No, please, more, more Zambies! Oh my oh, gosh. My oh. gosh. Okay, give me a good initiative, please. I bet. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, baby. Oh of my of gosh. Yeah. I thought that was the okay. end. Please roll very standard. badly on the zombies. No! These are fast zombies, guys. So these, these are 28 days later zombies. Oh no. I <laughs> close this distance. They're 28 days later zombies, and that terrifies Skender. This is, this is Left 4 Dead zombie style. Yeah, these are Left 4 Dead zombies. They're just charging at you. Oh my god. Mm. What's the one that... The, um... World War Z? No, even before that. Oh, uh... 28 days later? No. Before 28 days later. Even. Well, before that. I'm not uh, sure. No, I'm not gonna know. Dawn of the Dead? dead? Yeah. Dawn of, the Dawn, of the Dawn, of the Dawn of the Dead has slow shamblers. Yeah, no, slow shamblers. Who that in Dawn of the Dead? No. Right? No, the... Yeah. I think the first instance of runners were 28 days later, yeah. but I can double check. Yeah, 28 days later was like, whoa, fast zombies! Okay. Alright, Malarakis. Alright. How, like, inside the tower are they? Are they still fairly visible? Um, technically you can't see these back four. Okay. The, the, they're still in the tower, but the other ones are shambling out of it. Yeah, World War Z was, like, about so literal right. zombies. They would I'm going to... Gather yeah, some gym dust, crush it up, and throw it, and cast fairy fire on the ones that are outside that I can't see. Okay, I'm assuming you're centering it there. Yeah, centering it there. Okay, man, they're great at deck saves. I know. What's the DC? Fourteen. Oh, wait, we've got armor on now. What did you do? Oh yeah, I have armor on now. Thank you for reminding. Me. Yeah, everyone, put on your armor. Hey. I never need the good berry. My AC goes up by one. I put nice. on my armor before. I told you guys all. It was good. Yeah, but for us schmucks who had to Only one it. failed? Oh, okay. Oh, apparently. Oh. There was a movie in 1980 with Nightmare City. And the earliest the too, huh? quote unquote zombie movie. Oh, they all failed. They oh, all failed. That's awesome. They've got a minus two to deck saves. <laughs> Okay, so what does that do? Uh, Gives you everybody has to hit all of them. All oh, of them. Okay. And they I'm were really gonna... hard to hit before. Well, no, but more likely to <laughs> get crit. <laughs> yeah, but now we can crit more. Yeah. And I'm right. going to tell Terrace to run here and just stand there. And that's his turn. He's going to be the wall. Like, boom, boom, boom. And just like plants his feet and spreads his arms and he's just... <clears throat> And so he's taking the dodge action, but he's there. I, I don't know why, but in my head, my head cannon is he looks a lot like the Iron Giant. That's what I imagined yeah. too. Yeah, shorter. Like a With an arc reactor. Tall, like a six, a six foot, foot tall Iron, yeah, Iron Giant. Yeah, Iron Giant. Like that's the look like. The mini Iron Giant. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty big compared to my character. Malarakis, that means you're Hogarth. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. What are those special ladders? I think the ladders are called. Little giant, or what are those ladders called? Oh, what? There's ladders called like I think they're called like little. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, Malarakis, your uh, your your boy gonna be all right? It'll be fine. They have disadvantage to hit him. Actually, <laughs> the rest of these will dash. Oh no! Stay away! Smack my boy. Oh, and no. in zombie fashion, the old no. <laughs> That's making my AOE Skender, Skender sees them, like, surrounding him. He's like, no, Turris, no. My one AOE spell. You have to, oh, why don't you, have to you inspire him, turret. then? You have to center on Turris. 
Inspire tourists so that he has an easier time passing. I, I'm not gonna kill your robot. I know how right. Shatter works. So Actually, only, no. only um, like three of them got there. So only three of them can attack this turn. But it's at disadvantage. Correct. Shatter. Shatter actually doesn't deal double damage. It just deals. Um, which is, which is good because yeah. one of them was a natural twenty. Yeah. Um, so it's sixteen to hit. We, we yes. Yeah. So you take two oh, points of damage. I did not mean to click that. But. Uh, okay. Yeah, His AC is fifteen. All right. Yeah, the other damage. two miss. Okay. But yeah, that's what the the thing that's centered on. No. Is disadvantage. If it's, if it's a creature made of inorganic material. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, so so Taurus would get annihilated. No, it doesn't feel double damage, it's just he has du he just will probably fail to save. More sure. likely to fail. Yeah. It's not, it's, kill not it. it's not as bad as I thought it was. I thought it just, like, absolutely just broke. He has disadvantage on it? Yeah. At least he's not... I'm gonna center at least he's magical. There's a, way, there's a way I can center it over here that doesn't hit and hits, like, yeah. yeah, it you would can, hit you, you one, can hit, two, three, you can hit four, five, six. And be fine. Yeah, I can hit that six. six. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna. All right. Absolutely. Con saves. Nope. Nope. Eight, three, three, and okay. okay. Above average. Nope. nope. Now it's just below. Okay. One below. Oh, is that the damage? Can I, can I inspiration Curvis or Turris? Yeah, Curvis. Curvis, not dumb. <laughs> yeah, right. Turris is a, per is a thing. You Creature, shattered. technically. You just shot all over them, dude. Mm. I did. Yeah, it's a creature. I mean, I could. I'm going it? to grant Bardic inspiration to my boy, Stubbs, because I feel like Oh yeah. You're gonna wanna do some damage. Oh yeah. You're right next to me here. Oh yeah. Now pass the turn. Over to my boy. Dubs. The so, heavy hitter. So looking at these three. Okay. I'm doing And you have to I'm going for my scorching ray. I have advantage to hit them. What? That's what the blue or the purple means. Yeah, yeah you, you have advantage to hit them because they're fairy fire. The purple ones? That's the three I, I yeah. aimed at three yeah. purple ones. Yeah. Oh, you have advantage. advantage. Uh. And you have a D6 to hit in case you roll an apple or something. You won't, you won't need that once. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah, definitely hits. Okay, oh, so I will nice. say if you add the Bardic Inspiration die to this, it will double that as well. Wait, no, no, no. The Bardic Inspiration doesn't work on damage, unfortunately. It does no, for Tasha's yeah, customizing. Tasha's, Ta rule. Tasha's, had a, Tasha's had an optional rule where if, if a creature who has an Inspiration oh. die casts a healing or damage dealing spell, they can expend the Bardic Inspiration die to add it to the healing or the damage of the spell. I mean, getting 2d6 on top of that. Yeah, right. Pretty decent. Okay, well, he just dies because it's a crit. Burp. Okay, and then hold up. And then you got one more. Hold, hold up. But it's. You got it. Nice. Very <laughs> fine. Exactly great yeah. spell. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly balanced. As all things should <laughs> a be. One and a six. It's... Well, that is the uh, end of my turn. <laughs> well, let's see. Wait, let me see my proximity. I will go ahead and move uh, over here. And then you'll continue on. Alright. <laughs> Stop hiding behind me. Fire I am not a tank. Okay. <laughs> I am not a tank. I'm going to uh, like probably have the clear the shot at this guy. <laughs> yep. So I'm yeah. going to bonus okay. action. Hunter's mark. Gotcha. Fire. Shoot him. Oops, I didn't do advantage. Sorry. It doesn't matter, it still hits. Okay. And they're pretty easy to hit with right? yeah. Okay. And take that psychic damage and take that hunter's mark. 
It's basically, as long as you don't roll a one, you have to yeah. plus my intelligence. Oh, plus one for the yep, Wanda. Okay. Just one. All right. Shut up. And then roll for it. Then it and that's my turn. Gender. I'm just leaving. All right. There are a bunch of glowing zombies over there. Glow. You think that you think they might be about to break out into thriller. I'm Copy gonna it. rage. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Give myself and Terrace two temporary hit points. Okay. So Terrace has two things. Okay. And then I'm gonna aim at this one. Go for it. And that's at advantage, yes? Yeah. You do yes. have advantage. Okay, look. Yeah. Whenever. So I think this sends. Edits? Um, at the top of the round, layer action. I'm just kidding. Oh, gosh. <laughs> layer action go. of the adult green dragon that comes flying in. It's been oh, invisible shit. this whole time. Uh, I'm gonna run here. Yeah, there's other so things. I guess, I guess at the very end of the initiative. <laughs> okay. Because Skender's dex is probably higher than this guy. You're telling me that little turd's been there the whole time? Well, he's running out right now. Ah, kill him. Is it the same imp that we saw before? Glass no. This okay. is not glass uh, staff either. <laughs> this uh, dude that runs out um, is a stout, red-robed figure with sallow skin, a shaved scalp, and a black tattoo on his forehead. Necromancer, get him! Red wizard? Um, no, wait to the highest or low level for that. Um, it's a bad record. Dubs, make me an Arcana check, and Seth, make me a History check. Oh, they're both the same for me. Oh well, I guess the advantage. <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you uh, you can definitely tell that the tattoo on his forehead is a necromantic <laughs> symbol. Um, and uh, as for Seth, you can definitely recognize as the garb that is usually worn in Thay. Oh, so they are a red wizard. Please. Red wizard. Fun. He just runs out and he's like, what is the meaning of this? Yo, your zombies are attacking us. <laughs> Great question. I think your zombies are on the rampage. And he sort of wastes his hand and the zombies go from like an aggressive stance to just hands down at their sides. Oh, thank goodness. Neat. I'm tired. Ah. Hey, so, uh, we cool? I don't know. Are we cool? Uh, we only we only started fighting them because they started fighting we're, us. Hey, we're here because the guy was like, hey, there's like necromancy. We're like, oh, we should probably check them. Oh, that's like well, the only reason we're here? Yeah, we're, we're I mean, here. We're just... here trouble. to investigate the necromancy and why it was there. Yeah, it's not the reason why it's here. Uh, so I presume you made these. I did, yes. Uh, could you not? Did you I mean, cur or cur currently they are not. No, 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 like, not make undead things. That is At entirely least... my prerogative, and not up to you. I'm well, I mean... Kind of a crime against nature. Like, the ethics of it is a little blurry. Well, yeah. Whatever. The Netheril weren't using these bodies, anyways. The what? Well, the what? The Netheril. Uh, oh, yeah. the Netheril. That's the Empire. Yeah. Yeah, the old Empire. I mean, I guess not, but like. They've it's, been dead for it's centuries. Making... They aren't using yeah, this body right, anyways. Right, yeah. Well, sure, but it's getting it's making other people twitchy. We're oh, they stink. We're we're probably not going to be the last ones to investigate this if it continues here. So far, you are the only ones to investigate and stay. All the other ones who normally show up, they see zombies and run. So... That's because we don't like the zombies. Yeah, well, it's not, not fair. 
the zombies, quite frankly, don't like you either. Well, I yeah. can tell. Yeah. Why are you here? That is my business. Mine alone. And, hey, well, uh, like you want to happen to know where Cragmore Castle is? <laughs> yes, let's just talk to the guy. I love, it. I love this game. Why do we just have conversations just, with the baddies? Yeah, all the bad guys. Not. They know it. Yeah. Any idea where that castle is? If you happen yeah. to know, we'll happily leave you be. I can't say I do. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that sucks. And I just cast Scorching Ray on him. Three, all three of them. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> you're gonna TPK you. us! Yeah. yeah. Counter spells you. Huh? You counter spells you! You dare! Yeah. What, 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 what happened? Yeah, because it's one casting. Malarakis, um, it's your turn. All right. Well, oh. we're gonna get TPK'd because yeah. <laughs> Let's get in there, boys. I'm tired of all our encounters. We just talk. I guess this is how it is. What wizards do? <laughs> I'm gonna fire at the mages. Hmm. Could I fire at the mage? Is he going to have some cover? Yeah, he's going to have cover, but you can shoot at him, yeah. Yeah, I might give it a go. Go for it. Counterspell this! Okay. He's like, okay. this, you filthy casual! So sweet. Oh my gosh. The comedic timing of counterspell this! Not one. <laughs> now we're getting TV hits the saved. tower behind him. No, no, it doesn't even get there. Let's be oh, honest. Yeah. <laughs> you like didn't notch it right, so it just goes like, boop, yeah, we're on the back ground. Back <laughs> like when you when you go to shoot a Nerf gun and you haven't loaded like the pellet oh. and all the way, and it just goes like, boop. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, Malraka, sorry, you still have a bonus action. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action. Uh, go. Oh shit, I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on myself <laughs> and step this way. <laughs> Alright, all the zombies are gonna go to town on Terras. Except for the one oh. right next to Skender, because Skender came up and smacked them. Oh, uh, they still have disadvantage because he's still taking the dodge action. Oh, he's just sitting oh, there. Oh, right, because if you don't give him a command, he takes the dodge action. Yep. <laughs> That's right. right. Dodging. Unless I tell otherwise, he dodges. Slapping their hands like, no. <laughs> Uh, 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 not in my house. Uh, 17. That does hit. Oh. All takes 6 points of damage. Alright. Okay, that was a natural 20 and a 4. That touch. 11 misses. 10 misses. 6 misses. These are going to move this. here. Oh, so like, I'm just going to delete this guy. This guy's going to move here. This guy's gonna go bomb, bomb, bomb. Because he's definitely gonna be able to hit Malarakis. And then three more attacks. This, this, is, the with, this is the guy with uh, an issue, so don't believe him. Nope. Um, so. Uh, 17. That hits. He takes five more points of damage. And then the Owie. one swinging at Skender with advantage. Uh, oh, wait, no, because he was fairy fired. Yes. Um, okay, well, that's a natural 20. But no double, or no triple. You're raging, don't sigh. You take six points of damage reduced to three. <laughs> listen. 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 Oh no, I have heavy. all damage that we're, ever comes we're at going, me. We're going to get, I'm going to get nickel and dimes to the wall. Uh, you're the, a barbarian. He's gonna, he's gonna swing at Malarakis. Wisdom save. What's the DC? 14. That's an 18. All right, so it hits me. Now, now, well, now, now he has to roll. Now he has to roll a hit. Yeah. Oh, it's a 10. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember. So my, we were playing. My family had a two annihilation game going, and I was playing a cleric, and there was a room full of like 20 zombies. Um, and I just plopped myself in the doorway and chainmail and a shield, cast sanctuary on myself, and just blocked the doorway. Yeah. 
And so I just stopped all 20 zombies because they couldn't make the wisdom save and then hit me. And so my, the rest of the party just dealt with the other dudes in the room. And then we just annihilated the zombies. But I know I just, what Paris is I, doing. I, I, I bonus action cast Sanctuary on myself, 20 AC, and then took the dodge action. So not only did they have to make a wisdom save, they then had to make a 20 hit with disadvantage. So you can only do one ramp. So, till his next turn. Okay. Which Seth. is... I'll... Okay. Uh, if I shatter from here... Uh, from from here... It'll hit both of them, but it'll also hit Turvis, right? Right? No, that one wouldn't... Where? That won't hit... Yeah. That won't hit Turvis. Well, will that hit him, though? Oh. Um, no. No, 10 no, foot no. radius? No, that won't no. hit him. Burr! Well, fine then. I'll just throw a firebolt at him. Alright, go for it. Screw you, dude. He does have cover. Well, screw you, dude. Fortunately, with cover, that misses. Burr! Bardic inspiration to fire eyes because he got ranged attacks that could do a lot of damage potentially. Stuff. So. Okay. Is it okay? So this okay? So that he was still in his one reaction, right? Correct. He's already used his one reaction. So okay. He can't counterspell you again. He can't counterspell me again, right? Okay. Uh. I well, in theory, do I, I, I clap at him for magic missile? Give him the clap. What Give level? him the clap. Okay. What level damage. Oh, can I roll that? At Oh, yeah, it has to be a first. It has to be a first. I only have first. Yeah, he doesn't have any seconds. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Hey. All right. Not as nice, but still damage. nice. That's I mean, almost max damage. We take that. Yeah. All right. That's your turn. Uh, that's correct. Uh, hey, DM, my AC is 13. I have to pee. I'll be right, right back. Go for it. Fire eyes. I don't like this. I'm gonna go over here and uh, fire. There's a tent there. Yeah, I'm firing at this guy. Oh, okay. I was like, you can't shoot the mage from there. Yeah. Um, sorry, but first bonus action to move my whatever. Hunter's Not hex okay. blades, curse, whatever the other one is. Hunter's, Hunter's mark. mark. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing I have. E. Okay. 24. These are the enemies for you. You got roll damage? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I am going to roll damage, huh? <laughs> Plus <Okay>. one. <laughs> Zombies are the enemies for you. You can always hit them. Oh wait, I didn't roll it at advantage just to make sure that I don't get a crit. Okay. He dies. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> this bow you made is amazing. <laughs> Gender. That was wonders, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this one again. It, it might also be the fact that you're also attacking things with AC of eight. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. <laughs> you're constantly well, rolling like sevens and stuff, but as long as she doesn't roll a one, she Wait. hits. Which one are you attacking? This top one or the one right next to you? This one. Okay. The that one is. that's still glowing. Hello? I'm still here. That 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 hit that's all damage. Sorry. Um Alright. Evil Mage dude's turn. Ooh. Yeah, that. Wizard. Uh actually no, he's gonna stay right there. Because he should be able to get a line. Oh, Lightning no. Alright. Yeah, I think we're all on the line. And stubs to make a dexterity saving throw. You have advantage on this, Skender, because you can see it coming. Right there. Nice. Oh, oh. Wow. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. Mountains and valleys. And who else? Uh, Seth. The... Oh, I guess I'll roll it for him. Okay. Second. It's a good thing, because natural ones mean you you would critically fail, and so you'd take double damage from the lightning bolt. Oof. Well, I'm going to take double damage? No. No, Skender's natural one and natural 20. Uh, Skender didn't have here. advantage. 
What happened? You are doing a dexterity saving throw. He's doing something in a straight line. Oh, like lightning bolt. He's, he's lightning bolting you. Yeah. What about a zombie? Oh, that's true. <laughs> I think they're gonna make this save. I mean, like, he's probably dead, but... I mean, they could come back, but... That, he's hitting three zombies, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and they all fail. Yeah, no, why'd you have to sit right behind me, dude? <laughs> why, I told you! Don't! I didn't move again! What the, why didn't you move again? Because <laughs> there was, like, five of us there, now there's us two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm about to get very hurt very fast. Did you not? You've save? got a good berry. Just bring uh, each other back no, up. Sk Skender, Skender was the only one that saved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, 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 um, so Seth yeah. and Stubbs, you both take 34 points of lightning damage. Oh, yeah, oh. Down. how much? No, we're down. 34. Yeah, because oh. you hit some, you hit a red a red yeah. wizard. Remember how we have a full. Okay. Skender, Skender, you take okay. 17 because you succeeded. Yeah. I didn't realize what. Oh is that is that know, further? Ha like I have to have that, that further. It's at least a no. level five. I don't think so it you resistance are not resistant. You are not resistant to lightning. Yes, so but about the natural 20. No, the natural 20, down to, the natural 20 does not make you fully immune to the. To the We're not dead. Oh. That's okay. nice. But I, I'm just such an idiot. I didn't realize. Yeah. We, I didn't yeah. realize what we were. Okay, so and I'm like. Oh Are you guys both down? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Thirty-four is a lot. We're level three. Yeah. So you take seventeen points of lightning damage, Skinner. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, everyone. It's fine. Right. We'll figure. We'll get through it. Don't worry about it. If we die, we die. It's, it's like the, the one time in all campaigns that I was like, I'm just doing a thing, and it was a bad thing. It was all one right. of the worst things. We need to figure out a way to just say stop and we'll go. I don't know if there is. I don't yeah. know. I shot at him and yeah. yeah. I watch this. We've, we've kind of we kind of buried ourselves into the into the hole. If you can <sighs> grab me and leave, you know, great. Uh, Please run towards us and pick us up and. I just, uh, <sighs> uh, bonus action. Order tour tourist to heal. Go okay. fast. I can't believe I wasn't processing what he was. Oh my gosh. I even okay. said, yes, this is a red wizard of things. You know, that doesn't mean I still I still didn't process what uh, he was. Um and uh, oh boy. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm -hmm. Problems. Lots of them. <laughs> yes. Well quite, yes. <laughs> uh You just have to get one up. They both have berries. Yeah. Seth oh, also has healing here. magic. Oh yeah, Seth yeah. does have healing magic, if he has spell slots left. I do have a lot of spell slots left. Okay. I used, I've only used one spell slot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna run there, suffer the attempt attack of opportunity. Okay. Still has to make the wisdom save. Okay, he does make the wisdom save. Okay. But he's got a 7 to hit. That missed. Alright. Okay. Uh, I still have my good berry. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Seth. I'm alive. As my action. And Rise, child. I you have a tenth. level of exhaustion. Oh. So, that sucks. I moved ten feet why there. You You're about to have one, too. I know, but why? Because I... you were down to zero. And I'm gonna back up. And then... Paris is gonna... He healed. You get another one. Yeah, he healed. But as far as moving, uh, he's gonna risk it for the biscuit, or just stay there and dodge. Well, he can't dodge; he healed. So yeah. he's not dodging anymore. Oh, that's right, because you instructed him to heal. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, he's just he's gonna make a run for it. Okay. Run to me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Right there. Right. He's gonna he's gonna suffer uh, four attacks of opportunity. Yep. Twenty one to hit. That definitely hits. For six damage. Okay. Nope. Nope. And nope. nope. All right. I'm gonna be like, apologies. We'll be going. Oh my gosh. 
That's my turn. turn. Oh, now they're all gonna rush towards Skender. This guy's gonna come after Taurus. <laughs> Alright. Um, swing at Skender. Nope. And nope. Oh my goodness. Baxter, get up in bed. Get upset. You have one hey, hit. Oh, I know the the one Uh eighteen. A hits. Takes two points of damage. Okay. Okay, I get up. Okay. I give uh Stubbs a good berry. Okay. And I say, hey, Now's the time to leave, I think. I'd, I'd agree. I'm an idiot. And we're going to leave now. And I'm going to run in this direction, off screen. Okay. Uh, bonus action, I will use a Bardic Inspiration on Skender. Yeah, you're kind of, kind of messed up right now, so. Okay. You get a, you get a D6 a thing. And I'm leaving. Goodbye. You have one health. You are <sighs> exhausted. One health. Oh, you, you probably should have given it to him just in case any wisdom saving throws got thrown around. Well, it's his turn. He needs to run. Uh, I recommend Great line of sight. Oh, like behind the tent and out? Yeah, like, like this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see my whole map. Hold on. Look at mine. Okay, so 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That's it, because you had to get up. Yeah, you can only do 20. You what, can only what? do half. Can only do your half. Yeah. Your, half okay. of your movement has to be stand up. Okay. That's forty. Okay. Fire. Is like this still open, or are we like yeah. okay? Yeah. The, the, there's no, not really any walls okay. except for the tent right now. Okay. Well. So like you could you could run up here and he can still see you. Oh, or, actually. Or you, or you can see him. Wait, I could have made it here and then one more square out of screen. Okay. Okay. Um, bonus action. Attack this guy. Bonus action attack? Yeah, I need to get Skender out. You He's... can't bonus action you attack. Bonus action no, attack. not, no, sorry, bonus action uh, Hunter's Mark this guy, sorry. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> and attack this right. guy. Roll to hit. Actually, I think we're getting out, so, or he'll be able to get out, so I'll just go attack this guy. Yeah. How's her to Skender looking? Just halfway. Okay. Just go. Yeah, I'll like, attack this guy. The, the, no, just go, because I, I can just disengage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're running. Yeah. And if you don't go, he's not going to go. I'll I move. mean, she can attack and then move. Yeah. If you want. I think that's what she was going to do. That's what I was, was going to do. So. Not Let's like she's going to attack and just sit there. Okay, so attack the, this one with the the thing. Wh which one? Oh. That, that one, one, and yeah. that's when I put my hunter's mark on. You you have advantage because yeah. it's very. Fun. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, where's my left? There it is. Okay. Definitely it. Okay. Okay. Move like right there. He fails and it's the Oh, you. She running? Wait, what? Yeah. Whoa. What are you, where are you going? <laughs> Group's going this way. <laughs> she's going to get that sick flanking maneuver on the mage, dude. <laughs> I don't think he's just going to stop. 
No, he's absolutely not. So, yeah, yeah I'm like, I'm still in position, but making sure people get out if we can. Oh, Gender. He hit me and Stubbs are out. <laughs> We're like, no. Running as fast as my short, stubby legs will take disengage. <laughs> you're, you're like Bomber uh, at the beginning of Desolation of Smaug running towards the house. Yeah. <laughs> and sorry, sorry, just to be clear, because I think I'm probably taller than this tent, I would be kind of crouched to be... Uh, no, this tent's like 10 feet tall. Okay, cool, then I'm not... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's a super lavish tent. Okay, then yeah, I'm I'm trying to stay hidden behind it, so... Oh, wait. Okay. 15... 30. That's as far as I can go because I disengaged. It's turn. Oh dear. You let a lightning bolt somebody. Oh dear. 10, 20, 25, 30. And then we'll magic mm-hmm. missile at Skender. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me again! Well, no, because it, because, um, I don't have rage anymore because I didn't hit anything. Or wait, is it until my next turn? It, it it's yeah until yeah. The, the end of your next turn. Because but you have to be attacked damage. or be you attacked. Are to it well, yeah. So yeah. How much damage? But you do see it coming. Oh wait, it's not a no, save. No. Uh, you take yeah. ten points of force damage. It's okay. Worst. Wow. Awesome. I love this, guys. I love this. We all do. Ashley, we all are very much enjoying uh, Malarekis. Mistakes were horribly made. One time I died in one shot. Yeah. <laughs> where two was, of us died in yeah, one shot. Yeah, no, we're the same page. We equally hate this. Mistakes were horribly made. Also, remember we have three healing potions. No, we don't. Yes, no, we, don't. we do. Oh, yes, you do. I identified them. Right. Yeah. She sipped them all. Well, I don't have them. This is, I don't have this, any of them. This is a 1894 Merlot. I'm pretty sure I gave one to Skender, one to all the people up close. Actually, I no, probably I kept don't. one. I Well, you might not no. put it in your inventory because I said I was giving them out. I would have given right. one to Seth, one to you, and yeah. I, I don't remember if I gave the third one away or if I kept it. I think you kept it. I, I probably did. Yeah, I have, uh, I have one. You gave one to you yourself? A frontline and the person who is healing. Yeah. Okay, so Skinder's got one. Skinder's got the un- unmarked yeah. one. Uh, okay. Him being there kind of changes some things. Uh, we should all scatter. Yeah, I'm just... Did you say shatter? Scatter. Shatter. shatter. Oh, shh, shh. Well, luckily, the evil mage has the Lulu killer prepared. No. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think me and Turris are just gonna. We're just gonna vault. And are you action dashing or shooting him? Uh, he, Turris, actually. Hmm. Wait a minute. Just disengaged, right? No, you should probably just sprint. Because disengages take. Oh, so he should double sprint and just take whatever hit from the. Okay, it's one zombie. It's one. And yeah, it's, it's only hitting Turris. It's not hitting me. Yeah, it's just hitting. And I don't uh, believe I don't believe Malarakis has attacked yet. So Malarakis also still has sanctuary. I do. But Tur- that Malarakis isn't the one in danger. It's Turris. Yeah, no. Turris is almost. Okay. Uh. But what I can do actually, uh. Bonus action, Sanctuary Turris. Okay. And have him. Bonus action. Move towards the mage. Double run. Wait, what? Uh, what? Okay. 5, Wait, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Suffer uh, the attack of opportunity. You tell him, get closer, and Turris, like, looks at you and, like, looks back at the mage <laughs> and, uh, and, like, shrugs and then runs at the mage. Oh my gosh, why? I mean, I get it, We I can take it. it, but we need all of us. Can you tell him uh, to move and attack in a turn, or just move? Uh, because I used my bonus action to cast Sanctuary, he cannot attack. Oh, uh, right. Okay. So he's taking the dodge action, and he's now all up in his face. Gotcha, okay. Uh, and... I'm gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'd much rather lose him than us. I guess, but. Man, I'm gonna move there. horrible either way. What is happening? 
Wait, we need to have a team meeting. Wait, <laughs> we're we, we just oh, heal yourself. Red, Red Wizard, time out. We gotta huddle up. Yeah. I don't think you guys understand. Me and Stubbs are leaving. Like, well, I thought he said yeah. run too. And I'm gonna hold. Yeah, but then he didn't stop. Action. And he's not gonna. Well, didn't, didn't you use your action to tell Turris to go with the. No, he used. No, that I mean he can just move. Oh, okay. Before Malarak has told everyone to run as well. Uh, yeah, before uh, the Red Wizard kept attacking. Well, I mean, of course he's, he's going to keep, keep attacking. attacking. It's we're going to leave. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get out of the range of his attacks. And. So you're holding the attack action? Yes. For what? For. Actually, I'm not going to hold it. I'm just going to shoot at him. Oh okay. Hold a hit. Right. Carry this, you casual. Try this a fucking again. <laughs> nope. Nope. I barely missed. It. Barely misses. I'm not inspired, am I? Uh, Wait. No, no, I am. I don't believe so. I don't think so. I think it was it Fire Eyes and Slender. Um, yeah. Oh, zombie's turn. In there. Bump, bump. Oh, wait. Bump, bump, bump. Oh, okay. gosh. So are we attacking or are we staying? I mean, obviously we're attacking. <laughs> okay, well... Oh my god. Alright. Roll to hit you, Malarakis, because you no longer have Sanctuary. Twelve. I miss Don't think that hits. Alright, swing at Taurus. They have to get past the Sanctuary first. They have to get past the Sanctuary first. Okay, well then that's a sixteen on the save. Okay, that saves, but he's still dodging. Advantage. Oh, double 15s, so an 18 to hit. Ah, uh, that hits. Okay. It takes two points of damage. Okay. Alright, and Sanctuary's still up, right? Yeah, it so stays up as long as he doesn't hit. I felt so much better for a minute when everyone was running away, and now my anxiety is... <laughs> It'll be fine. 15 on the save? We're dead. Uh, I don't know hits. what you're talking yeah, about. <laughs> Dealt then, damage to uh, the pie. A five to hit, so that cool. misses. That misses. And then, uh, swinging at Skender. I did 14 damage. Uh, an 18 to hit Skender. Yeah. So you take um, four points of damage reduced to two, because now you're still raging. If he's not, then that means he's not. Alright. Seth, Six you're running four. away and look behind you, and everyone is not running. But, you and Stu you Stubbs and Skender are running, but Turris, Malarakis, and Fire Eyes are still in the courtyard. All right, I pop my potion. That's two d four plus two. Correct. Six health back. Woo. Uh, and I give. I think I threw up just a little bit. Healing word to Skender. At level two, actually, hmm. yeah, have, level. Two. I'm not asking for you to heal me. I just don't know what to do. I have one hit point. I, <laughs> I, but, but you, you I have a camp in the 120 foot range. Yeah, like by all means, you don't have to get closer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You at least okay. don't have to worry about the zombies. You can stay five feet off the map. Zombies are not a problem to you. The and just as a heads up, Skender is looking really badly hurt. Yeah, you get. No, I'm not asking for help. You get all of. You also have a healing a potion, weapon. Skender. You get eleven health points. Well, is it is it an action or bonus, bonus action? action? Bonus action. Bonus to drink a potion. Okay. Oh, and because of that, actually, oh, I guess you're using your action to chunk the potion, Seth. So yeah. You get bonus action heal. Gotcha. Yeah, and now I'm going to... Oh, wait. If you used your action to drink the potion, you get the max healing oh. from the potion. Wait, what? You take that's time whole, to that, savor that, that's it. A, that's the rule I'm doing. If you use your action to drink the potion, you don't roll for it. But Okay. But you, you <laughs> you use your bonus action to roll for it and just and, have your action oh. drink. So I go to 11. But then you can't yeah. heal Ashley. Right? Wait, no, that's a bonus action. No, you action. can, because oh, like... it's a bonus action. Oh. Healing Word, baby, is the only healing spell that's ranged and a bonus action. So you, so you actually get 10 um, hit points yeah, back rather, rather than, than 6. <clears throat> and now I am going to move this way. Out of sight. <laughs> and you still did the Healing Word? Yeah, I oh, did cool. all of those things, and now I am out of sight. 
Pat Fire is in the back, and I say, "Go get him, champ, because you got got the inspiration already. You got to do it." Stubbs. Rick and kill him. All right, give me one moment, please. Wait, who who are you giving that to? No, I already have inspiration. Is what he's saying. And you have one technically as well. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't used mine yet. Okay. okay. What you, oh. You did not, bud. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out how far I can still run and then still attack things. <laughs> oh. Like 120 oh, a lot, the whole. A lot distance, you have a 120 foot range. Literally anywhere on the map is probably oh. okay. Yeah, you can move. You can still move your full movement and be able to shoot something with fireball. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I still go. He's just gonna attack the tent now. Yeah, you have to attack and then move if you're gonna. Because now you can't see anything. I can't see. Well, anything. you can see the zombie right next to. Oh yeah, there we go. Right here. Okay. Yeah. And the one yeah. next to Malarakis. Yeah. <laughs> Did either? And I believe you are still inspired stuff. Oh wait, no, you used it on the, the scorching ray. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 that was, uh, yeah, you're right. No, no, that, you're was, right. that was this combat. You're right, you're right. You're right. No, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of inspiration, because I only get three right. And it kind of sucks. Alright, Stubbs, what are you doing? Alright, I'm doing, um, fireball, firebolt. I was like, what? <laughs> We're all dead. <laughs> we definitely don't have access to that spell yet, thank you very much. <laughs> Right, though. If you did, you're cheating. That hits? To the one that I was pointing at, which was by Skinder. Gotcha. That hits. Nice. Good damage. Okay. And I try to good go... Good answer, good answer. <laughs> good answer! And, I, and I, I'm going to continue to move, but I'm trying to figure out where I'm moving. I mean... Okay. Not in a direct line behind me. Or well, that's when I'm trying to figure out what the direct line was. 5, up 10, here. 15, 20. Oh, that's not... Yeah, put it up here. Because it's only 5 feet wide. So it's... That's still that's straight. Line. 5, 10, 15... Wait, what? 5, 10, 15... It's okay, 15, I'm about to move. 20. I guess... I just continue to move. Can I continue to move out? Yes. Just remember that you are now 30 feet off the map. Well, okay. Because you, you moved 5 feet off last turn. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So now I'm 30 feet off the map. That way. Correct. Okay. Okay. Fire eyes. So from, like, here, I should be able to see him, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, bonus action, transfer mm -hmm. Hunter's mark yeah. to him. Uh, then, does he have cover, or do I have to step out to shoot from here? Uh, no, he doesn't. Have okay. Cover. So I will shoot from okay. here. Go for it. Uh. Okay. And hits. since Hunter's mark is a damage dealing spell, I can use my inspiration to add to the um, damage um, from it. I. Oh, let me, let me yeah, double check the rule on that. Okay, AM I'll do the other, other stuff in the meantime. First level, I need reminded on first level of exhaustion. Uh, you have disadvantage on ability checks. Uh, just ability checks. Correct. Yep. Attack rolls. Nope. Sure. Okay. Cool. If, if a creature has a bardic inspiration die from you and casts a spell that restores hit points or deals damage, the creature can roll okay. a die and choose to uh, choose a target affected by the spell. So I did not cast it this turn, so Correct. I cannot use it. Okay. Ugh. Okay. But that is still enough damage. How do you want to do this? Oh. Uh, I just want him to be just like totally overcome with the mental pain, and then he's just gonna like fall to the ground. Uh, he's very squishy. But she's he's a wizard. Did. Killed him. I he, he's a wizard. He's not very strong. Listen, yeah, I the, in one shot. the only issue. The only issue I had, like I had been thinking of going up to him, but at the same time I was like. What if I don't kill him in one hit? Yeah, so, I thought this was a wall at the edge of the courtyard, so I was going to go through the tent and fire at him through there, but then I found out there's no wall, so... But yeah, you sort, you sort of come around the tent and draw the arrow and quick fire, and it just hits him in the back, and just he... You can't exactly see his face, because his back is to you, 
but like his eye just starts like twitching a whole bunch and like he starts to basically like seize and then it hits the ground and continues to seize and then eventually stops moving are the zombies still animated they are okay oh yeah then i oh, will yeah. step oh, oh, here yeah. <laughs> now they just don't have control they're no nobody's control and that's my turn skender so what did we hit him with we hit him with well so we hit him with 14 plus 50, this well, one. These were only the only, only two hits that hit him, right? Yeah. So, we yeah, only hit had, him twice, right? He had, he had 22 hit points. Okay, yeah, so it, my hit and her hit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He has high That's damage. We were really expecting I was 40 expecting, hit points. I was expecting about 40 hits. Yeah. yeah. He was blasts expecting? hard, but well, he can't expecting. take much. Okay. I think he didn't have another blast. That's All why right. I told I'm her going to run to... at him. I'm going to attack this one in front of me Go for it. recklessly. Go for it. I figured at best he had like one shot. Maybe that, two. That definitely hits. We had two. Well, I mean, I figured he. I was going off the assumption of level 12. Okay. He hits the ground and gets back up. I figured as long as I didn't remain in a line, Turris would be the only one to go down. Or just me. Malarakis. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and take a step back, take the attack of opportunity. That's a 22 to hit? Oh, that definitely hits. <laughs> For 4 damage. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the fool. The what? The fool could shoot. Oh, okay. Shoot the I thought fool. You said I, I thought you said I'm shooting the floor, and I was like, hey? Okay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Alright, that hits. New strat. Oh, it's so sad. Uh, and then I'm also just gonna like, I ten, move the rest of my movement like as far away as possible. <laughs> Alrighty. He hits the uh, ground, does not get up. And then, Harris, just gonna heal himself the last time he can today. Smash. Oh hey, he's back to full. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. Isn't it dark too? Do you do you add your intelligence modifier to it? Oh no. No, and add proficiency. I was like, because if that added your intelligence modifier, that's like hit all his hit points. 21 is his max. Yeah. Now I added my proficiency bonus. Also, I like how three of you have the max hit point total of 21. Yeah. Well, because we've all been Seth, taking... Turris, and Malarakis all we have. We all basically have one constitution modifier, and we all are doing a. Oh, we're using point. a d8. Yeah. We're all taking average. We're not all taking. Right. Zambi's turn. Um, two are going to swing at Turris, who still has Sanctuary. Yep. That's a natural 20. Okay. Disadvantage. No, he's not oh, wait, no, not disadvantage. Okay. Um, well, it's a natural one. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Another one will turn past the wisdom save. Not with the two. Alright. And then the one will swing at Skender with an 11. I'm sure that misses. Yes. Steph. Blah. Okay, I am going to bonus action cast a healing word at Stubbs. Am I close enough to first you? level? As far as yeah, long. you're still within sixty feet of him. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's it's pretty far. Yeah. You get six points of health. Oh yay! Wow. Do not struggle. You are being rescued. Do you are being rescued? Do not resist. Yeah. Firebolt at this guy at Skender. Go for it. See him. Burr. That hits. Burr. He hits the ground and gets back up. Stay down, dang it. I'll go this way. Dubbies. Okay. Um, I shoot Firebolt at the one by Skender. Man, <laughs> that's like their ace. There's like one below their ace. Yeah, and then I I run back to where I'm only five feet out of the. Gotcha. He's coming back. He's coming right. back. In. Fire rise. Okay, I'm going to fire at this one after mm -hmm. I move my hunter's mark to him. Sure. You have advantage. Very fire. Okay. It's probably about to run out though. Burp. Uh, I don't know. You're probably only about. Six turns in, so 
you still got like four more turns. A little bit, a little bit longer. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is he dead yet? Is he dead yet? He physically cannot make that save. Okay. So he dies. Thank goodness. One's this one. It's that one. Okay. And I will move here. So it's I've knocked hurt. that zombie down. You've knocked that zombie down. No. Yeah, the one that's by Skinder. Yes. Yeah, all I three of you have knocked that zombie down, and he has gotten knocked down. I get knocked down. We gotta get up again. It's okay. a zombie theme song. All right. Yeah, Attacking right. recklessly. Okay. Kill it. Like Kill it good. Because he still alive. That it's. Sure. And that's probably gonna keep it down pretty high. That is one short of a save. It, yeah. it, goes, it goes down and stays down. Thank, Thank goodness. Alright, and then... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, now I'm going to this. We'll never speak of it again. We'll never talk about this mission ever again. <laughs> Malarakis. Well, I'm sure you will. I'm sure Stubbs is going to get a firm talking to. But... Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm sure that, that last one was advantage. Choo-choo. Yeah, I, I saw that. Definitely is. <laughs> Just from behind me, he goes, Dude, that's the second time you rolled max damage tonight. <laughs> We're gonna wake up like... If right. only I did against the mage. <laughs> you got a fireball because you uh, have uh, behind you. <laughs> still alive? Yep. Um, right, that, one, that, one hasn't been, that one hasn't been hit at all. Alright, Terrace is punched. Really smart, not wise. Different. That hits. Um, okay. But now he's no longer sanctuary. Correct. And because yeah, of that, max the health. zombie is gonna pimp slap turrets. Oh wait, I do get advantage. I just want to see if I get twenty. Oh, oh, oh dirty. It's not natural though. Dirty. That is a twenty-two to hit. Oh, definitely. Turrets takes six points of damage. Woo. Seth. Vicious mock it to death. I dare you. No, fireball. Okay. Ugh. You should have viciously you mocked it. You should have vicious mocked I it. I, I don't think I can. Yes, I think can. it affects vicious. I don't think I don't think it affects this this creature type. As long as it's not immune to being charmed. Uh no, because it has uh I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I know it doesn't need to understand your language. If the target can hear you, yeah, I guess. Yeah. You're right. But also it only deals one D four. It's like Really bad. Correct, but this thing's pretty hurt. Very many hit points left. Yeah, and know, you don't have to roll to hit. It's a save. I know, but j j I also. It's all good. It's, okay. it's too late. It's, okay. it's, it's all good. Dubs. All right, I for keep running in. You started so this fight. End it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Wait, do I see? Yeah, do yeah. I have a straight line of sight there? Yes. Okay. Why don't you just die? Die. Fireball. Hey. That is. Fireball. Hey. Oh no, it's gonna get back up though. It falls down and gets back up. Hey, hey. That's the thing. Vicious Mockery would not do enough damage to keep it down. No, but it'd roll. be really it's funny. Can, can roll natural one. Yeah, right. yeah, roll natural one, but I don't I want the, more the, than the DC percent. the DC is five plus the damage taken. Yeah, I don't want I don't want it to be that that low. Right. Fire eyes. Okay, Hunter's mark moving over to that dude. Fire okay. and away. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to kill him. That kills him. Okay. Or that hits him, but okay. How Do much you... damage does it deal is the question. Yep, you got you got to... A lot of damage. Okay, so that's nine. And the other one, right? Isn't there another one? And a d6. So you deal 12 damage. Uh, 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. Roll an 8. Okay, and I'm going into the tent. <laughs> okay. There are four more zombies in there. I'm just kidding. I was like, if you're serious right now, oh my gosh. That's it. Anything magical in here? Are you throwing up to tech magic? Yeah. We need to go into his tent. That's um, is what, is what everyone okay? That's a yes. He, there is a chest next to his cot that has some magic stuff in it. I'm going to try to drag it out so people can look at it. Yeah, is everyone you, okay? I mean, why don't we just, like, go in the tent? I'm not okay, I'm an idiot. Yes. We'll discuss that later. Yes, you are. Look, I'm tent. just... 
At this point, I'm just relieved that everyone's okay. Uh, define okay. I think I almost Alive. died. And then the astral dreadnought comes out of the ground. <laughs> I think I almost Every, died. Everyone is at least alive. I feel That's fine. That's the important thing. Yeah, Fire Eyes didn't get hit that a lot. <laughs> I only got smacked twice. I got lightning. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. I, I just love how you told Stubbs, Don't clump up! And he hides a <laughs> And then... <laughs> so, is this the tent as That's well? A tower. That's a tower. That's a tower. Yeah. That's, okay. that's the crumbling tower. Okay, I'm dragging right. this chest out. Nothing else is magical in there. So. Malarakis, oh. can you get Turris to, like, take the body, the, the bodies away? Yeah. Hey, Turris, I'll set up. up. I'll set up a fire, because it's like in the it's, morning. Yeah, it's ten. <laughs> yeah. We can take a short I, rest here, but. You, you guys woke up and then came here. Yeah. Yeah, we probably want a short rest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> people who almost died are very still almost dead. I can go I check things out while you guys are short resting. Uh, I, uh, I'll look, look at the uh, magic stuff. Okay. Well, uh, one second. I'm, try I'm trying to find the cool the cl the school of stuff because Fire Eyes would know that. Yeah. I have to freaking find the spell. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, so it's trapped. Not necessarily. There, there uh, are. I guess. Yeah, it could be uh, just a scroll or something. Wait. I just closed it. Dang it Bob, you, you're not opening it yourself, are you? No, I just, I just dragged it out here. There, there are two. Um, Magic insight. Oh. There, there are two signals of evocation and one of abjuration. Cool. I'll check it to see if there are any traps, because I'm real good at that kind of thing. I can oh, do that. There, you look. Someone roll an investigation check. I'll do it. Go for it. I have to do it at this point. Oh, I didn't mean an advantage. It but. is not trapped. Alright. I open it. Alright. Uh, in the chest is a leather bag, um, which you jingle it, and it's got a bunch what of... What kind of leather? It, what? What kind of leather? Oh my gosh. I don't know it's, it's, leather. it's just it's just old no, leather, human it's flesh. That's what um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't. Uh, you you peek in it and it's got a gem in it and some coin. Cool. Uh, and there uh, in the rest of the chest there is a potion of healing. Or, well, shoot. Okay. Well, a potion of I'll healing. I'll taste it. <laughs> uh, it's a potion of healing. Cool. Uh, there is a scroll and there is a tiny jeweled box. Okay. They open the jeweled box. There is a ring in it. And this is what's magical? Yes. The the ring, the scroll, and the potion. Is what is this? Uh the ring, abjuration. Could I take a good guess of what this ring is? You can certainly take a guess, yes. Like Is it something Malarakis has made? Um, I don't remember what you made. Uh, I wasn't paying attention when the two more, more specific. <laughs> more specifically, uh, is it a ring of protection? Yes, it's a ring of protection. Okay, because Malarakis did make that for Valkyria. At, at least the base enchantment seems to be a ring of protection. Wait, what? You didn't enchant it, though. You had to take it to the College of Elturel. Just saying. I mean, I know the basics. Yeah. Though. This is, the jeweler, this is the jeweler that yeah. Valkyrie did? Uh, yes. Uh, Austin's yeah. playing the jeweler. Yeah. yeah. The one gave you your I, horn ring. Horrible with names. <laughs> I mean, you met him once. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it was like for 30 minutes, if even that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just check like the rest of the area to see if there's anything else magical I first. The, the tent is very it's lavishly it's furnished. Yeah, every time. I don't have to uh, work in the world. Uh, wait. It's just what, a, what I is, okay, I'm muting you. Oh, wait. Yeah. J JJ, are you saying something? No, he wasn't talking to us because he just muted himself. Okay. Go ahead, Jack. Keep doing Um, The tent's very lavishly furnished. and um, But there's nothing else that peaks ma magical in there. And uh, going near the tower, there's nothing magical in there either. Okay. Are you going in the tower or just going near it? 
I mean, didn't you say it was like just the ruins of a tower? How high does it go? Uh, it goes up maybe 20 feet. Yeah. I'll like quite... quietly try and look just in case there's anyone, anything else there. Okay. Can... Um, peeking your head in, there's some ruined stairs that lead up. And um, there's some rubble with a very tiny hole dug into it. Rubble with a hole or with a hole a dug? A tiny in? hole in it. I'm gonna look in the hole. It, it smells way more like rot than anything else you've smelled. Gross. Um, but sounds like a, a dead it, body. It, without dark vision, you can't tell really what's there. It, it just bad. smells really bad. Nice. Hey, look at the scroll as well, real fast. Sure. Roll uh, an arcana check. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to head uh, up the stairs. It is an evocation scroll, but you can't tell what it is. Uh, too complicated. Are you gonna try to head up the stairs? Yeah, but I'm gonna look, because this is ruins, and I'm gonna try and look for, like, any floorboards or anything that might look like it's gonna break if I step on it. Roll an investigation check. Oh, good job. Okay. Uh, and I will use my bardic inst inspiration. Wait, sorry, that's not an advantage, but... I have inspiration works. Okay. You don't see anything that looks like it looks like it would collapse. Okay, I'm gonna head upstairs. Okay. It leads up to the top parapet, and you can see around. You can see down to the courtyard, and you can see around the area. Nothing magical. Nothing of interest up here. No. Nope. Okay, heading back down. All right. Um, during that time, I'm searching the tent for any like high quality ink or paper or anything like that. Uh, there isn't. No. There's a there's like a journal, but it's not like scroll paper or anything. Like I'm writing well, the I journal. Definitely... Well, hey. you're sure. well, okay. I'm yes, on... Stubbs, look at this scroll. Okay, I end up handing Seth well, the journal for now, and I look at the well, scroll. Well, wait, oh, we we got to be careful because how mo how long does it take to interpret the scroll? Because we're also doing a short rest for you guys. That's yeah, it's you're light doing, activity. You're not doing strenuous activity yeah. by looking at a scroll or just look at the Okay, okay. so okay. I hand him the journal and then I start investigating the scroll. Okay, roll an arcana check. And I will try to appraise the drool. The, uh, it is a pearl worth 100 gold pieces. Oh, All right. perfect. One, that's nice. I, I which, can, which oh. coincidentally, is the component you need to yeah. cast identify. Yeah. <laughs> oh my right. gosh. I have the identify spell now. So I can have so it prepared tomorrow. Gimme, give gimme! Give I have it right now. Oh, but okay. I can have it tomorrow. But I can. But he it. could do I it already, now. <laughs> but I have it right. Oh, actually, you can ritually cast it, can't you? Yeah, I can. Do, artif do artificers have ritual casting? Yeah, I just have to have it prepared. You don't have to have it prepared if it's a ritual cast. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I do. No, As an artificer, you do. Oh, weird. I don't. Bards, you have to oh, know the yeah. spell. You can cast an artificer spell as a ritual if that spell has the ritual tag and you have the spell prepared. Yeah. Okay. Or just have to know the spell to be able to cast it as a ritual. Yeah. So I don't prepare spells. Yeah. yeah but wi wizards are the ones who can ritually cast spells without having to prepare. Yeah, as long as they have the spell book. May I see? Are you, are you ritually casting? Identify yeah. Wait, so identify then I give you the scroll. scroll and then I take the journal back. You start okay. reading it. So you begin identifying the scroll. Um, the journal belonged to the mage. His name is uh, Haman Kost. Haman Kost. He was a red wizard um, who came here to uh, Old Owl Well uh, because uh, because he had heard of you know it being a Netherrealm thing and Netherrealm being an ancient ma uh, mageocracy. Figured there might be something here, so he's been digging around in the tower, um, and that tiny jeweled box. Um, with the ring, uh, comes uh, was, was left here by the ancient Netherese, um, and that's his, that's his most interesting discovery so far. Okay, but besides that, nothing really of interest. Day two, nothing happened today. Where are we at again? We hold on to the. I hold on Old to the owl journal. Well. Say that again. Old owl well. Don't look like there's owls or wells. No, that's um, just a stinky hole. As, as for the scroll, it is a scroll of darkness. Interesting. 
Wow. Do I make things real dark? While still there, did I happen to find any like incense or charcoal or things like that? Looking for spell components. Pull an investigation check. With a disadvantage. With disadvantage because you're exhausted. Yeah. Investigation at disadvantage. Because you are exhausted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. No. Yeah. Oh my wow. gosh! Wow. Uh, yeah, you can you can find you can find some incense and stuff. It's not enough to summon bear back, but you can. How much worth? Uh, five gold pieces of incense. So about half of what you need. I have a good guess of what this ring is. I can guess you can identify it. I can just do it now. If you want me? That's why I'm letting you do it. Okay, I do it. It is a ring of protection. Hey, look, we did it. All right. It is a very old enchantment. So, it looks like it's about to bust. Yeah, I didn't notice anything it. about like this the ring, aura. This ring busted. Now, who do you think should get it? What does it do? It's a ring of protection. What does that do? AC and saving throws. Okay. Plus AC and saving throws. Plus Maybe one the one who's up close all the time? You're right. right. Turris! Turris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting Tur to bling Tur out Tur here. <laughs> Turris looks at you and is like, blink, blink. It can blink? Does it have eyelash? Like no, but eyelash? the lights just go out in its eyes and then, like, come back. <laughs> Pretty much. Skander no. sees that he goes, uh, Weirdly yeah, enough, I'm... that's probably the most adorable thing I've seen so far. No, of on course, this trip. I'm joking. Skinder? Yes. I have a gift for you. Oh. Thank you. I I appreciate it. I realized that the the period of of pause that I gave Skender there made it sound like it was insincere. <laughs> That's he's sincere. It about the insight you check. Are constantly sheathed in a condom. Why did you have to say it like that? It's a ring of protection. Because Sawyer. You, con you constantly have protection. <laughs> That's right. JJ laughed at least. <laughs> so stupid. All that's left is a stinky hole, and that's it. <laughs> well, right. Did we finish our short rest? Yes, you guys can finish your short rest. Yeah. Is, that, is, yeah. is anyone going to count the coin in the bag during the short rest? Sure. Sure. Not Skender? What? It's not letting me. Boop. Um, there we go. So in Ooh, there that. We go. In the leather bag, there is 35 silver pieces. Boom. Seven each. 20 electrum pieces. Oh, wait, now I'm going to take that. 25? 20. 20 yeah, electrum. Guys. Who does? Okay. Everybody. Uh, 20, 20, 20 gold pieces. 3, 4, 5 is... If you use a... If you use a hit dice, at least one hit dice, you can use a D6. Okay. Five platinum pieces... And the pearl. Okay. Uh, seven, four, four, one. Okay. That's how much. Well, I guess. I guess. Fire, fire eyes. While you were in the tower, the tower would have faintly glowed. Uh, necromantic. The whole thing, huh? Even the stinky hole. Even, uh, especially the stinky hole. Okay, I will tell them that the stinky hole is a stinky dead hole. Well, that's where this, all the dead bodies are. The stinky dead hole is necromantic. Well, it's tiny. I don't think that there are bodies in there. It's it's not tiny, but it's not like a big hole. It's big enough for a person to, like, slide through, but yeah. it's not much bigger than that. And it just goes well, down? Time to come out from, what, from what you can tell, it just goes down. I imagine it's a slide. Someone want to, like, Wee. shoot a fireball down there or something? Not a ball, but... Bolt? I mean, we can just fireball repeatedly until everything's dead. But I don't think... I 
I definitely don't want to go down there. No, oh, no, no. Firebolt's down there. I don't yeah, know how I'll, to get back up. I'll assist you, I guess. All right, we shoot like uh, between the two of us, like a hundred firebolts down the hole. Okay, for a long you, time. You shoot oh, a firebolt down the I hole. I want to fire one at a time because I don't know what happens. Well, yeah, you, shoot, like, a, you shoot a firebolt down the hole, and it goes fifteen feet before it hits a wall with a door. Yeah, because it before it hits what a wall to break wall down the door. door, a wall with a door. Uh, door definitely. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of zombies in there. It's probably like a research thing of some kind. You think if we hit the door no. enough, it'll open? No, we could. Well, yeah, but then I then we had we to deal with it on the other side, which is probably a lot of zombies. Guys, yeah, we could just one at go. Time, we just keep shooting them down. Guys, the yes. we could just go back and have someone else deal with it. Someone who's more seasoned than us. I mean, in, in this theory, part? yeah, but I feel like we killed the big thing. Here. I kind of agree, except that, yeah, it's like, who from Fandolin is going to come out here? The only adventurer the is... Why who... Well, yeah, I mean, like, He's the also, one that sent us here, because he couldn't do it himself. I'm kind of curious on what's inside the door now. He's too well seasoned. Oh, I'm going to drop a rope. I'm going to tie a rope what? and then drop the other end down there. Now we have a way of getting back okay. up. It's, it's not a super steep climb. Boy. It's it's like a uh, yeah, getting down's easy, but getting back up. Yeah, I kind of well, like. Well, it's, it's like it's like a thirty degree incline. It's it's oh, walking. You can, it's you steep, can but yeah. Okay, well, just in I case. I like Dub's idea of just shooting the door until it burns up, and then we just deal with whatever comes out. Because right. he can only come at us one at a time. Okay, break down the door. I'm taking my rope back. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Keep shooting you, at the door. You firebolt the door, and it's made of stone. Alright, alright, hang on, guys. Oh, Mage Hand. I use Mage Hand. Can I open the door? Your Mage Hand is not strong enough to open this door. It's definitely more than 10 We need to stand down. Hang on, guys. Let me read a thing. Read a spell. Oh, I don't have any more Misty Step. I've been playing too much Breath of the Wild. I'm like, oh, just drop a bomb down there. What do we get back on the short ghost? I get... Spell slots equal to half your wizard level. Oh, oh. Click so I could arcane. get. Plus your indicating picture. Not that. Render again. Half your. Rounded up. Wizard level rounded up, so you can regain yeah. two levels worth of spell slots. So either two first levels or one second. So I could do one first level. Yeah. Open the door and Misty yeah. step back up. You can two, or one, two, two level. Two, one second level is what I meant. Yeah, you could do that. Correct. And then I could open the door and then Misty step back up and we do what we if originally you are are you str- Yeah, Mike, are you strong enough to open the door? We could try. I mean, I'm fine with that. I kind of think it's worth the effort. Alright, let's try it. Alright. So I Misty, st- or no, I go to the door. Right. I Misty yeah. step down there. And there you Wait. go. <laughs> My escape oh, no! Crap tomorrow. <laughs> and I try to open the door. Okay, make a strength check. Oh. So ac- actually, first, make a dexterity saving throw. For going down? Yeah, you just You did down. not check the, jo- the door. Yeah, you didn't check the traps. <laughs> so you just touch the door and the glyph goes off. Wait, but the mage hand didn't. No, because it set it it's, off? It's, it's incorporeal. It does not trip off traps. Wouldn't Stubbs have known that? I mean, I did say there was a necromatic, like, aura, but I didn't know it was coming from the door. Yeah. So I would, I don't know, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that. I would, I would say Stubbs would have known that, except you weren't really thinking about it. You weren't checking for traps anymore. Yeah, you weren't checking for traps. You can't metagame and be like, oh, but my character would check for traps. All right, so what do I got to do? A deck save. Is that one disadvantage? I can't remember. No. No, yeah. saves are not a disadvantage. It's just ability checks. Yeah, maybe. Well, 14. Okay. You only take... 8 points of necrotic damage. As a wave of necrotic damage hits you, and then dissipates. Ouch! Yeah, right down there, buddy. I'm an idiot again. This <laughs> door is trapped. Okay, is the drawer still trapped? I don't. 
I don't. I mean, I'm. I'm gonna, I think I set it off. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> so I think we need to give you a lesson on thinking before doing. Should someone else check the door? Okay, I'll cast detect magic again. Is it still there? How are you casting it again? Uh, we've taken a short rest, so I'm. Ta oh, you get a short rest. Yeah, okay, so I'm casting it with rest. my ability again. Um, no, it is not. It is not. Um, You're good. Necromancy. All right, so I try to open the door now. Okay, make a strength check. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. Ugh. Do natural twenties. Wait, strength check. So this is just a straight d twenty for me. Correct. Yep. And again, you, you. You're at, dis at, at disadvantage. So you're I know. Go. I know. All right. So, so you're. <gasps> And like you're running into it, and like your feet are just sliding on the ground. It's not much. It's not budging. Can I take someone with me with a misty step? That's what I'm. Doing. No. No. No, can but I, I can get myself back table. out. It's not meant to dimension door. You keep claiming you're not very strong. I know, but like <laughs> you, you guys, you guys can walk out. I know. It's not. Ste it's not so steep that you can't climb back up. You can yeah. walk out. It's not even a check. It's just it's just deep to just walk out. But maybe if you guys feel like you have to get out quickly, then maybe we should hold off on this for a while. I don't want go to back tomorrow. I mean, yeah, it's still morning. Yeah, it's yeah, noon. Open it. that, That's not the point I'm trying to make. We, I, I just don't think that. We don't know how many are in there. We don't know anything's in there. It'd be nothing. Except that you said that there was necromantic the magic door. and that it Not smelled anymore. in there. Yeah, it's it gone. Oh. Hey, well, what would about you get your robot to open the door? So I asked to do. Her BM, did she see any more in, no. any no. more magic I mean, coming? I mean, from the tower the tower glows faintly necromantic, but not but the door down there is not. And beyond, wait. Does I can't see beyond the door. Probably you can't see beyond the door. But yeah, see into so a if check. you can open the door, I can look in there. Yeah, but. The the, sto the stone is thick enough that it blocks detect magic. Okay, okay. All right. our goal is about. Right. No, Paris can go down there and open it if he can climb back out. Okay, and pretty he good. Can, he can. We can walk out. Yeah. All right, so I climb back up and then Taurus goes down. Okay. Cool. Taurus, make me a strength check. Can do. Alright. Do it. I'm holding an action of Firebolt. There you go. Hey. Okay. Tourist presses against the door and. Uh, and it slides open about a foot and a half. Oh, not enough for me to see anything in there, though, huh? No. And, and Tourist, like, turns around, gives you a thumbs up. Thanks. How far is the ramp? 15 it's feet. Yeah, it's 15 feet down. Okay. One, I, one five? I, yeah. yeah. I mage hand the lantern into the room. Uh, into the room where Turris is? Yeah. Well, into the into the doorway. Like into you, the doorway. you can't see through the doorway. It, the door's open a foot and a half. Yeah. So uh, you can get the mage hand through with the light, but you can't see anything. Push yeah. again. Can, can you push a little more, Turris? Let me know check. Push. Push again. Oh, probably Just, not. Tourist oh, Tur like gives you a thumbs up and like gets the running start and jumps and hits it and just bounces off and clang 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 on back back on his butt. He stands up and looks at you and shakes his head. Bad off. Understandable. It's okay, buddy. Come on back up. I mean the door is open. Is anything running out? No. Do I hear anything? I mean, a lot of noise. I mean it's you, only you open a, a it's only open a foot and a half. It'd be kinda mm -hmm. difficult for anything to run out. You heard sort of a sigh, like some, like like the door, like something had just gotten unsealed. But oh, that's um, oh my gosh! <laughs> but but no, nothing is actively or like obviously that. coming out. I like the sound of this. Okay, right. who's going to if, if you're mage handing the light down there, yeah, you can see the writings on the walls. Oh no! There, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of carvings on the walls. Yeah, what does it say? Okay. Um, we will save this that for next time. Yeah. Yes, I was gonna say, that's the good spot to stop.
we ran a lot longer. I need to prepare this. We ran a lot longer than we usually do. Listen, I didn't want to know things. There's things in there that I want to know. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's a series of dumb decisions. Why There's what? your title. Oh, Fire Eyes, while you had uh, Detect Magic up, you would have sensed another of Conjuration. Oh. Uh, down Correct. the hall? No, but it light just around. It was it was super fast, and so you don't sense an exact position, but you sense it was there. Hmm. That blip of Conjuration that's been following us? Oh, Grant. It's the end. Most likely. Anyways, Probably. that's that's where we'll call it. Thank you all for coming. Fun. Um, we'll see you all next week for potentially an interesting dive into an ancient netheril ruin. Do we level up for killing a red wizard? No. And no. a million zombies? No. Definitely Starts not. A shot. We might level up for doing whatever's down here, though. Yay, yay. <laughs> it's going to be fun. We'll be back in two weeks. Two weeks? What? You and I will be in... Oh, that's right. Uh, ne next week's my birthday. That's right. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy okay. bar two weeks. Bar <laughs> barf day. Yeah, two birthday, two weeks. birthday. Okay. It is your birthday. Birthday, all right. birthday. Well, we will catch you all another time. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.